Hey guys, how are you? Yeah, sorry for starting like 20 minutes late here. I was not in the house. I had some last minute errands that I had to do. I had to take care of them. They kind of popped up and I was like, well, these have to get done. So that's why I'm about 20 minutes late, but we're here. Hope you had a good uh, Memorial Day. Hope you had a good weekend. I did see you a couple days ago, but you know. Hope you're doing well. I have to start uh, changing my diet and life and everything here. Uh, those of you that don't know, I mean, I've talked about it a few times. I'm going in for like a full colonoscopy uh, at the end of this weekend here. And I have, like, a lot of foods that are off-limits as of tonight, I think. So I have to eat, like, baby food for, like, a couple days before. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm, oh, that's not supposed to be there yet. I'm not supposed to hear that yet. I guess, no, I can still eat solid food. I just can't eat anything with seeds. Anything that has red, blue, or purple coloring. There's a lot of things I'm not... I can't... I don't think I have milk anymore. Like, any dairy, I don't think, for the next, like, three or four days. And I gotta be really on top of this, because if you fuck up, you can't do the, the procedure. If you have a glass of milk, like, the day before your exam, or you have, like, a, like some beans, like, two days before your exam, you have to reschedule it. You can't do it. So, I have to, like, really, really be on top of this. I'm going to be eating jello for the next three days. But, uh, we're not, without wasting any more time, because we are a little bit late here. We're going to do Sam and Max. I am going to restart the episode. This is episode three. This is season two, episode three. Last time we tried this, I was having all kinds of internet problems. And the first, it was, we make, I mean, we got like maybe 15, 20 minutes into the episode. And I couldn't really pay attention to it. It was... Uh, frames are dropping, it was irritating, I couldn't really focus on what was going on. So, we're just gonna restart it. I'm just gonna restart the episode. And then go from there. Because I, I think we, we we were not even like 10 to 15 minutes into it, so... Uh, those of you that are wondering what we're doing for the next few days. Uh, we came up with... Potentially playing Heroes of Might and Magic tomorrow. I think I want to do it. I think uh, it depends. That, that's one of those stream ideas that I have no idea if people are going to like that or not. It could be great. But it also could be... Who knows? You know, I'm willing to give it a shot. Layers of Fear 2 came out. But I also heard that Layers of Fear 2 is not very good. Isn't it getting really bad reviews? Yeah, yeah. I heard it's just like really not, even, it's not good at all. Even better. <laughs> right, Layers of Fear 2 like kind of isn't that good. Even more of a reason to play it all and beat the game, right? That's the worst thing, like we just said. Neither was Days Gone and I still play that. I know, that, that's going to forever be something that's held over my head forever. No matter what video game, or never, whatever stream that I decide to do, right? Oh, well, I'm thinking about doing this. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to do that, though. You might be, might, you might bore you guys a little. You played Days Gone for a whole stream. It's like, fuck. I did, you know, I did do that. I did. I... Okay, we'll give it a try. Okay, fine. Nothing can be as bad as Days Gone. And Days Gone wasn't even a bad game. It was just a bad game. All right, here we go. Start a new game. We're going to do five community subs from Great Nitty and uh, Frick Club. I think I'm saying that right for the first time in like 5,000 gifted subs. Thank you so much for the five community subs. It wasn't a bad game. <laughs> Laser Fear 2, Laser Fear 1 was not good either. Well, we'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm completely open. I'm going to get a little, like, weird over the next few days, too, because I'm going to try to... I know that, like, two days before the colonoscopy, like, I can't eat 
So I might have to do short streams over the next, like not this one, or, or you know, I'm, I'm talking like in a couple days. We might have to short them up a little bit because I might not have enough, have enough energy. Because I, if I don't eat, I become like a monster. It's fucking Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Burger King. You understand? I, 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 go, I go nuts. We're going to restart episode three. You have interfered with my plans for the last time, Sam and Max. Taking your souls will satisfy my dark masters once I remember this guy. for all. And then I will use my army of the undead to take over the world. <laughs> Damn you, Jurgen! You owe me five bucks, Sam. I never thought he'd go for the cheesy evil laugh. Insolent to the last. No matter. Oh, we shall see how you make Rings. Mr. Vice cracks after you are dead. Well, looks like this is it, little buddy. There are references that I can make, but I can't eyes. because I don't want to like talk about like I story why stuff. I left my wallet. That... I can't even remember how we got here. <laughs> Could I, should on, I say Max. it? Remember, we were back in the office, just back from Easter Island. Wait, wait, that's not do a spoiler the whole thing for anything, with the music and all that. Oh, all right. Somebody might accuse me of spoiling. I can't say anything. Wait, I gotta use my gun. My voice is low? You know what? You're right, it is. My voice is low. Thank you! That should be a little bit better. I mean, you give me like a crosshair and I'll send one, two, three, get count to one. Ready? One. <laughs> I almost had it. If I beat this game, uh, we did season one. We're in the middle of season two. Doesn't being high priest of Easter Island and president violate the separation of church and state? Blasphemy! <laughs> oh, hang on. The holy water is giving me a religious vision. Oh, watch it. Vodka. A goat born with an HDMI port. An unwelcome visitor. Oh, ah, I remember this the part. Dead walk the earth. <laughs> Crazy bells, frog. Bells, bells. <laughs> hey, not bad. Hello, Commissioner. <laughs> What's going on? That's my favorite part of the whole song. That's the only part that I like. A snowy egret. No, a chicken. Hey, do you mind not making so much noise? Speak up, Commissioner. I can't hear you. We're having a zombie attack. What's that, Commissioner? Zombie attacks? Jen running George A. Romero in a baby doll t-shirt outside the food court with a $43 gift certificate. <laughs> We're on the case. The Commissioner says zombie attacks are popping up all over the world like pus-filled boils on the decaying flesh of, well, a zombie. Wait, who's Three attacking? Words. They're coming from some place called the Zombie Factory. Oh, zombies! Zombie attacks! You wander around aimlessly and see what you can turn up. I mean, zombie attacks. I'll actually figure out where they're coming from. One step ahead of you. All right. So we we did do this before, but in the middle of every other dialogue. Yeah, I just don't understand how these companies are allowed to do this, you know? I, 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 I should get... I, should, I, I think I'm going to, like, figure out how to, like... I'm going to have to, to turn the router off. So, you know. Let's actually enjoy the episode. And let me... I remember I, I went this. this game survived being thrown clear I did this shit. Land and casino let me explosion. do this again. Not nearly as surprised as the guy it landed on. Ready? Pretty accurate. Again, again. All right, this joke has gone on long enough. It's time to leave. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's too good. All right, for real this time, we get a ball. One, two, three. Oh. Oh. I took a ton out of me. I'm fucking tired, man. Oh my god. That took like all of my brain power. I think I'm gonna I gotta go. Uh yeah, thank I thanks for watching. I can only do like one th big thing before like Stry get tired and the streams have to kinda turn off. So that um thank you. Appreciate it. Not even a joke. That does happen, though. If you were here on the last stream, I, like, went crazy. I was, like, I stepped on the gas for two and a half straight hours, and then I was like, wow, I'm tired. <laughs> it happens. All right, let's, let's, get, let's see what this happens. Isn't that cute, Max? The rats have set up their own little casino. Where's Jimmy Tutti? I want to show him a new sleeper hold I learned. The boss is busy. He can't be too busy for us. We're the ones who gave him his big break. Not to mention various smaller fractures and sprains. The boss is busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so remember, we, we can get, we get like the Stein. Remember this. So, the zombies drink beer. A uh, flu, perhaps? Zombies Let's drink beer. On. The zombies beer Stein. You don't pick up the beer Stein. All right, I remember. We get a you, dead beat. Yeah. Don't we go get an antenna for the car? Yeah, we do over here. Let's go get that, because I remember it. You have to like throw the papers out, right? You do paper boy. Hi, cops. Do you Hi know? There. Don't Are spoil you it. Of paying a lot for your internet Shit. service. What? No, not really. Well, those days are over. Welcome to a new type of internet access. S O L. So simple, even a zombie could use it. Cox. Yeah, yeah I'm getting deja vu. Do you know anything about a place called the Zombie Factory? Processing. We have gathered extensive him. marketing data on zombies. Zombies need an easier, less expensive way to access the internet. That's why we developed Stuttgart Online for the greatest concentration of newly active zombies, Stuttgart, Germany. <laughs> this is the last in the back stream, yeah. What do you say that Crashing for? internet. We do not know. My internet he sucked. Has been like this I turned it, I was a zombie. Accident. I turned into a Max, zombie. When I'm done yammering, remind me we gotta drive to Stuttgart. Quick like a zombie. Drive to Stuttgart. Right. Forgot it already. Okay. What happened mm -hmm. to Bluster Blaster? There was a processing accident while developing our latest invention. I'm fine, Sam. Haddock is the best kind of fish. I'm fine, Sam. Haddock. Haddock we is pretty good. regret any inconvenience this may have caused. I'm fine, Sam. Thanks for asking. Is the internet better? Um, that is to be determined. Because... We've... Seen essentially like 1% downtime. Every stream since they fixed it, in quotes. So... Who knows? We It's better. But it's, I don't know if it's fixed, unfortunately. But who knows? I'm, I'm, we're just gonna let it fly, right? We just want to pimp our car. We no longer offer car upgrades. Our income has been lower than previously forecast. But this neighborhood has the highest accident rate in five states. We have spent a lot of this year out of town, Max. Oh, right. So we've devoted our resources to developing the ultimate online experience. Shit out of luck, right? You're selling the internet to zombies? <laughs> Not just the internet, at once. <laughs> but much, much more. From trivia to music, lifestyles to death styles, and inventive new recipes for brains, Stuttgart my mother online says that. Is the premier online zombie destination. Have you guys ever used the internet in front of your parents? Open it. next time if if you have like you know you know if you have like a parents that use the internet or they don't really use it that often, you open up a web page and just browse. They freak out. 
Something like, okay, click that, click that, drag down, get that, open that tab, scroll. To, you're going too fast! And then when it stops loading, if you have like a, you know, internet slow or something, you see you open too many windows and you're clicking so fast, it's, you, you're, you're clogging it up. That's my dad. Yeah, that's everybody's parents. And then if you misclick, let's say you click and you click. Oh, fuck, I didn't mean to. I'm going to hit the back button. See? It's like, then they're justified in saying that you're uh, going too fast. After all this time, you're not offering any car upgrades? None at all. We regret the inconvenience. There's a new invention. Hot it is much out, yeah. too dangerous. Intrigued? Go on. It's the super high-powered antenna for wireless internet access while on the road. There are problems. Using it could result in catastrophic electrical failure and spontaneous Clicking explosion of your vehicle. We see. And what are the problems? Uh, can you guys fix the bluster blaster? Can you guys fix bluster blaster? They had me fixed before they brought me home. Okay, but we want that antenna. We'll take that super high-powered antenna. We spent our entire savings on development. We can only give it to you if you help us market SOL. Take the provided CD launcher and use it to give installation discs to zombies I told my dad to press shift five times. They got sticky like keys and he shit his pants. And we love shooting things. They like wearing short pants. Would you like to begin driving now? <laughs> Affirmative. Initiating augmented reality driving sequence. All right, so it was right click, right? Let me not miss any. Remember that you can now oh. drive using a computer keyboard in addition to your mouse. Okay, ready? I'm not going to miss one. Things. Please deliver the magic of SOL Ready? to the Let's not miss one. Let me let me show you why I have a Twitch channel. We'll okay? I need to prove and it sometime. You must do it in the allotted time. You, you, you want to strafe. I call this I call this move the sway, right? When you're playing as the scout. You, you hit A and D. Hold on, no, that's three, two, one. Hey guys, welcome to the video. Three, two, one. Hey guys, welcome to the video. Here I'm gonna try to get every single one without uh, missing. Hey, three, two, one. One. Hey guys, welcome to Editing Fixes Every Problem. Uh, my name is Jerma. So if you're wondering, uh, I can go into a server uh, and lose 500 times. And then l win one time and show you that I'm really good at something. Because you didn't see the other 499 times. So what you want to do, uh, what, 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 what I think you guys should, should be doing. Wait, did I lose? Well done. We've installed your new super high-powered antenna. We cannot be held liable for any injury or loss of life. I'm liking the sound of this more and more. Please demonstrate Sick. the operation of the antenna to our big winner. Not too late. I don't want to see the bright light again. Very well, you get to figure it out for yourself. Alright, so we have this antenna. We've got an antenna. And, okay, three, two, one. So we got an antenna. What was wrong with the first one? I don't know, I'm, I'm second guessing my video. Okay, um, let's go into Bosco's. You can't, right? It's closed. Bosco went into hiding when we convinced him T-H-E-N we're coming. I remember Whee! back when I was doing YouTube, I thought like a funny video would be to cut every word. Try to have one of those videos where it's like an IRL, let's talk to the camera videos and cut every word. And try to have it flow together so it would be it would make sense. But it would, do you understand how long that takes for me to get like a six-minute vlog where every word is a new cut? And I'm not talking drink water like cut after every word, so and I'll just make it look like I cut it. No, I'm talking like say individual words and then make like a fucking Frankenstein. All right, so let's take a look at the zombies. I've got the antenna. All right, quick question. No, I don't have the Square. antenna. Can I put the antenna in the beer stein? I just want to try it. Wow, the cops actually installed something well for once. Just record the lines and let's set. I also was thinking about, but then I, d I decided against this. This is going to be one of my, like, fucking weirdo, like, I disappear for three weeks and then, like, a video comes up randomly after, like, a month. I was going to... <laughs> 
You guys are thinking fucking crazy. I was gonna f read like 95% of every word in the dictionary. <laughs> and just upload it. But then I was like, ah, uh, I probably shouldn't do that. Cause like then, oh, I bet people could like make me say anything. Oh, that's probably a bad idea. That's not a good idea. You would have a never-ending supply of every word. All right, let me try this. Let me get, give me the antenna. We didn't go into Sybil. Well, actually, we, I did go into Sybil's well, last time. The cops actually installed something well for once. I won't be able to just pull it off. I did the green screen. Yeah, but the green screen was. I mean, this this would we be like probably t twenty uploads of like ten hour videos. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm fucking insane. Wait, I can't take it off. This parking meter could with. Ah. Can I wait? Am I, am I just being dumb and building the same wall and taking the same wall wow, the up in Minecraft? something well for once. I won't be able to just pull it off. Okay, so I, I was just building the same wall and deleting the same wall in Minecraft while talking. I've done that before a bunch of times. Alright, so let's go into uh, Sybils, because we didn't really get to do that last time. <laughs> this is what happens when I, like, talk. I just, I can't do anything else. I remember, uh, like, years later after I uploaded those Minecraft videos, I remember MLC Stealth was like, Hey, dude, do you know that, like, 12 Take minutes of that video... Was you oh, building the same wall so while you were talking? I'm uh, out of applications right now, so uh, let's just be friends. Sure. What happened I can't to help Abe? It. I'm sure Cause... I don't know to whom you are referring. So, Mr. Molman. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry. No, this guy. Right? Harry, tell me more about you. Well, let me see. Interesting things about me. This is where we left last time. Okay, so we've got a photo of Abe Lincoln. We got the. Let's talk to Harry. Harry again. Molman. Last time we saw you, you were. Yeah, yeah, on the moon. What's all this I keep hearing about zombie attacks? Have you They're been outside? Everywhere. You boys have guns, right? Are we just not getting through to these people? Yeah, we're really not that complicated, Harry. How's the suitor business? How are things going with you and Sybil? Oh, she's playing hard to get. But women have a hard time resisting my charms. <laughs> oh, she'll grow to love me. <laughs> yes, she will. Can we fold this guy like up in the sofa? I don't like want to. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> Can I just like, can I just close the George Foreman grill right now? And just leave? Uh... I hate to break it to you, Harry, but Sybil's not that into you. She's more into the whole hard rock scene. Just wait till she gets a load of my oboe. Was that clumsy innuendo or a pathetic attempt to sound cool? Both. Dermot's the type of dude to walk up the stairs one stair at a time. Actually, uh, I go up two stairs at a time. I go up two steps at a time. I, I'm sorry, that, that literally was one random comment right there. I have to respond to this. My grandfather does it, my father does it, and I do it. We go up two steps at once. We don't go up one step at a time. I remember I got, like, called out for this when I was in, um... When I was in college, I remember going up two to three steps at a time sometimes. And this person was just like, what are you doing? I'm like, what? Why are you doing that? I just, that's what I do. So, I'm gonna, I have to correct that, I'm sorry. Do you know anything about a zombie factory? I'm not gonna zombies let that happen. I'm not gonna let somebody things. make they something up about me. No, it's a factory that makes zombies. Inconceivable! That's like making hate and evil and awfulness. So you're saying you don't like zombies? Okay. What have you got against zombies? Disgusting creatures. They're always breaking things. Zombies are why we can't have nice things. We mean breaking Wait, things. The reason you don't like zombies is that they break things? Yes! Stupid, clumsy undead. And that bothers you more than the brain eating? They're hell on knickknacks. Okay. 
Do you really think you have a chance with Sybil? I'm in it to win it! <laughs> He's saying that's where you crawl up the stairs. Have you ever seen a dog run upstairs? Four hands and legs. Four legs. They fly up and down stairs. They, they go up in like less than two seconds. Have you seen a dog run up fucking stairs? It's like... It's because they're using four where you're using two. Get down on... How do you think I do it? Hands. One step. You know, you, let's say you have your, your left foot on like the bottom. Your right foot is on the second step. Left hand on step number four. Right hand on step number three. You ha it's almost like um, it's like doing the worm. You have to like do the worm up the stairs as hard as you can. And you'll get up there in less than fucking two seconds. Start betting people. Hey, dude, bitch, I can get up those stairs in less than a second. Shut the fuck up. I bet you one Bitcoin. Oh, yeah, you're on, man. Yeah, all right. And then you fucking go down at all fours and do like a worgen run up the stairs and the guy owes you one fucking Bitcoin. Do you really think you have a chance with Sybil? I'm in it to win it. <laughs> Are you still into prismatology? Oh no! People are gonna Between try that and get hurt. I wasn't that into it in the first place. You just relocated Why would you ever try the moon that? for it. Well, think how great Dozen I have a, looks on no, a No, no, no. I have a disclaimer at the beginning of every stream that uh, this is comedy. Everything that you see and hear here is is comedy. Don't try this comedy at home. It's on. It's a dis disclaimer every single stream. Do not try this comedy at home. See you later, Harry. Zombie! <laughs> what gives, Sybil? Did you start your dating service again? This stream's Not supposed to be funny. Quite. All my clients are applying for dates with me. Um, as kind of officers of the law, we have to point out that that's kind of illegal. Does that mean we can shoot her to regain health points or something? Jesus. What? No. Get your heads out of the gutter. It's not like that. I'm looking for my soulmate. Um, I hope it's not that guy. How are you going to find your soulmate? Not by jumping in with the first reanimated statue that comes along. That's for sure. I've got the initial screening, <laughs> and then rigorous interviews, and finally, the soulmate. Oh, the soulmate, right? I want it. What does the soulmate do? Not sure. I won it in an online auction, and the instructions are all in Sanskrit. Something about ripping souls from across the plains to reunite them with corruptible mortal vessels. How much money Doesn't do you think? that sound romantic? Okay, so... I could just die. I have a Starbucks Sounds here, like a and I'm drinking out of a straw. Like, I'm, like... What do you think I could, like, get for an auction for this straw? Would I, would I be able to get more than ten dollars for this straw? <laughs> One bitcoin. One hundred and fifty. I think somebody would just be insane, and it would be like a like a thousand dollar joke to somebody. And then I would buy a thousand more straws and do it again, and get a thousand more dollars a thousand more times. Uh, I think I'm all I need is just that's all I need Sure, you don't need help with that soulmate or Sybil if you're not married by now. There's not much time left There's plenty of time. I still have a lot of data to analyze while I figure out how the soulmate works <laughs> Have you had a lot of applicants? Uh, a few if you know anybody anybody else of course Send it my way a lot of these guys have no chance but I'm still interviewing them to be polite. Speaking of which, what kind of movies do you like, Harry? No, I don't go to the movies that much because of my astigmatism. I hear that. Yeah, I'm, I, I gotta sit at the front row in a movie theater, guys, unfortunately. Do you know anything about a place called the Zombie Factory? I'm the one Zombies? guy that sits in the front row. Wow. Okay, I can't see. Hmm. Irrational fear of zombies. Interesting. But yes, I did get an email about something like that from some friends in Europe. Can we talk for a second about this? Rights for the undead thing. Can't remember where exactly. 
can we talk for a second just for a second about this i know people want i know we gotta like move on and play the game but like i need to talk to you about this this is very important that's a lot of no's <laughs> Alright, fine. Fine, never mind. Never mind. Okay. You know what? You know, are you sure? I'm gonna do it anyways, you know I am. Remember to lock up tonight so the zombies can't get in. Get in? There are zombies right outside? I'm not going to lock my door. This is a public place, and they have the right to peacefully assemble just like anyone else. Okay. What about Abe? Don't you want to give Abe another chance? Abe who? You were telling me more about yourself, Harry. I was detailing my various prescriptions and inhalers, if I remember correctly. <laughs> All right. How can you afford to keep your shops? Let's Let's, see, you don't have let's a get some job. clues. I'm still getting residuals from when I was Queen of Canada. The new location is a lot better for me. Not as nice as Edmonton, with its temperate summers and outstanding cost of living, but I get by. Tell us. Wait. Oh, royalties. I get it. You guys flipped really well, very quickly on this. Good luck finding your soulmate. This has nothing to do with luck, Sam. Is that merchandise? Yeah, I got t-shirts! Technology. T-shirts! I was going to do louder, but I thought my voice was going to crack, so I panicked and stopped halfway through. <laughs> Notice how I did two t-shirts, because I was going to go t-shirts, t-shirts, but I thought it was going to be t-shirt, and it would have been really embarrassing, so I fucking immediately stopped. Alright. Um, can we drive around with this car now? Does that antenna do anything? Hmm. Well, I can't go in here. The Lucky Vermin. The Lucky Vermin. Oh, now showing Robert Goulet's hamster. Gigi. It's a What was I going to say? I was just going to say, why did the movie theater have, like, even the first five rows? You know what I mean? Pull it back and, like, add the rows up top in, like, a balcony. Well, Nobody we sits it, in Sam. those rows. That was it. I was going to talk a lot about it. I was going to talk about how you could have, like, a performer there before the movie. You guys would have thought it was really funny. Let's go to Stuttgart. Yavor! Like, pull, pull back the first five or six rows, and before the movie starts, hire, like, a circus performer to, like, fucking juggle. I don't know. Instead of those previews that nobody fucking... You've already seen the previews well, on YouTube, like, Stuttgart. three days ago. Very atmospheric. I am looking forward to when the previews the are gone. And, and we don't have to watch them anymore. Hey, look. There's a gaggle of zombies. Politely lining up outside. Ooh, classy. Yeah, Europeans make the most refined undead. This must be the place. Yeah, and then they do like all the commercials and stuff. It's like, dude, I paid like a ton of. I paid like fucking 15 bucks to watch this movie. And like 20. I have. It's like a 40 to 50 dollar bill for two people to go to the movie and get like popcorn and shit. Because the movies are like the airlines. Where did, when did, why did that happen? Yeah, you're in, and by the way, everything is uh, times 10 money, and you can't bring anything in here. Welcome to the airport. Why the fuck is that? I don't understand why that happened. That makes no sense. Why is a drink like $7 at the movie theater? It's just makes, it's just like this weird fucking wormhole you go into where everything's just 10 times more expensive for no reason. Burger Boy used to bring in cheeseburgers. I mean, we would go to fucking McDonald's and he would get like six McDoubles. And he would just keep it in a jacket, and we would eat... It, it, would, it was better than popcorn. But anyways, get rid of the previews before the movies. Hire a fucking performer. Hire, like, a stand-up comedian. Imagine if you had, like, instead of 20 minutes of previews, there was, like, a 15-minute, like, act in front of you. A guy, like, doing, like, jokes and stuff. You could, like, tip him. That'd be better than watching, yeah, like the same like Coca-Cola commercial you've seen a hundred times. Stand aside, undead. We have to get inside. Yeah, go film a music video or something. <laughs> Typical zombies with their overinflated sense of entitlement. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, you wouldn't have a stand-up comic out there before like 
a, like a drama or like a horror movie. It would be, there would be different things for different movies. If you were going to see a Will Ferrell movie, they'd have like a fucking couple of comedians. Like, get you ready. If you were going to go see like a drama, I don't know, there'd be like a, a, a mime smoking a cigarette that just was silent and you, it was, it read poetry or something, I don't know. Beat it, zombies. Go back and bury yourselves. Are you gonna pay for that? It's already paid for. Can we go in? Have to be a full bar down there. Yeah. Are you serious? Oh, hello, sir, Mr. President. Agent Superball. What are you doing here? The place is being overrun with zombies. Yes, ladies' night is always packed. The master is a genius at promotion. Okay. So, Super Bowl. Super Bowl. No, didn't work. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Oh, okay. What about kids? Uh, like a mime smoking before. Well, that's an R-rated movie. If there was like a R-rated drama or something, there wouldn't be any kids in that theater. And plus, they would just be on a like a filter above them. Who's in charge here? Master Jurgen, the greatest leader ever. You said the same thing about Hugh Bliss and the evil president. This is different. Master Jurgen has a castle. He does have a point. Okay. What is this place this anyway? Is, this is the zombie, the zombie factory. factory. I knew Master it. I Jürgen's told you. Ancestral home, garrison of his undead army, best doors in all of Baden-Württemberg. We're here on official freelance police business, Super Bowl. Sorry, sir. We're at capacity. You'll have to wait in line. The master insists. <laughs> okay. We have to we stop. We really need to get in. The line won't move any faster Let if you me keep interrupting in. me, sir. The line's not moving at all, Super Ball. I don't see your point, sir. Is this a Beetlejuice thing where if we say that like ten times, he's gonna like take a mask off? Maybe a few uh, Washingtons will help speed up the line. Or even a Lincoln? I hope you're not trying to bribe me, sir. Okay. Well, we, have, we always have to Take come back to time. Something. We're very crowded tonight. What's over here? A coffin. coffin that's been opened from the inside. Wait, you mean zombies? Coffin has been opened from the inside of the open grave. Have ever seen Young Frankenstein? Anything yes, I have. Good, Sam? Looks like the deadbeat Undertaker's an opportunistic German rats got to him first. Brains and decent shape, the, the master of all cinema, Gene Wilder. When they put a stone slab over your corpse, you know they really don't want you coming back. Okay, so we got a brain. Anything else over here? What about this? Gravestone. It says, irony. 254 BC to 82004. I, I wasn't you. expecting that. It eat says brain. Irony. I'm not going to eat the brain. 254 BC to 82004. I wasn't expecting that. All right, this is the tomb. Tome, I know. Yeah, tome, tome, and tall. tome. And anorexic, I said it right the first it. time. I usually say tomb. No, I say tome. The tome. What do I usually say? I usually say the like, T-O-M-E, right? I gotta get this brain in me. How do I get it in? Can I, like, entice the zombies I with the brain? I was going to wait, but I think I'll dig into this tasty brain right now. Mm. <laughs> they were about to eat me along with it. Sometimes I wonder if you're really dedicated to this job. Can I throw it? Can... Do we think throw it off the cliff? Whee! Here, come here. What about you? Can you do something? No way. Can I do something? Nothing doing. Hmm. Can I put it in the coffin? Maybe they'll like go into the coffin. <laughs> Yeet the brain. <laughs> no siree. One day I'll be able to show you guys. There's a pack of clove cigarettes in here. I can clove throw shit cigarettes? real far. Gilroyal's brand garlic clove cigarettes. For that extra stink of sophistication. I just put all like my 
anger and all my energy and all my like ADHD and like all my fucking explosive personality and I just get behind it. I fucking bleh! and I can literally throw a rock like farther than anyone you've ever seen. Like it's ridiculous. If I if in another world, I would have been like a center fielder. I can hit home plate from all the way back. I take like one, two, three, run, two, five, like five pro hops and just fucking my arm explodes. I've already told you about this, and I could and th this has been documented by other people that have been at arcades. That punch the thing to see the pounds per pressure on your punch. I go over eight to nine hundred every time. Do you, just, do you guys know the thing I'm talking about? I've already talked about this. That like punch the punching bag arcade machine. I like break the fucking thing. I'll prove it one day. One next time I'm in an opportunity to do it, I'll get a video, and you will see my just my fucking my power. It's I have power. People think I'm making it up. You'll see. You'll see my, like, explosiveness. What about in the trash? They'll go in the trash, right? Well, the zombies would just reach in and snatch yeah, out. Well, they get out of, out of range. The bottom of the screen is cut off. Um, I think it has to be because... It's, like, has to run in a window. I'm sorry. I can't fix it. Alright, um... Well, I have these garlic clo... I want this like kill them? No, that's for vampires. Nobody can do anything with the brain. Nope. Well, let's just go back then. One punch Germa. We're not leaving, are we? Uh let's go home. Oh wait, hold on. Can I? Of course not. Can I like put the brain on the antenna? <laughs> No, oh, come on, that would... We're not leaving, are we? I want to drive around and hit a bunch of zombies with some CDs. Me too! So I can throw these. Hit zombies. Go! Yeah. So what... What is this going to do for me? I couldn't even click. Couldn't even click. Couldn't even click. Couldn't even click. It's not clicking. Wait, why is it out of 15 now? Congratulations, you've won! Oh, a decal. Would you like to keep trying for more decal? Um... No. No way. I don't want more than one bumper sticker. Remember we talked about this? I don't want to, I'm going to end up with a bunch of bumper stickers. Not good. Would you like to try the driving challenge now? No. No. All right, so I have brain, I have garlic, cigarettes, and then I have, okay. What do I do with these? Oh, whoops. I haven't even gone in here. Oh, Stinky! Stinky! No, not good enough. Loved this Stinky! That was alright. Yeah, maybe you should talk about this with your therapist. She was my therapist! Oh, good. Lamont and Wallace, you're here. Sam and Max, actually. Whatever. Your friend here is driving me crazy. Take him off my hands, would you? Do something about these flies. <laughs> One time I was in a restaurant. And I was ordering food. <laughs> I heard... I just got done, like, putting the order in. And it was maybe five... It was probably, like, less than five minutes later. I'm sitting down waiting for the food. And I hear from the back... Gotta do something about these flies! And I was just sitting there going, Oh, fuck. What do you mean, do something about these flies? Does that mean that they're back? What does that mean? And you kind of can't, like... 
I couldn't just be like, ah, oh, hey, excuse me. Can you just, like, not make that food? So I just ate it. And it was, it was, it was pretty good. It was actually really good. But I'll never forget that. You don't, you don't think you'd want to fucking scream that. With customers in your restaurant. What's this sticky black goo? That's my gooey molasses tar cake. It's a recipe handed down through my family for centuries. All the way back from the primordial ooze, from the looks of it. It's like... You don't- you never want to go to, like, the doctor? And, like, the doctor's just, like, about to do surgery to you? And he looks at the nurse and just goes, I don't know, really, like, if these tools have been cleaned in the last six months or not. Do you know? No, I have no idea. Oh, well, whatever. You don't want to fucking hear that. Why would you want to hear that at a restaurant? Alright, let's talk to Stinky. Any more zombies? Zombies getting, getting, getting you much trouble, trouble, Stinky? If that is your real name. Oh no, they're a nuisance, but at least they eat quickly and leave. Your friend Lincoln is the real horror. Give him a break. Come on, give Abe a break. He's on the rebound. He keeps trying to pay me in Confederate money. Who does that? That doesn't even make sense. Okay. So, have you heard from Grandpa Stinky lately? Like, from beyond <laughs> the grave? The dentist is in what your are mouth. You, you got to do something about these Grandpa's flies. Still on his Himalayan mountain climbing All right, jacket. if there were flies in a doctor's office, like a shitload of flies, I don't know. The first thing I'm going to think of is... The, where's, there's, where's the body? You know what I mean? Like, that's fucked up. What the fuck are you- why is that here? Uh, it's like the first thing I'm gonna think of. And it's gonna freak me out. Like, why would there be that many flies? Dentist office? No. There would be no reason for that. They're so clean. There's no- What, did he eat like a fucking steak and cheese sub and just let it sit outside? Like, on the counter? What's with a sunlamp woman who will call Stinky for the sake of convenience? So that's what that is. Oh, I mean, of course, that's what that is. Have to look my best, you know. The magazine set such an unrealistic standard of beauty for grandpa murderers. How do you know it's clean? Because one thing that I'm certain of at the dentist is that the tools are clean because, this is very important, they do this to the doctor too. You know, I'm not going to just talk shit about the doctor, the dentist, they both do this. They come with the tools in the bag that is sealed, and they open the bag of tool chips. They pff, sealed. New tools, every patient. That's how you can tell. Can we have your sun lamp? What could you possibly need it for? Max needs a UV bulb for his teeth bleaching regimen. You think a smile this white comes naturally? Well, go ahead. I don't need, I mean, I'm done with it. Okay, so we can take a sun lamp. We'd like to order something. Supplies are low because of the zombie attack, so uh, we're probably out. You do realize that's not going to stop us, right? Go ahead. Why would they have, what do you mean? What are you talking about? They don't do brand new tools? They, they're they like sealed in this like plastic that just rips open and it's brand new, new tools. It's not new tools every time? So you tell me that like the dentist like, scalpels and, and scr scrapers and scratchers have been inside somebody else's mouth. No, now if they open up a new sealed bag. I think I've asked this question to the dentist before and they're, they're new. Yeah, they are new. Th th yes, they are. No, no, if they're in like a sealed bag, sealed like... <laughs> I'm telling you, they're new. Seared grouper in a maple syrup reduction with bacon wrapped dates and toffee chips. Served on a bed of Venezuelan newspaper clippings. Sal, number three. <laughs> Chicken chow mein with chocolate covered raisins and a caramel swirl. Sal, give me a hyperactive spider monkey and a powder blue cardigan. And why don't we go ahead and wrestle him to the ground and tickle him till he pees? I have got to see what goes on in this kitchen. I do this for a living. They're, what, you're a dentist for a living? Do we have a one dentist in here? <laughs> dentists don't use recyclable tools. <laughs> is, there, is there an actual dentist? 
All right, Adventure MF Dan is a dentist, like is a real dentist. Guy, yeah, can you look at this for me for a sec? Cause can you just take a look real quick? Where is this? Can you look at this for me? I got this like fucking painful tooth right here. Can you like take that? Take a look at that. The special. Ah, my special gooey molasses tar cake. It's an ancient family recipe. Ancient? You've heard Closer. of Brea tar pits, of course. But have you ever tasted them? Sold. I'll take two slices. Sorry, I used up the blowtorch on some zombies who didn't tip. It's impossible to cut. You're welcome to look at it, though. Just don't touch. They're new. Nothing for us. They're thanks. new tools. I look. I'm gonna just. I don't care. I'm gonna to say that they're new every time because that I, I i don't i don't want to you know i used to have this really really horrible problem when i was younger i'm fucking out of my mind right let's get that let, let, me, let me preface this really quickly when i was like 12 13 like 11 12 13 like just kind of turning like adolescence and into like a teenager sort of like in between there i, I was terrified of hotels because i didn't want to sleep in bed that like somebody else slept in. And there was one scenario in particular where somebody had a note that they left in the hotel room. We were, I don't know, we were at like Disneyland or something, Disney World when I was younger with my parents and my family. And somebody had a note that they left a previous person that was in the hotel room. And it was like, Bob or something, to Bob. And it was like, I don't, who, I, my, I don't know what the note, it doesn't matter what the note says. All I only know is that Bob was here. And Bob in my brain was this like fat guy that like didn't shower then he slept in that part of the bed that I was going to sleep in. And I wouldn't sleep in the bed. I was, like, crying at, like, 11, 12. Like, no, but, like, what if Bob was sleeping there? And they're like, it's fine. Bob wasn't even in the room. Bob. They try to, like, make some story up just to get me to, like, calm down. Bob may have slept on that side. He smells. So I, I had like an issue with like th uh, things that other people used. Don't ruin the dentist for me. Bye. Want to help me carry this thing around, Max? I just want the bulb. Did you just get deja vu? Just close your eyes and it'll pass. Bob, <laughs> Bob, Bob farted on your pillow. <laughs> I don't know. You guys know what the type of fucking crazy shit people do in hotel rooms? Alright, okay, let's talk to Abe. What's shaking, Abraham? She's gone. Left me. <laughs> this is a new dentist every time. Yeah. <laughs> <The> <laughs> New dentist with new tools in his jacket. New jacket? Ja like, all, everything has to be brand new. What do you know about zombies? Pests. Hooligans. They always gather outside the memorial with their million zombie rallies and groanings. Always playing that awful music they listen to. How do you stop zombies? How do you stop a zombie? Beats me. Just between the three of us, I'm pretty hopeless at anything except making speeches. Oh, well. Sybil's looking for a new boyfriend. Fine, I don't care. Aren't you jealous? Do I not buy a new toothbrush because out near the her toothbrush is in my mouth? Stalking. No matter what she says. No, because it's my mouth. No, I didn't put the toothbrush into your mouth and then say, oh, did you get clean? And then brush my teeth. It's my mouth. You really blew it with Sybil, huh? It was just a simple misunderstanding. Like, I can't understand why you aren't as hot as that Moai head? She took that completely out of context. How do I know that it's only been in my mouth? Because they make them in a factory and they seal them. And they come in a sealed package and then they, you open the package and it's new. Don't, nobody, there's no such thing as a toothbrush. They manufacture them at a plant and they send them out. There's not recycled toothbrushes at, at like CVS. Who's gone? Sybil! Of 
course she left you. She dumped you like yesterday's breakfast when she caught you macking on the Moai heads. It's not fucking I'm sure true. It was just I one don't of believe that. Moods. They test them. No, there's no toothbrush recycling program. Well, you, you don't, like, send the toothbrush back to the factory. <laughs> just clean it. You just, this needs to be cleaned. Oh, my God. No, you guys are fucked. No way. No way. What do you mean, Google it? Yeah, maybe, like, some of the material, that, the recycled plastic is not the same as, like... Uh, then you don't, like, send a toothbrush to the factory and they run it under hot water and, like, reseal it. Keep a stiff, hairless upper lip, Abe. Always. <laughs> yes, they do. Oh, please. All right, so we got a lamp. We got a bulb, cigarettes, and a brain. Maybe, can I put the... Where do, I, where do I need to put this? I have the antenna. I didn't even realize stoplights could become Vikings. Wait, can I put can I put the brain inside of the socket there? It's literally the first link. No, they. Do, but this is not like you, when you go to see. You don't. We're talking about two different things here, guys. The toothbrush at CVS the in the package is not the same exact toothbrush that was inside of Bob's mouth. No, no, no. It's not. It's not. It is not. I am s no, it's not. I I'm looking this up right now. This is horseshit. No fucking way. There's no way. Recycled toothbrushes. Are toothbrushes recyclable? It is recyclable, but if you recycle it with the rest of your plastics, it will ultimately be sorted and sent to a landfill. Sorry, guys. Are toothbrushes biodegradable? No. They recycle toilet paper. <laughs> Crazy. Oh yeah, they recycle toilet paper. That would be, that would be like so ridiculous of a process. <laughs> yeah, you wiped your ass with Bob's ass. Please. Alright. Let me let me think about this here. We got the ceremonial urn. How about we put the brain in the urn? Nope. Nope. Desk lamp. Not particularly illuminating. Oh yeah? What if I put a super light in it? The bulb's too big. Plus, I don't want to read and get a tan simultaneously. Fuck. Races were recycled. I'm not sure quite where I'd stick it. No. Well, okay, the, the beer stein definitely is something. It only here. fits in a light socket. Can I do something with the beer stein? What about the cigarettes? Anybody want a cigarette? No, I can't. Except cool people. Not even the. So Daisy. No, I can't condone smoking for anyone. Um, was there a socket or anything in Stuttgart that I remember? Hydrate. I, I'm fine. And I know everyone's going to talk about... I, I could go off on a million years of a tangent here. Oh, your water. What about your water? Your water's recycled. What about your water? You're drinking pee. Oh, it don't matter. It don't matter. You understand, I have a water purification system. It removes... Everything. 
Everything. So, I'm sorry. You can tell me that's recycled. That's fine. I am perfectly fine with that. You have it tested? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the real deal. I don't use a Brita filter. Oh, please. What do you think I am? Some kind of fucking dummy? Brita filter. You don't... Oh, please. Do not come at me with this nonsense. I tell you I have a pure water filtration system, and everyone thinks I have a Brita pitcher. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm offended. I, I, okay, I need to, like... I gotta stop, like, fucking around and, like, actually play. It's too fun just to fuck around, though. I have, yes, I have supreme filtered water. Supremely filtered. I will put that up. I'll, I, you know it what? It only fits on a light socket. It is fucking supremely filtered. I'm gonna go back to, uh, Stuttgart. Where are we headed, Sam? Let's go to Stuttgart. I could probably do that. I could probably piss into this thing and drink it. I really- I'm serious. It's that good. You could put red food coloring in your water, and your water would come out clear. Do you understand the level of purification we're talking here? I don't think you guys understand. You want me to, like, shout out a company right now? I will. I'll do it. Don't make me don't make me don't make me turn this into like a sponsored stream here. I'll do it. Whee! Okay. All right, fine. I No. No, you figure it out for yourself. Whee! No sorry. All right. Let's let's what can I do with this light? Uh, I use a Berkey. I use a Berkey water purification system. It's the best in the fucking world. So, there you go. You want the best fucking cleanest water you can fuck in the world? Get a Berkey. You think that's bullshit? Go do your research. Look it up. Why do you filter your water? I don't want Bob's piss in my water, okay? <laughs> what the fuck are you- wait, what are you talking about? Big Berkey filter. Uh, it's, what is this? What is this nonsense? Uncertified. That's bullshit. Let me read this. This is a hit piece. This is definitely some kind of hit piece. This is a hit piece. What, th 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 is there another? Wait, hold on, wait, 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 hold on. Pull, wait. Everybody pull yourself out. Don't don't just jump to conclusions here. Before you read this article. Don't everybody don't, don't everybody read ever, get, go, relieve your brain of all things. Is there a water filter that they're pitching in the end of this? Let me see here. How long ago was this? No, it's just the clean. It's the cleanest water I've ever had. This is like a year. It's nothing.
it's one one review from one one review. What about all the other lab tests? How about how about this one? How about healthy families for God? Let's take a look at this one. It works, it's very good. I can see, I know, I've seen the tests. That article links to pure filters. Well, better not. Why don't you just boil it? You can't just, how do you boil like fucking a gallon of water every day? You know, it'd be so annoying. Is it a reverse osmosis filter? I don't know, maybe. It's good, it's good, I like it. It, do it does what it's supposed to do. I told you I wasn't supposed to say a brand. I knew this was gonna happen. I'm always gonna let me, let me find the article that says it. Yeah. What do I do with the brains? Nothing doing. Turkey water filter. It was expensive. Ugh, it's good. I like it. I like it. I'm gonna move on. I'm moving on. I'm gonna put this back in trash. I'm gonna recycle these things. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna play the game now. Everyone's just trying to make me look bad. Because it does it's a, it's a, it works. It's better than a Breda filter. It's way better. It's way better. Alright? I can't tell if he's supposed to be barfing or asking us to tithe. Both are scary. Maybe he's supposed to be an embittered waiter spitting on our food. I'm gonna, scary. I'm gonna go drink a glass right now. Oh shit, okay. Something I'm gonna get, smells good. I'm gonna get a glass of water right now. I'm proud we found a non-violent solution to our problem. Yes, ripping the brain from a freshly buried corpse was the start of a kinder, gentler Sam and Max. You just can't. It doesn't matter what it is. Next. That'd be us. I could tell you guys that Sorry, sir. You'll God. You'll have to leave any hazardous items outside. Actual God. Part of the clouds. Allowed. Holy water. Taboo. Hey! Hello! Oh, 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 oh. And you like like, the there he is! Please have a taste of the cleanest, most pure water that we have up in the heavens. Taste it. It's so clean from the clouds above your clouds. Wow! And I would take a sip and people would go, that's a scam. It's just, uh, nah, nah. Somebody would write an article about it. So God, God parted the, the seas and took water from the clouds above heaven. And we tested it and there was 2% uh, fluoride still in it. What is, what are you talking about? There's a little bit of a, or inorganic compounds or still trace material. You should get a Brita filter instead. What? <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is. Let's go in. Let us end. Sorry, sir. You'll have to leave any hazardous items outside. Garlic, clove, <laughs> cigarettes. Not allowed. Holy water. Taboo. Alright. So put them in the trash. I don't have any holy water on me. Alright, let me in. Let us end. Hmm. Very well. Have your IDs ready, please. <gasps> Do the voice! Yes, sir. Welcome, creatures of the night, to the zombie factory. Dream yourself testing the water. I don't have the tools to do that. <laughs> Welcome to the 80s, Sam. We've been waiting for you. Do I smell? 
no blob. <laughs> Don't drink the water in, in this house. It's got trace amounts of. We're Sam and Max. Freelance zombies. <laughs> Squirrel oh, pool. Yeah. The bit players from the Midtown Cowboys. Bit players? We're the stars! Stars? <laughs> Please stop, you'll make me to giggle. <laughs> Ooh, look at me. I'm so edgy and subversive. Only her feather is truly acquainted with the darkness. So what's your story, Emo? I am Jürgen. I am not surprised you don't know me. No one truly knows me. Is it always and this thumbs this through is the rings? This army Jesus. of the undead. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Soul I take, my army grows Please. Larger. Please. <laughs> oh, Please. I did not just reveal my master plan. I give me some more. Well, uh... That was easy. Back, foul monster. We're here to put a stop to you your evil scheme. Yeah, cut it out with the zombies already. I just don't want to talk over people. Stop me. <laughs> so many others have tried. That is how you say, played, yo. Now you must excuse me, for I am a way to dance. I never oh. knew vampires were so... fruity. Not all vampires, Max. Just the European ones. Please, Libby. Oh, what are you gonna do? You're gonna drop a couple more one ones? Zero mana one ones? That sounds easy to me. What does he got? Alright. I'm thinking a, um... thinking about using a guy with a taunt card here. Be nice. Click. I, if I did it, if I did it during, you would have laughed at it if you thought it was funny. Is Hearthstone not cool anymore? Am I, am I, did I miss the boat on that or something? I wish the people making these fake books would at least try to make them look real. It was never cool. Yes, it was. You played it. You bought like a hundred dollars worth of cards. I know you did. Don't tell me that like a couple of years ago you didn't like it. Why do they always have bottles of water at raves? Because of all the drugs, Sam. <laughs> then we better take one. All right, so we're gonna ash a garlic cigarette into this water, and we're gonna give him unpurified water. God damn it! I, I need to learn to like just, just when you thought things couldn't get any better. Close my mouth. Dead fish. <sighs> Ready to drop some fat beets or something? Nah, I'm okay. I went before we left. Whoa! All right, where we go? So we're gonna make him dance. Torment. Sub-Zero. <laughs> Liu Kang. Embrace. Sepulchre. Parents. Parents. Desire. Desire. Succubus. I have to do a combo here. Abyss. <laughs> Blood. Do you guys remember these things? Letters. Letters. This is just the, the device that you could pick and it would be like, I'm gonna make a putrid, revolting puke. Let's all make a slimy, stinky fart. Holy shit, I used to love these. Misery. They still make those? Embrace. Pure energy. Pain. They still no 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 it was like a it's a physical device you bought it at like a toy store. I'm only 19. When was that? Oh, that's why. All right. Well, I don't know what these are for, so I can figure that. I like that one. So eventually, I'm gonna I'll figure out what song needs to be played here. There's some poetry inscribed on this coffin. My dark mistress longs for death to return to her velvet sepulchre, her only passion, the void's embrace, or else she'd reply to my letters. Okay, That's hold on. Poetry? I didn't say it was good poetry. Wait a minute. So I think those correspond to the does that those correspond to the dials there? My dark mistress longs, dark for, mistress death longs for death to return to her velvet, velvet sepulchre. sepulchre. Her only passion, the void's embrace, or else she'd reply to my letters. Oh, let me go take a look. Whee! How much do you make me shave my head on stream? I would not do it. Okay, so... 
There's a lot. Letters. Sepulcher. Sepulcher. That was, was it death, right? Abyss, succubus. Succubus, sepulcher. Letters. Succubus. Sepulcher. Letters. Letters. Maybe it has to be a certain B? What was it again? Wrong, wrong, wrong. My dark, My dark mistress, mistress longs, longs for death to return to her velvet, velvet sepulcher. sepulcher. Her only passion, the, the voids embrace. 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 She... embrace. Embrace. Okay, so this is this death is not on here. Suck. Embrace. Letters. No, 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 is embrace, uh, embrace sepulcher. Embrace sepulcher letters. I guess that's not all of them. Well, let's just, maybe I don't have the whole thing. Because I don't know what, what the beat's supposed to be. What is this one? This one has something here. There's a poem inscribed on this book. There's a poem here. Everyone What's relax. It it's been worn down. I can't read it. That doesn't even rhyme. Yeah, these just change the these just change the song. Yeah. yeah. What? 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 Razor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. So it was Embrace Death Sepulchre. Embrace Death Sepulchre. Letters. 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 Embrace. Death Sepulchre. Death Sepulchre. Death. Embrace. Sepulchre. Embrace. Embrace the letters. Letters. Thank you, 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 thank you. I saw it open. I'm not an idiot. Razor. Death. Adder. I can't see a thing. Your hand. Oops, sorry, little buddy. Okay, so this brings you up here. Spotlight. Ooh. It's the spotlight for the zombie stance. Oh, I have something in my inventory. Check this out. It's gonna, it's gonna go. And aim the spotlight at his head. It's the spotlight for the zombies dance floor. Okay. Well, that's in. Can I move this around? No. What else is up here? Find the swinging razor sharp pendulum. What razor sharp? Ow! I wasn't here before. Oh, so Jurgen's the only one who's allowed to redecorate? Let's see what else is in here. You're too dumb for this puzzle, ban that guy for life. I've been in this room for like three minutes. Ban, ban that guy for life. I just put the bulb in. Ban that guy for life. No, 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 I want to, no, I want to click on the axe. Purely decorative display of violence. Kind of like Max. He's power hungry. <sighs> yes, I am. You ever seen me throw a fucking rock before? A fireplace with no fire, no logs, and no chimney. Nothing suspicious here. Let's keep looking. 
typewriter ribbon. That's odd. Somebody dropped a typewriter ribbon. All right. What is that? I'm not. What we really need our healing. Just hear me out on this. This is important. Right here. No, like right here. Right. No, like right here. I thought this was like one of the M and M's. But I thought this was an M and M. I don't know why. Like one of those cartoon M and M's. Does that have to, okay, well, I, what, I just got the the ribbon, typewriter ribbon, what is this? That is not a medically approved use of nipple rings, kids. Okay. What's over there? Nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm just looking around, I'm just browsing. Look, every time you go to a store, just do it, hurry up and finish the puzzle! Wait, wait, when you go somewhere and you go to the store, you just instantly go by the- You just walk in a straight line to the one item you want at the store and you fucking walk to the exit and pay for it? No. You walk towards the area you want to go to, and then you, eh, you make a left into, like, home section. Oh, what's that? Let me look at, like, the microwaves. Then you keep going, you go to where you, what you need, you take- you browse around the other shelves. Oh, I mean, actually, I need a new HDMI cable. Come on. And my latest dance is called the inconsolable Nephilim. Is that? Check it. Ah! Oh, 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 it burns. It burns. Oh, lady. It's okay. No problem. They're still cool. No. Not so cool now, are you, Master Jurgen? It is but a minor setback. My zombies still know who is the master of style. Am I right? No. Nope. Yeah. It's us. Okay, so... Do I have to, like, poison him? Let me just check. Will he drink this? I'm gonna ash the cigarettes into his water. Like, he's probably gonna be like, Oh, I'm thirsty now, right? They don't look thirsty. No. Having a good time? They're about as articulate as your typical club goer. Okay. I mean, can I move? Um, I have this like typewriter ribbon now. I'm not necessarily sure what it's for. I mean, can I aim it at him again? He's just like off the dance floor. Hey, Jorgen. Meow. Do you have a source of power? Where is the source of your power exactly? Just curious. Yeah, we just want to look at it. Americans, the source of my power is not something you can buy and own. It is my style. The zombies love me because of my rhymes, <laughs> my moves, my staying Follow me. on top of the latest and Give me a small rock to throw. Style is the only thing that is truly immortal. I feel sure. Apart from vampires, which I am also. Do you know where one of those punching machines is? Okay. So, you're big fans of Midtown Cowboys over here? Yeah, it's Deutschland's most popular program. All the young people in the gymnasium wear the t-shirt which read, you probably hide the cow. <laughs> Her family's world is eternal confusion and pain. I appreciate the show on another level, of course, which is why the zombies love me. New location unlocked. Ooh. What was that? You haven't heard the newest club hit, New Location Unlocked? Oh, you're so tragically unhip. Okay, new location unlocked. Zag. You know, for a master of style, you don't seem all that great. Yeah, you're just kind of dated and mopey. I don't get the thrall. Well, my zombies know how late it is. I speak to the bleakness of our existence. Winner of MTV Bavaria's most doleful lyrics competition for 270 years running. You've got a castle and a zombie army. What have you got to be down about? Yeah, TV. we're at least twice yeah. as miserable as you are. 
Would you like to prove it? How do we do that? Prove Every it. night is open mic night at the zombie factory. You hmm. may try your pitiful best to win over my audience, and then I will assault them with my freestyle melancholy, and they will continue to be in my throne. So we have to do some open mic night. How do we night. know you won't cheat? I never cheat. Yes, some of my rivals have been found with the blood drained from their bodies, but this is mere coincidence. It's on. Oh, it's on. Oh, very well. But I always emerge victorious. I gather one could say, it's in my blood. <laughs> He's doing it again, Sam. Being all Euro freaky. Don't let him psych you out, little buddy. Let's show him how the real goths do it. What's with the banjo? I'm going for Southern Gothic. My right. name is, um... Here we go. Uh, this is where... This is where we, we... I don't think we have the info for this, but... Count Cryptwind Death Grasp. MC Ryman Canine. I would pick this one. MC Ryman Canine. And I'm... Uh... Uh... That's a TF2 one, so I have to click it. MC Lagamorph! And we're gonna kick it out awkward style, yo. We're the freelance grave robbers and we're ready to go, see? We'll knock you out, deader than Rubio, see. We're taking over your house like we're Nancy Pelosi. Politics! That long ago? We're rocking Sundance like we were Marco Posey. We like our breakfast nook because it's sunny and cozy. Uh, that one. I'm saying top or bottom. We'll knock you out deader than Bella Lugosi. We got more rhymes than you can beg, steal, or borrow. Because we're too good. The guys heat to the row. And we kick it all schools like Pop Rocks and Charo. Our world is endless torment and it is sorrow. We build technology for a writer tomorrow. This one. Torment and sorrow. Our world is endless torment and sorrow. Despair! You bloodsucker MCs best get out of our way. Because you're flabby and pink like a salmon filet. Because I've been to snappy like a David Mamet play. We're stupid. We're stupid! Um, because all the creation ends in death and decay. This one. Because all creation ends in death and decay. Entropy, G. Peace out! <laughs> Pathetic. You have what? all the street cred of white 30-year-old video game programmers. Hey! Ouch. Now, take a listen to how far it is done. <laughs> Bleeding wounds self-inflicted. Battle morning hack attack. Witch queen nurse has no other self-tech. Bandages cover scarves of despair. That was terrible. That was terrible, 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 terrible. Uh, so, what was wrong with that? Hold on. Do I need, like, more info? What was wrong? Was it the introduction? Gotta go full emo. Hey, you're okay. Good. Yeah. Max and I want to challenge you again. We'll prove we've got the bleakest rhymes. Hit it. My name is um. My name is. This one, Count Cripwin Death Grasp. That's just your name. No, no, it's definitely this one. Count Cripwin Death Grasp. And I'm. Something else. Uh, Baron Bat Anguish Von Nightmare. Yeah, I clicked on the instantly clicked on the TF2 one. Baron Bat Anguish Von Nightmare. And we're gonna kick it out awkward style, yo. We're the freelance grave robbers, and we're ready to go. See? Uh, this is like politics. No, no, no. This is like nice. It's it's it has to. It's we'll this knock one. You out we got more rhymes than you can beg, steal, or borrow. Because we're the good guys, no? We'll kick it old school. Our world is endless torment and sorrow, yeah. Our world is endless right. torment and sorrow. Despair! You bloodsucker MCs best get out of our way. Uh, uh, 
Because all creation ends in death and yeah. Because all creation ends in death and decay. Entropy, G. Weak children of the night. <laughs> yes, I got it. What? You have managed to impress my brainless zombies. No matter. I will still defeat you most easily. But first, an energy drink. Hey, no fair. Ah, to taste the blood of one who believes he has beaten me. <laughs> it is energizing, intoxicating. Okay. Our world is endless torment and sorrow. All creation ends in death and decay. Stealing. Bella Lagos is dead. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hey, you just stole our rhymes. It's not fair. what you say, but how I say it. I am smooth like cotton of velvet. Huh. So what's up with that bullshit? He just stole. We definitely have to poison this guy. Right? Like we have to like, just, can, can I just go ash the cigarettes, the clove cigarettes in there and then just dump it on his head? Oh, maybe it can, like, if he bites, maybe, hold on. There's a pack of garlic clove cigarettes in here. Can I put it in there? He won't just, he won't smoke them. Nah, I can't condone smoking for anyone. Smoke him if you got him. Smoke cigarettes in real life. So he drinks, he'll drink the water. Thanks. So I need to fill this up. Do we have the bottle? Okay, so we have the, we have the bottle of water. I can't like do anything with this. I need to, is there like a church anywhere? Max is a priest. Have to leave any hazardous items out. It's garlic cloves, no, holy water. Yeah, holy. I don't have any holy water though. No, I'm gonna let me go back here. I'm gonna check the other places. We're not leaving, are we? TV studio, new location. Let's go to the TV studio. Let's go to the WARP studios. Oh boy. <laughs> You're here. Let's get this started. A very special Midtown Cowboys. Scene four, Wait, we're just, one, we walked five, in the door? We're just, we're just going? Ah, I can't work like this. Actors. Oh, fine. Take five, everyone. Just come talk to me when you're ready. That happens very quickly. All right, what do we got? Cactus? Because we're supposed to be cowboys, see? Trophy number one. Cow. So what's the point of coming back here? I must wonder. be a prop in the episode. I wish I just read that out loud. But Look, Max, I it's our old co-star. Let's just move on. Featherly. The name is Featherly. I thought you didn't like us calling you by your character name. Are you method acting or something? Hardly. I've legally changed my name to Mr. Mr. Featherly. Featherly. Philo Featherly? No, Mr. Featherly. It simplifies the licensing contracts considerably. Okay. You're pretty big Did in you Germany. Know really popular in Germany? Did I know? It changed my life. That ill conceived dalliance in prismatology left me penniless. You should have thought about a nest egg. When I was poor, I would have taken offense at that. Now I say ha. 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 <laughs> Okay. Do you have any crazy you have fans? Any crazy fans? A Miss Greta Grunwald. I should go change my real name. 
She insists on sending me scandalous photos of herself with messages about how she enjoys dark meat. Ugh. Oh, Greta. Oh, she keeps sending me messages about Hassenpfeffer. Okay. With your new popularity, do you need some freelance bodyguards? No. If Ms. Pandemic rejects my application to be her suitor, I may need to call on Miss Grunwald. A wise actor must adapt and adjust. All right. What happened to your love of the theater? So we're going to film a new hmm, scene? Let me see. I could play I Torvald play. in a doll's house two shows a night for an entire year and still not make as many euros as I get from licensing a single poster of my beak. Not my face, just the beak. Change your name to Presto E. Majesto. Are you ready for a new season of Midtown Cowboys? I've been ready for several months, but the director insisted that you two appear for some unfathomable reason. Didn't you receive her phone calls? Well, we have been busy. Becoming president, saving the world, deleting random messages from the answering machine. Okay. What's the secret to a great performance? The true art of theater is all about improvisation. Uh, an oral surgeon from Houston during the French Revolution. Well now, Missy, looks to me like what y'all got is an impacted molar. Damn you, Robespierre. And see. What is the E? The E stands for E. A great actor must be ever prepared for Yeah, in Twitch chat. People just said it all the time, so I just decided it was going to just be E. All right. Break a leg. So or long, worse. bird. The E stands for E. Yeah, the E stands for E, lowercase e, e. As fake as Myra's nose, lips, and hair. All right, is there any items I can take from here? Is the whole entire studio open to hey, look around? Hey, no wandering around. Record the scene or get out. Oh, what? Come on. What's this bullshit? Hi, Elaine. Come on up. What's going on here exactly? Oh, nothing special. Just the biggest, biggest episode, episode of Germany's, Germany's top. top so we, 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 we have to do something here. We have to make something interesting happen. Schnitzel time mit Regis und Katharina Lee. No, what anymore. that is, I have no idea. Didn't you get my phone messages? Midtown Cowboys is a surprise hit in Germany. Okay, what's this episode going to be about? about? It's the climactic Mr. Featherly's intervention episode. Sounds hilarious. This is no laughing matter. This is quite possibly the most important episode of television ever made. It's good to see the television industry tackling important social issues like addiction. Right. Social issues, whatever. I'm talking about product placement. <laughs> this is going to be pure gold. What the fuck? Okay. So what what are we doing What's this our motivation? Scene? I feel like I'm your skipping ahead here. Your motivation is to not get fired. Just read your lines from the cue cards, keep away from the props, and follow Featherly's lead. He's the one who's selling the t-shirts and soundtrack CDs. Okay. Uh, let's see what happens. We're ready to start filming. It's about time. All right, people, places, everyone. Let's make some money. Art. Let's make some art. Tonight, a very special episode of Midtown Cowboy. Who is this? Is the narrator? Do I have control? Or are these, are these Can't we film just it? ignore the problem and hope it will go away? Mr. Featherly needs our help now. Oh, there he is now. Is the lens cap on the camera still? Uh, I must have left my bag in here. Take the lens cap off. <gasps> I knew it. You're filming the most I important TV you show in history. You, you, you're, not, you're, not, you're not, there's no feed. That's right, Mr. Featherly. We have been hiding a cow. But you've been hiding something much worse. What? I don't know what you're talking about. For the love of God, Mr. Featherly, stop with the Is it lies. a radio? Just look what you're doing to Bessie. <laughs> we saw what's inside your bag. How do you explain this? <laughs> oh, gut smack, brand malt liquor? <laughs> we see you drinking it all the time. How did I break right. it? I just clicked I the it, let's go I button. I am addicted. 
Oh, how could I not be? It's got the smooth hickory age taste that makes every night a special night. It sounds delicious. <laughs> Let's go buy some right now. E. Boys, aren't you forgetting something? <laughs> right, about that. Looks like you'll need to buy three bottles of old Gutsmack brand malt liquor. Cow well, thankfully, I don't have to click anything. And cut. Hey, As good job. Lee Strasberg once said, Cha ching. Excellent work, everybody. Old gut smack, malt liquor breaks German. Okay, so. Cool. I believe that's it. There's a oh, it's Shame poker no table. Thought to televise poker. All right, well, I'm going to go back. Nothing beats watching the brick rise in the morning. Let me leave here. You can't go that way. I can't go it that breaks way. Breaks the illusion. Poke your night of the inventory. That is a game. You're right. This thing's peeling worse than Max after 13 hours on the surface of the sun. All right, let's get out of here. Are we leaving already? Yeah. Um, let's go. Let me just make sure. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm gonna, I want to click on everything. Hold on. Please. Not even fictional characters have time to read these days. The characters Trophy. we play are champion horseshoe skippers. But in real life, we're champion horse skippers. The cow doesn't do anything. Well, does the cow do something? Hello, Bessie. Still not speaking to me? I see. Did something happen in that scene that I was supposed to see? It's Mr. Featherly's bag in the scene. There's a bottle of malt liquor inside. Sorta. Of. It's Mr. Featherly's. Oh. There's a bottle of malt liquor inside. Can I take it? It's Mr. Featherly's bag in the scene. There's a bottle of water inside. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Okay, I get it. I get it, yep. All right, it makes sense. Let's do the scene. Okay. We want to film. Can I see it this time? Show. Sure. Why not? Repackage it as an alternate take. It'll be huge. All right, let's go, people. No, I want to see it. For the love of God, Mr. Featherly, stop with the lies! Just look what you're doing to Bessie. All right, we can skip this, though. Skip. We saw what's inside, inside your, your bag. bag. How do you explain Lean this? this. Gilroyal's brand garlic cloves Close cigarettes. cigarettes? Admit you have a problem. Mm. Uh, mm. All right, I admit it. I am addicted. But how could anyone resist a, a lung full of garlic-flavored smoke? <laughs> They taste good. Man, they're good for you. What okay. a hard, smart smoking choice. And they make you look so cool. Let's it's like, buy some. Fucking like the old. Wow. Remember the Flintstones? Sounds like Bessie wants her own pack of Gilroyal brand garlic clove cigarettes. Flintstones used to do cigarette commercials. See that, boys? This is bizarre. That is acting. All right, here we go. Cool Germans say yeah to garlic clove cigarettes. There it is. So now, um, it's Mr. Featherly's bag. I don't There's think a I can. Of garlic clove cigarettes and some. Should I take them back, or that should do it, right? I wonder if I should keep, like take them or keep them. Do I need the liquor for anything? I feel like the, I could put do something with the liquor. I'm not gonna put my gun in there. I'm gonna hold on to the liquor for now. And let me just get out of here. So now all the Germans are addicted to cigarettes, right? Are we leaving already? Yeah, let's go back to the office. Let's go back to the office. Every time that happens, it's like, where did we just drive from? 
We just fell out of a fucking airplane. Alright. So, uh... They should be smoking cigarettes. Wait. Nah. No? The zombie's beer stein. I can't do anything with that? Uh... I don't want to water that. Wait a minute. Maybe they... Mm. Why are we headed, Sam? Let's just go back. See if anything Let's changed over here. Stuttgart. You're in America. Alright, so now everybody has cigarettes here. Is Jeremy endorsing cigarettes again? No, I'm saying don't smoke cigarettes. All right, let's see. Cigarettes. Why would I tell people to smoke mm, cigarettes? Yeah, go? zombie guys. I'm so down with the smoking, yo. Mm. <coughs> so are we just killing him from the inside out? <laughs> Who's the master now, Master Jorgen? Your attempts to discredit me will not work. My Z-Boys still got my back. Yeah, the, the, all the Z-Boys, all the Z-Attack back there. It's like really fucked up. It's like really distracting the Z-Attack. Uh, the Z uh, the Z Alright, so he's smoking. That Jorgen creep is pretty uncool, huh? I heard he wears corduroy. Z-Fighting. The <laughs> there it is. Z-Attack. I was trying to pull back from last stream. All right, so he's just over here smoking cigarettes, and it's killing him. Hey, Jorgen. Meow. Should we like dare him to inhale? Or uh, what? I don't. You know what I mean? We will end you, Jorgen. And incidentally, what was the source of your power again? It is my style. The zombies love me because of my rhymes, my moves, my staying all. So he's gonna get. He, he's gonna smoke, and it's gonna fuck him up. Yeah, let's go. Max Watch and this. I want to challenge you. You know me. I'm Count Cryptwind Deathgrass. And I'm Baron Bat Anguish the Nightmare. Okay, we're already wowed you, but here's an encore. So we'll just skip to Jurgen. And you've already heard our melancholy rhymes. So we're not going to repeat them. You know you love us. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? Okay, we don't have to do anything. So now he's gonna be fucked up, he's gonna slow down, he's gonna start coughing and... Cut that out! I hope you got something in mind here, Sam. I'm getting kinda woozy. I mean, Max has to have something in his body. I don't even know where I am. Sam! You crack me up! What? Oh, it... <laughs> they didn't like that, that was bad! Again, you say, that no was terrible. That was fucking awful. That I cannot take away. So, all right. So, he's already like kind of fucked up. Max has to like. We have to give him something. You have to take in like garlic flavored water, or like holy water, or I don't know. We gotta figure what like how to. <laughs> Get him drunk. All right, come here. Yeah, that makes sense. Can't condone drinking. Oh, no, what? Come on. It has to be. It has to be water. Whee! Just when you thought things couldn't get any better, undead fish. Undead fish. I need to find like holy water. Yeah, hold on. Because he's not gonna drink this. He'll drink the water. Oh yeah. yeah. Yep, yep, games are fun. Games are fun. Video games are fucking fun. All the three-dimensional polygons and programming that require it. We're not it's, leaving, are we? It's wonderful shit. Yeah, let's head back home. There is water. I don't know if it's holy water, though. No one likes games. Games? Just like, I, yeah, fuck them. Who needs games? 
I don't think this is holy water. I think it's just... <laughs> was bathing in it. But what if you were bathing in it, wouldn't you taste it's bad? place where High Priest Max takes his holy baths. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was already covered with it. Maybe he's just consumed it. Okay, this is... Yeah, got it. Sim, Sim, Salabim! Okay. <laughs> All right. It's time to win. So Max drinks this, he gets bit, and then all of a sudden, he's just gonna pass out or something. No, oh, I have fu how... How am I gonna get this in there? He said, no holly water and uh, no cigarettes. Just drink it before we go in, right? That's not, will it last? Where are we headed, Sam? Let's go to Stuttgart. Make it cool on the show, yeah. Fuck yeah. Free game with holy water. I mean that that makes a lot of sense. But I mean, he could also drink it and then he takes a bit, but he has to drink it out here. Will he know? Let's try that. Let's try it. I feel like, but why would he just buy holy water? If it's not, not allowed leaving, in there. Are we? Let's go That's probably gonna work. Oh, Let's see if this does it. I don't want to waste it. To anybody else, no. it looks just like regular water. Yeah. Only your priest. Yep. So he has to drink it outside. Are we leaving already? It was an interesting idea. I was gonna humor it, see if it would work. Let's go to Stuttgart. <laughs> we go in. He's like has holy water vats in his room. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go with the original plan. Come here, you. Try this! Drink up, pal. Delicious! Mm. Tastes like righteousness. Let's go. Sorry, sir. You'll have to leave any hazardous items outside. Garlic, cloves, cigarettes. Not allowed. Holy what? I don't have garlic. See? Yeah. You guys all telling me I, that I was wrong. See? I can't go in there with that. But the first season of Midtown Cowboys was so much better. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, here we go. Hey, Jorgen. Meow. Yeah. He's got a halo on his head. Max and I want to challenge you again. You know me. I'm Count Cryptwind Deathgrasp. And I'm Baron Bat Anguish Von Nightmare. All right, and bite him. Already heard our and turn to rhymes. fucking dust. So we're not going to repeat them. You know you love us. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's the cheater's you lament. Yeah. All right, and that Ow. should do it. Drag me to hell, the scarred arms. Uh oh, time down below. Very soon, need. This is, di is a diarrhea segment. Excuse a moment. <laughs> Not God. You hold your holy water, Jurgen. You dare defile my. Oh wait, hold on. He's going very quickly to the bathroom. That was gruesome. That's not enough time to do anything. <clears throat> oh, that is the very last of the straws. I don't care. 
I did not become the Prince of Darkness just to make the friends, you yeah? Didn't wash hands. Didn't, didn't wipe ass. You uh, Max. Even I think that's more important. Who needs them anyway? <laughs> Zombie pile on you again! <laughs> oh. Save some of the entrails for me, guys! We're He's escaping yet, to his now. inner sanctum. No, go this way. Go, <laughs> go in here. Here comes the torture I chamber. Those dumb zombies like me anyway. Just so stupid. Stand back, foul creature. We come to cast you back into the unholy pit from whence you were spawned. What he said. Oh, heard it. I should have disposed of you irritants oh, sorry. long ago. Frankenstein. Now, <laughs> your two souls will fulfill my unholy contract, and I will make the entire Earth my non-stop house party of evil. And then there was the most epic battle of our entire career. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I remember the rest. So, what do we do now? Didn't feel like oh, animating it. <laughs> Gee, I got so wrapped up in the story, I forgot to think of a plan. We could make... <laughs> All right. <laughs> cool. That's it. Well, that was unpleasant. That jerk Jorgen got my suit all dirty. I'd like to give him a piece of my mind. Or take a piece of his. Mmm, jerk Jorgen. They actually kill him. That's that fun. does sound tasty. We suffering serpent and the rainbow max we've turned to zombies why are we standing like this sam oh i thought you knew what zombie lincoln zombie abraham lincoln what are you doing here i i don't know this doesn't look like the theater something different about you hmm you're not wearing your hat! And he's got a body, and he's not 20 feet tall, and he's just come out of a grave. Yeah, why is he... This like, isn't our Lincoln, little Why body. is he a person? Do I know you. He was the head. How did you end up in Germany? Germany? I've never been. Apart from my family's cemetery plot just outside Stuttgart, I have absolutely no ties to Germany <laughs> whatsoever. Uh, well, okay, th there's the explanation. Uh, I, just, I just crashed the game. Auto save, right? Auto save, right? Please. I was too. No, it auto saves like every fucking. It does. It does like every other scene. It does. Uh, unable to create audio buffer. Now auto save is gonna be right here. How are you enjoying the play? What? Is this part of the game? Is this a joke? Are they making like a joke in the game? Thank you, Zombie Abraham Lincoln, for helping us teach kids more about irony. I asked him like how the play was, and then he couldn't talk anymore. What? Want to know how the? Want to meet Sybil? Abe, we've got a friend we'd like you to meet. Should I be get out? For you. You're a lot like her ex-boyfriend, and I've suspected for years that she's a necrophiliac. It's kismet. I'll hear no more of this. I'm a happily married... <laughs> I, I don't understand. A contentedly be I, I'm a married man. All right, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Watch I gotta get out of this, because... Why? Uh, let me save the game. Oh, fuck. It, uh, <laughs> no, what? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> the whole thing crashed. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, well... Here's hoping that I tried to save it. Oh boy. It saved, it had to have, right? But it's, it's, just a, it's just black. What is this? It's just black.
Okay. All right. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna actually. Let me take this opportunity to go pee because I. I just got like really scared, so I have to relieve myself. I'll be right back. I just refilled this drink with some water, but oh, you, know, you got it from your from that uh, scam. I filled it from the toilet, so it's different. Now you can't make fun of me. All right, so this is saved. Zombie Abraham Lincoln, what are you doing here? I I don't know. Okay, yeah, and we, we he's got, got our body. He's an hour Lincoln, little buddy. Mm -hmm. I know you. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. How did you end up in Germany? Don't do Germany. that again. I've never been, apart mm -hmm. from my family's cemetery, cemetery plot just outside, outside Stuttgart. Germany. Mm -hmm. We remember this one. Where's Sam and Max? Sam and Max, freelance police. Never heard of you. So who's the head? You know us, Abe. Emergency elections, thrilling car chases, adventures on the moon, Easter Island. Ruining your reputation, hitting you with a missile, making you throw up. They just announced a game called Pokemon Sleep? Ridiculous. All of it. Wait. Is this one of those hidden Zoetro programs? What is Pokemon Sleep? You just watch, like, Pokemon Sleep? How are you enjoying the play? Oh, it's ripping. But I was disappointed that Boof fellow wasn't in it. I hear he's quite the actor, and I was hoping to see him. Thank you, Zombie Abraham Lincoln, for helping us teach kids more about irony. All right. Uh, you might not be able to catch the rest of that play, Mr. Lincoln. Want to know how it ends? No, no, don't tell me. Spoilers. <laughs> the villain was Hugh Bliss. Germs destroy the Martians. You see the Statue of Liberty. You get sh Jesus shot and turned into one of the walking dead. 
Uh, I mean, that's... Should we just try to, like... Well, I mean, don't we have to have... For time travel to work, don't you have to... Things have to play out exactly how they're supposed to, right? You get shot and turn into one of the walking dead. Well, that sounds horrible. But this, wait, we're not time traveling. Why I let Mary keep dragging me to these things? Oh, right. We're just undead. Never mind. That's a different genre entirely. Abe, we've got a friend we'd like you to meet. She'd be perfect for you. You're a lot like her ex-boyfriend, and I've suspected for years that she's a necrophiliac. It's kismet. I'll hear no more of this. I'm a happily married. I'm a contentedly... I'm a married man. All right. Well, it was nice seeing you. What? Why? Lincoln. We got to do some investigating. Why are we zombies? What happened? How did we get our bodies back? What happened? Where are we? Jorgen tried to kill us. <laughs> Do we eat this guy? Sorry, sir. Mr. President, I can't understand you. Never learned to speak, zombie. Would have been useful in retrospect. <laughs> yes, sir. It is warm for talk? this time of year. <laughs> I don't agree, sir. The advantages of a common currency like the euro outweigh any nationalist concerns. All right. Uh, yeah. I think we want to no, get a sir. translator. The factory does not have free wireless internet access. <laughs> How do we get yeah. back to normal? That depends, sir. In terms of geographic area or population density. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's very funny. I hadn't heard that one before. What are we supposed yeah. to do now? About 11:25, sir. We are open till 3 a.m. Well, I think we have to just go back yeah. in here. Good night, sir. Can we wait? Can we actually have a conversation with the zombies now? What's going on here? Oh, you're yep. the Americans, right? Thanks for the brain, guy. Hey, Max. We can understand the zombies now. Mm, it was as good as my Nana's homemade Kimmelspanner schnitzel. I think understand is a bit extreme, Sam. Okay, so uh, what happened? Jorgen put us in some big machine, and then we ended up here. Oh, yeah, guy. You're totally dead now, okay? But we're the freelance police. We can't die. I know, that looks like hey? me. None of us can. It's extremely excellent. Okay. We've got to overthrow Jorgen and get our souls back. Overthrow the hey what? No way, boy. The zombie factory's where it's at, friend. Don't you want revenge? Don't you want revenge on Jorgen for turning you into a zombie? Oh, I was already a zombie, silly guy. My company makes experimental new drugs until something goes horribly awry. Yeah, what drugs is this accent? A race of super soldiers? Male enhancement. He's doing like German, but then he's shifting over to surfer. How do we get back to normal? We're not cut out to be zombies. Yet another of my life's ambitions down the crapper. Yeah, I could tell. You shamba like you've still got your souls. Glad you like the brain. brain we gave you. Oh yeah, it was delicious. He must have been really smart. Well, we don't have any more. Sorry, so. we don't have any more brains to give you. No problem, eh? The so gang went down to the village to get some more. From right, now so we, can we drive? On, we only eat them from high up gargoyles, like American style. <laughs> American style. What do you mean we act like we've got soul? No offense, guy. Lots of zombie kids think it's cool to act like alive these days. We call them zombies, but it's cool, <laughs> hey? All right. Well, if it's all the same to you, pal, we're gonna we're kill Still em. taking down Jorgen. Oh, okay. Save me the wishbone, eh? Hey. Save me the wishbone, eh? How do we get our souls back? Don't know. They say Jürgen does something with them, but I've never been in the VIP lounge. All right. VIP oh. lounge. Catching you later on the flip side, zombie brother. Uh, did we leave anything There's in here? There's a bottle of holy water in here. We probably can't touch that. Sorry, sir. Garlic clothes. What if we drink it? Holy can, can I? Sam, come here. Nah, I want to save this after Max went to all that. Max, come here. Mm -mm -mm. Does it kill him? How does that make any sense? 
You. Sorry, sir. You'll have to look All right. like holy water. Angel zombie. Heavenly zombie. Let's just. I want to see what the reactions are in here. Let's see what happens when we go in. Since when does holy water work on zombies? Well, a vampire like no bit us. I don't know. Isn't that how it works? Let's talk to these guys now. Flip <laughs> paper. Excuse me. Eight bullets, chump. Hey. Just, what? Hey. I guess you have to be a zombie to appreciate how good Flint is at killing him. The man's a consummate professional. All right, which one of you undead creeps is gonna tell me where you got Sam and Max? We're over here. What happened? I feel the original sin again. The holy water wore off. Did you make a no-no while I wasn't looking? No, honest, Sam. It God just damn. wore off. Okay, so, um, let's do a little introduction here. Is he not going to recognize uh, us? No, not you guys, too. Hate to do this, fellas. But Sam and Max always said they'd rather die than become one of those things. I don't remember ever saying that. Did you, Max? Nah, I'm pretty sure he was making that part up. Not a good shot. Not a good shot at all. And oh, he's 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 now. Can they not die? Just <laughs> like dance here. All right, what uh? <laughs> he just keeps Whee! killing them over and over again. All right, well, can, what about the inner sanctum? What's this going on out here? Is Lincoln all right? This is Lincoln's brain. It's what's left of Zombie Abraham Lincoln's brain. Eat hot lead, Walking Dead. So we can't it's go what's near. Left it. Of... All right, what if we can we can we make him like drink? Here, take this. You want some like booze? I can't condone drinking, especially this stuff. Do I have a gun still? Better not. No, we can't go over there. All right, well. Can we shine a light in his eyes? Ugh, smells like musty cobwebs and half-digested corn dogs in here. I wonder if I can like I shoot him. Nothing to do with the cobwebs. Or oh, like shine it over here. All right, shine it over it's in his eyes. Like for the zombie stands for. It's can't like. Drop it or shoot it or. I don't want to break it. Why, why don't you, what do you mean you don't want to break it? I don't want to break it. The flashing lights may yet induce a seizure. Well, we're gonna have to maybe try the DJ board. I wonder if I can like aim it in his eyes. No. No. No, it's only on the dance floor. Well, let me just go into the inner sanctum. Whee! It does have a lot of bullets. Oh, great. They're back. Keep quiet and stand still. Maybe they won't notice us. Hey, look, Max. It's vaguely ethereal versions of ourselves. Are they ghosts? No, probably just those soul things we keep hearing about. Well, what do you know? I do have one! Wait, Come they, to Papa! Did they just go back yeah, in? I don't think so. Right. You guys run along and play. We'll be over here until our ride comes. What? Why don't you want to get back together? Looks like a delicate piece of high-precision medical equipment. Never die batteries. They're dead. Okay. Alchemy machine. I bet my lifetime subscription to the 40 and times that that's an alchemy machine. Okay. Monster diagrams. We're gonna have to do some potion or something. These diagrams up. are so scientific, I couldn't possibly make sense of them. Jorgen's monster. We need Abraham Lincoln's like brain to Jordan go in here. Building himself a playmate. Rooting is more fun when you do it with a pal. 
bringing life to this decaying lump of flesh. We mock death! We become as gods, rewriting the very laws oh. of the universe! Yeah, that's odd. It lives! Our creation lives! Happy birthday! He's almost a birthday! Who the fuck is this guy? Can you help us? Ole! Oh, well. Kinda suck the horror right out of it, huh? Alright, <laughs> 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 right, hey, let's talk. Hi, gruesome. You're not Master Jurgen. Who are you? A mob of angry villagers. Zombie, ninja, monkey pirates. Prismatologists. We're from the Church of Prismatology, offering a completely free session to test your bliss level with our patented blissometers. Well, it's not very blissful in this dungeon. Leave the science to the professionals, pal. Now bend over. We're just kidding. We're your creators. Master Jurgen is my creator. Oh, did he? Well, we pulled the switch. Yeah, we yes, turned you on. And I wish you hadn't. The sleep of unlife was preferable to the bitter pang of loneliness. All right. Um. Why so glum, chum? Do you have any idea what it's like being a misshapen freak? The only one of your kind? Nope. Uh uh. It sucks. No one to confide <laughs> it in. It sucks. No one to love. That's a deep, mm -hmm. no deep one level of uh, you to get over yourself already? meaning there. We've got the perfect bride. You're in luck, buddy. We've got the perfect bride for you. Master Jürgen promised the same thing long ago. But ours is ready to go right out of the box. No assembly required. Sounds <laughs> intriguing. Let's go meet Sybil. Say antipasto, why? Hey, monster, what's the Italian word for an appetizer? Antipasto. Uh, hey, monster, what do you call a ham and cheese sandwich that's been breaded and deep fried? Monte Cristo. Hey, monster. Wait, let me do one. <laughs> what California coast city is home to Cal Poly University? Hmm. Coalinga? Monsters are awesome. What's so bad about being a monster? Master Jurgen only built one. I am alone. All right, well, You've got us. Uh... Please kill me. <laughs> let's go meet Sybil. Let's go introduce you to our friend Sybil. I can't go like this. What woman could be attracted to someone as incomplete as I am? All right, what do you need? Yeah, trust us. Sybil's used to guys who aren't all there. All the same, I must be fully assembled before I go. All right. I thought you took forever to get ready, Sam. He needs an arm. He needs an arm. What's your job around here? Do you oh, kill stuff, or are you mostly dead? Brain from Lincoln. Master Jürgen created me to prove his ultimate victory over life and death. Never thinking that he'd have to feed you and walk you every day. Typical. <laughs> All right. You don't what like are you missing, Jordan, do you? Well, the he did give me life and Heart? tried to help me feel complete. With self-help books and weekend retreats? Yes, but mostly by experimenting with the items on, on the, the operating, operating table. table. Okay, what's the plan? Pal Jorgen turned us into zombies. What gives? I don't know the details. Uh, something about stealing souls and creating a zombie army. Looks like Why not me? an army of you monster guys instead? I'm a conscientious objector. Doesn't look like me. Yeah. Farewell. Yeah. All right, operating table. We've got, we need body pots. Let's see what he's got. What do we got for body pots? Hey, Dr. Max? For the last time, Sam, no. Hey. Oh, with the monster. Oh, sure. All right, egg beater. Foam finger. Computer chip stone. Oh, let me fucking throw this. Artichoke heart. Listen, brothers. Can you not hear the song of the Earth Mother? Okay. Uh, uh, foam finger for the hand? No. I can't wait to see him floss with that. <laughs> Egg beater. 
computer chip for the brain. Yes, that's much better. I'd operate at a much greater efficiency if you'd install Linux. I don't expect you to understand the reasons why, of course, Shut but... Up. <laughs> yes, sir. I can't wait to see him floss with that. No, no. What about Eggbeater? No. Feather Duster. Clock. Anywhere else? I need like a... A rock. I can't see how that would work. I think we need something. Cauliflower, Cauliflower no. doesn't go there. Yeah, talking funny. <laughs> that clock must be a little slow. Um, no. Yes, that's much better. I'd operate at a much greater efficiency if you'd install Linux. Clock heart. Uh, yes, sir. Clock heart. Oh no, I've overslept. I'm late, I'm late. I don't think any of this shit is supposed to be here. What about a rock? Can we hurry this up, guys? I've got a dozen foreclosures to get caught up on today, and that's just the orphanages. Just do this a few million more times, and I'm guaranteed <laughs> re-election. Um, listen, brothers. I think we just need we need to get it right. Yes, I. Uh, yes. Sir. Yes. Let's. All right, we're gonna leave this for now. I think we're missing stuff. Gauges. I can't understand these. Therefore, they're not important. Let's just turn them off. All right! <laughs> I'm up already. Yeah, we definitely need to get the brain. So we need to get the brain to put in there. Power socket. What is that? Ah, oh, nuts. The batteries are dead. We need to charge the batteries. We need to strike the lightning onto the battery. We need the brain. The soul sucker. It's the machine that removed our souls from our bodies. There's a television here? What else is over here? Alchemy book. Just look around. Ann Coulter, a life. Alchemy for beginners. Jorgen made it up to chapter 14. Turning chocolate, turning chocolate to, gold. to gold. Oh, but build me a machine that turns gold nuggets to chicken nuggets, and we shall have power unlimited! Jorgen must be sleeping off his humiliation at the zombie club. Burn it! Let's chop off his head, then set him on fire! Yeah! go for ice cream! We can't hurt him while we're still zombies, Max. Then let's put his hand in warm water. Just put a bike lock on it and say, tell us how to get our souls back. Okay, fun's fun, but get back in here. I'm already tired of being a zombie. Well, perhaps you should have thought of that before you treated me so abominably. Maybe now we'll get the appreciation we deserve. Crispy chicken nuggets. Oh, What's your beef against crispy us? Chicken nuggets, you're he right. never paid attention to me. And I could go for some better. extra we'll crispy. You back in if we have to. You can't make us do anything. Okay. Uh, we need to get the... We gotta get the brain from Lincoln and put it in this dude. We also need to get some kind of heart or go in. You can't die. Oh, no, you can't die twice. Scary when we're already dead. <laughs> okay. So what do I? I have bolt cutters. Stakes. Looks like a trophy case from all the vampire hunters who've tried to defeat Jordan. How do you like your steak, Max? Okay, another we got a steak. Shoot. Doesn't do anything. Alright, so I have some items here. Uh, let me see if there's anything I can do. Up with the guys shooting the zombies. Maybe put the stakes in their hearts? No, that was a vampire. This is zombies. I'm mixing genres. Just for shits, though. Like, does this do anything? Like, will he stop shooting if I stab them? That's only good for vampires. Yeah, I know. And tense. What about the axe? Can I do anything with the axe? Not as sharp as it looks. Kind of like Max. That doesn't need cutting. Hmm. 
liquor typewriter. Nothing else in here. All right, I need some stuff. I need to find some stuff. I feel like it's not here. Uh, I, can't, I can't get the brain. The brain is, um, he shoots at you if you go click on it. Wow, the cops actually installed something well for once. I won't be able to just yeah, pull it I? off. Can I do that? Look away, Max. Aha! This is the kind yeah. of vandalism that turns your stomach. Nonsense! I embrace all kinds of vandalism! Now I'm gonna electrocute this. Hold on. Is it an illegal item? Eat hot lead, walking dead. No, get out of my way. I'm not even walking towards you. Oh, I mean, I, te I am technically walking towards you. Yeah, why would the stakes not be illegal? I have to power this. And I power this by sticking this in here. And then striking it with lightning, so then the batteries are charged, and then I take the battery. And wait, how do I turn how do I make this strike this? Will it? Or it's gonna strike him? Okay. Neat and dangerous. The best kind of neat. I bet that gave it enough juice. Now the table works. Never die batteries. They're undead. Interesting. It's an alchemy machine. So can I do anything with this yet? Or did I just kind of... Hmm. It's an alchemy machine. What about, can I turn... Can I turn liquor into gold? What use is a gold one of those? Gold. It'll just turn it gold. What use is a gold one of those? I need... Hold on. Gold. It just turns it to typewriter? Hold on. What use is a gold one of... Gold stone? No, I need something else. I can't pick any of this stuff up. James Bond? No, that's been done before. Alright, well, I think that's all I can do here. I don't see anything else. I think I've set it up. Let me go back to the real world. <laughs> Germany's the fake world. No, no. I mean, we're very much in a fantasy land right now. In like a castle with like Dracula and zombies and shit. I'm talking about... I, non-fantasy, it's like New York, which is like on a street, not like in a castle. Castles equal fake. Castles like this don't, yes, but not, not fake, you, fiction. Let's, okay, let's get back to non-fiction, okay? Does that make you happier? Let's get back to non-fiction. Are zombies allowed to drive cars? I don't see why not. My license is just as expired now as it was when we were alive. Yeah, let's head back home. <laughs> Gothic Germany equals fake. No, but like the vampire living in like the Dracula castle is fiction. New York City, this is non-fiction here. This is a street. That's what I meant. Come back here, you stupid hand. Vampires are non-fiction. I don't... Shoot. I'm not even going to give that a response. Whee! Talk to me. This parking meter could withstand anything. Hey, Fong, you just can't come into our office and take what doesn't belong to you. Oh, that is like the black well, the hand. calling names of the cattle, which is also black. It's different when we do it. We're professionals. What do we got here? Just stab him through the heart and get it over with. Can I pick this up? Beer stein. So I'm a zombie, so it could be my beer stein, right? I wish I could put the liquor in there. Not happening. 
Can I do anything over here? Yeah, it's just here for fun. Uh, rats only. Okay, rats only. What about in here? So we're looking for a heart. The brain is Lincoln's brain, obviously. Look for a heart and a hand. The hand like just ran that way. So we're looking for a heart. No, not the bear head. Frog machine? Wait, what is this? I need to see this. In Spanish, frogs are called frijoles. Which explains why I eat them with rice. Take the banang. Banang. Tastes great and fun to say. Okay. Um, I don't see any like heart stuff in here. Let's listen to some machines. This is Sybil. Could you please tell Honest Abe that I'll never speak to him again in my whole life? Ever? Even if I'm being dragged through the streets by wild donkeys? Thanks. I don't see any body parts in here. The hand did run into uh, Stinkies. Just checking, just checking, just checking. Kill Leonard. I. You can't kill him. Hey, Leonard. That's only good for vampires and tents. Let's <laughs> stake him. Oh, horrible. That's too gruesome even for a zombie to do. I don't want to waste it on him. <laughs> hey, Leonard. All right. Let's go into the into the restaurant. Whee! An arm just ran in there. Into the stinkies. Help! Someone! <gasps> help! Whoa! <laughs> that was. <laughs> for, I don't know why. For a second, I was like, "Holy shit!" They just m like murdered her. It's Jesse James's reanimated shooting hand. Surly, even in death. Okay, so another case of somebody shooting gun at us. Um. Pie, sticky goo. It's Stinky's gooey molasses tar cake. Okay, so let's. Put um, the steak in there. Let's throw that into him. Let's shoot at the hand. No, he's too quick. Shoot at the goo. Shoot at. Better not. I, I want to throw goo. It's pie. just a pie. It's not something you really talk about. It's Stinky's Gooey Molasses Tar Cake. I can't, like, touch it. Can I just walk up around? I guess I can keep going this way. Um, can you give us a hand here? Oh, great. Zombies. As if my day couldn't get any worse. Well... Um, maybe I'm missing something. Anything over here I can grab or do? Behind. Coffee pot. Something to fall. Something to throw. Uh, typewriter yes, ribbon. This is the perfect thing to defeat the hand. Or it would be if it weren't a worthless typewriter ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> I can't like dip anything in there. That doesn't need cutting. Whee! No, I don't know what to do. Maybe I can't do anything in here yet. 
Let's go to Sybil's? Why are you not shooting at Max? Wait, hold on. Oh, okay, I got it. Shoot me. No, 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 this way, shoot me. Do it! It's Stinky's gooey molasses talk. Dump it over there! It's Stinky's... something oh <laughs> what oh come on you saved that me zombie bullshit. salmon zombie max my heroes aren't nothing ma'am what i'll take the hand <sighs> oh never mind what the fuck come here i'll take that mr james now we need a heart. We need something that can be a heart. Sybils? Wait, can we like untie you? I'm kind of just leaving you hanging. We don't serve zombies in here. Do you have any idea how expensive brains are? Look, I mean, I'm trying to help you. I can't cut you out. You look like That's a pine cone. Awesome even for a zombie to do. Well, all right. Fine, eat my brain. See if I care. It's all pointless now, anyway. Let's go check on Sybil. I got the hand. Eat again soon. I'll try. Anything new going on in here? Any items? Any hearts? Any body parts? Oh, hey, guys. You haven't seen this. Yeah, whatever. So, I think I've narrowed it down to two guys. But I'm still not quite sure. You didn't meet any cool guys out there, did you? I did. You've narrowed it down to these two. God. Those aren't your gifts. Gifts. Nah. I can't understand you, my good man. Diction. Diction. Narrowed it down to two. I want that soul matter. Nah. I know, Sam. I'll use it once I've narrowed it down to one final. All right. So we get the. Got to get the brain, and. The heart. We've got to bring the entire Wizard of Oz movie to Frankenstein. Frankenstein comes in here. They hit it off. They fall in love. We get the soul matter. Bring the soul matter back to the castle. Bang. Roll the credits. Let's just get it done. Okay. I still can't it's get in closed. here. Can I talk to any of the other zombies? Beat it, deadbeat. It's a free country, pal. Okay, you don't have anything to say. Go back, go back, whoa, back, whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, whoa! Oh my god! Help! Easy! <laughs> Bolt cutters on. Door? Why is everybody screaming this? Cutting. 
Tell me again. Oh, um, tell me again. What do you, you want? Me, what do you need that again? That doesn't need cutting. Okay. Should I try it one more time? Before I get screamed at again. Okay. Oh, we baited him. See, you yeah, you can't pull that. You can't pull that on me. Is it okay? Is there anything in here? Tattoos. Sign. Anything on the fox? No, the fox is innocent. Ah! I'll take that. Oh, please, I need that. I'm about to bolt cutter this guy. No. Okay. Like. Come here, Harry. What are they doing? That's only good for. Come on, how do I get rid of you? There it is, right there. Better not. What are they doing? I can't condone drinking, especially this stuff. What are they? Oh, fuck. Okay. Fuck. Now serving forty-six. Now serving forty-seven. This is Diana here. Plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two. Let's go to Stuttgart. Let's at least give the hand. As it's taking up inventory space. I hate when and, and, you know you know when you play in Diablo too, and you gotta go back to town, you gotta play some space. That one went well. Zombies! Back off, creep! Stop! I just trying to... Stop doing the Resident Evil camera thing where you get to the certain threshold and it just... You have to go... Ah, uh, yeah. I'm not playing Diablo Mobile. Is that game ever going to release? Or do you think that this internally just, like, put it in the, like, incinerator? Hiya, gruesome. Alright, come here. Yeah. Oh. Body parts. All right, you have a hand now. Uh, we get, you got you got the chip in there. You got you're all right. You're ready to go. Let's go. Hi, gruesome. Let's go meet our friend Sebo. It's a frightfully long drive, isn't it? Are you sure you want to go now? Yes. Yes. Let's go right now. Quickly, before Sam gets distracted and oh, more switches. Well, I never travel without my belongings. Just throw them in the trunk already. We're wasting daylight. All right, let's get there. Thanks for coming, gentlemen. I know it's difficult for you to travel, having to carry all your stuff with you. I'm used to it. Well, until I figure out how the Soul Mater works, I'm going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. I'll ask each of you three each lucky you three bachelors a series, a series of, of questions. questions. Based on your answers, I'll decide which one of you advances to the final round of being my boyfriend. <laughs> Zombies! I knew it! Then come for the knickknacks! Are we just in here? Please. I'll have to ask you to leave if you don't learn to show some tolerance. They're going to break everything and eat my brain. Nonsense. <laughs> Sam and Max have just as much right to be here as anyone alive. Hmm, which question should I ask first? Alright, well... 
What are they doing? Why did I put my finger in his mouth? <laughs> my finger in his mouth. All right. Um. 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 Let's see. What? What? What do you have for questions? Let's see. I still can't decide. Which question should Which I ask? Which question should I ask? I don't know. Question two. The blah, blah, blah. I can't read that. Uh, do question one. I don't know. Good idea, Sam. I'll ask this one. Bachelor number one. My last boyfriend was a real jerk. I'm looking for a man who's kind, upstanding, good to everyone, and never cruel. Prove to me okay. you've got a heart of gold. I love the spirit of all the Earth's yeah, creatures. I need that heart. The tiny bean sprout. I can't touch the it. The mighty sequoia. The Tibetan... Yeah, let's move on. No! Question number two. Same question. I am, as you know, the go-to performer for troubled characters with a heart of gold. Landlords, lawmen, gangsters, nuns, hookers, and pimps, I've played them all. Big phony. Got it. And bachelor number three. Prove to me... You've got a heart of gold. Oh, I've clearly won this one. Unkind, compassionate, it wouldn't hurt a fly. Hmm. Weren't you the Don of the Toy Mafia that put a hit out on me? Well, yes. But there were extenuating circumstances. I was hypnotized, and I felt bad afterwards. I see. <laughs> we gotta get rid of this. How do I? I need this fucking no! heart. How do I get rid of you? Like, we have to ask a question that he doesn't know. Question three. Oh, good call, Sam. He's gonna I'll freak ask out. this one. Bachelor number one. The only thing I liked about my last boyfriend was that he had a way with, way with words. words. He always just knew the right, right thing to say. So what would you say to me in a romantic that's definitely, moment? That, that's that's the would brain. Say, let me optimize your inner loop. That's the Lincoln so brain. So that we can focus on debugging. <laughs> and bachelor number two? I would quote from my award-winning one-act play, The Cloaca Monologues, to wit. Oh, no, yeah, that's he's, he's got the computer brain right Bachelor right number three. Same question. What would you say to me in a romantic oh, moment? Oh, hmm. Here it comes. Most romantic thing to say. Hmm. Well, that's a good question. Hmm. I feel like oh, he's stuck now. Well, no, I wait, was he stuck? Can I take it? Is he stuck? And he said, yeah, I've heard enough. He's stuck. Right, yeah, 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 I can take it. I, I, I still <laughs> can't just. Question, do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. I can get it. Bachelor number one. You whisper. Yeah. Hmm. Most romantic thing to say. Keep your hands away from that, you filthy, it's not right. creature. What? I expected better from you, Harry. But I wasn't talking about You're you. The, the, the zombies. You're out. Your anti zombie talk isn't making things any better. I think you'd better go. <laughs> Dumb motherfucker. <laughs> Get out of here! Get out of here! And then Thank you slam the, the fucking door! Notice, Agent Superball, was it? What? My pleasure. You're looking radiant. Sweet. <laughs> All right, so we need to uh, hold on. Follow your heart. Easy for you. So I need to turn this into gold at the alchemy table, and then we need Lincoln's brain. He's no longer protecting the door. So what can I? Could I bring something in? I think we need to go back. We gotta go back to the lab anyways. I don't think I can take anything. Yeah, let's go back to the lab. Let's head back to Stuttgart. Please don't make me get back into the trunk. 
Are you sure? Uh, yes. Yeah, I missed the I want to put that heart in. Put the heart in. He's got the hand and he's the Lincoln brain. Let's turn it to gold. Uh-huh. Chocolate. Goldify it. Plus two does not like a mean a bad chocolate. joke. You're being, you're being sarcastic. You did the smiley face. Hi, you gruesome. Yeah. Uh, can we just put it in? Give me my checkbook quick. I need to give to charity. Okay, that's it. The arm is there, the heart is there. We just need the brain. The second best brain in the room. Yep, so it's in he there. It's and, Jesse James's hand. Okay. Looks good. No, I'm not gonna put rock brain. We need Lincoln's brain, but I need to figure out how to get that guy out of here. I think I just hit a wall. Because I did everything I had items for. Put rock in brain. They're not gonna stop. Like, you guys know they're not gonna stop. Oh, wow, man. You're like a dog. Uh, and uh, a surgeon. That's like why. Give him a gold rock brain. <laughs> Alright, well, we super, super Ball is no longer at the door, so I feel like that's part of it. So let's go back and bring what's in the trash right now. Are the cigarettes in the trash? That has to be something. Nobody guarding the door. There's a bottle of holy water in here. Bottle here. of holy water. It's empty. That's it. I can bring the... Where are the uh, cigarettes? Are the cigarettes back at the TV studio? Cigarettes are like back in the TV studio. I feel like the malt liquor would get bit of that good guy. Give it to that guy. Mm. The axe is like I chopped the head off or something. Well, I can bring this in. Let me just see. Can I give it to him? Like, will he just shoot me? Nah, I want to save this after Mac. All right, Max, get over here. Why am I milking this stream? What are you talking about? I'm just playing the game. Mm -mm -mm. Holy! Hey, Flint, can you help us out here? Zombies! No, he doesn't think. He still he won't look at Max. How do I make it so it's I can pick that up? Be Abraham Lincoln's brain. Mm, can I like bolt cutter this and drop it on his head? They just don't stay down. Much like Stinky's food. Let me see if I can the bolt cut that. Bolt cut. I don't think I tried this. That doesn't need cutting. No. Let's There's see. a poem inscribed on this book. Poem. Case, Can't read it's it. It's been worn down. Can will that work? I'm pretty sure this is useless. No. 
Talk to the zombies? I mean, What's they, going on? They kind of this just died. This American came in suddenly shooting everyone. He's a crazy man. What's the big deal? You guys get right back up. Yeah, but it stings. It'll probably get Bulk infected. the bookcase. <laughs> stop the violence! We're trying. I'm trying to stop the violence. That's what the intention here. Jumps. Uh. Typewriter ribbon. Yeah, I, I, what, what, why is everybody talking about the book? There's a poem case? inscribed on this. Yeah, I know that. I know there's a poem up here, but I can't read it. I, I already tried this. I'm pretty sure this is useless. This doesn't do anything. Well, there's I, a poem. Clean it. Like throw holy water at it? Nah, I want to save this after Max went to all that trouble sanctifying it. Nope. I don't think I can clean that. Can I like shine light on it? Clean it with lead. <laughs> hey, how'd he beat us back here? Quantum mechanics? It's quite complicated. Whee! Looks like a trophy case. Trophy huh? case. Literature. Looks like a painting of Jorgen in the club when he was younger. Oh, uh, it's behind his head. Looks like a painting of Pain, Jorgen in the club parents. when he was younger. Pain. Looks abyss? like a painting of Jorgen in the club Pain, when he was younger. Pain, parents, razors. Looks like abyss, a painting razors, of pain, in the parents. Club. Abyss, razors, pain, parents. Abyss, razors, pain, parents. Abyss, razors, pain, parents. Abyss, razors, pain, parents. This razor's pain. Parents, I got it. And that'll shine the light in his face, probably. At least I hope so. Abyss. Abyss. Razors. Razors. Pain. Pain. Parents. Parents. Look, Sam! I did not expect that thing over there to open. Okay, cool. So we can go in here. And is that gonna probably take us Why is the floor the other so bucket? sticky? And There's gonna a knock him out. possible answer to that question that I like. He did the thing I've been telling him to do for an hour. What? Why do you? What? You just want me to cheat and just look at every answer? Ah, <laughs> oh, too bad I didn't like cheat and Let's read go, it immediately. Yeah. Flint tastes like cigarettes and cheap scotch. I don't think he's my hero anymore. You're only saying that because you don't have a soul, Max. Let's hurry and get it back. I don't like myself like this. <laughs> Rated him one guy. Yeah, but like. I I can't believe it. He's he's trying to figure out this puzzle. You should have just read it in chat an hour ago. Isn't there no reason to play this if I'm gonna do it like that? <laughs> I could just read you the Wikipedia article of each episode if you'd like. Is that would that make you happy? He's dead. I'm disappointed. Flint fell for such an old trick. Okay, so. We've got the brain. Let's put the brain in the body. Put the body into the chair. Come here, you. It is at times like these. When a monster is driven Put somebody to consider else's his place playthrough in <laughs> history, <laughs> are we not all but misshapen combinations of flesh and feelings? 
bodies and souls. Yeah, it's just like, okay, we get it. It's like I get to the movie theater to watch the movie that I haven't seen. And there's somebody standing in front of the theater doors. Hey, don't go in yet. Well, why not? Oh, because I'm going to tell you the whole movie right now. Don't even go in and watch it. I... No, don't, 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 don't. I want to see the movie. So you see, what happens is... No, no, actually, that's even better. That's like an hour before we get to the theater. Somebody calls me. <sighs> hey! Heard you were going to see this movie in an hour. Yeah, yeah, I am. Let me, hey, let me just tell you everything. Don't go, you know, don't even go. Just hang up. Oh, shit, please! I think he's ready. Hi, gruesome. Heart of gold. Brain of power. Hand of the dead. Let's go. Let's go to Sybil's again. It seems we just got here. Are you sure? Yes, let's go right now. All right. We've got... Your new boyfriend ready to go. Heart of gold. Okay, bachelor number one. I'm looking for a man with a heart of gold. How would you prove you've got one? What's that? I'm terribly sorry. I was distracted. See, I used your restroom what? earlier, and I'm worried I might not have remembered to leave the seat down. Could you repeat the question? Hmm. What? I think I've heard enough. Wait, 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 why? He has a heart of gold. Does it? He has a heart of gold in him right now. What? He has a heart of gold. <laughs> she liked that. Well, she's like, I heard enough. Well, I all right. Bachelor number one. I'm still looking for a man who's good with his hands. How good are you with yours? What are you doing? It's <laughs> the only way I know how to express my feelings, ma'am. Oh! 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 My. And I killed the little turkey over there. Does that please you? Okay, bachelor number one. My last boyfriend always knew the right thing to say. What sweet things would you say to me during a romantic moment? Well, it is altogether fitting and proper that I answer your question. But in a larger sense, our love would be so pure, so harmonious, so rapturous, that my mere words could do little to add or detract. Miss Pandemic? Marry me? Oh, I mean, yes, Bachelor One. We That's did it. Perfectly adequate. <clears throat> well, I think the choice is clear. Bachelor number one. Would now give you me that soul replacer. Like to go steady? At last I feel complete. Preposterous. Please, no cameras. I need a moment. After years of searching, I finally found the perfect man. <laughs> what? Oh, of course you're right, Max. This has all been a lie. <laughs> In my heart, I've always known who my true soulmate is. I just never wanted to admit it. What? Walt. I've been so stubborn and foolish. I only hope he'll take me back. Thanks a lot. Jerks. I suppose the weekend in Cabo San Lucas is out of the question as well. Alright, well that's... That's how that plays out. Give it the soul. Soul matter. I guess Sybil won't be needing this anymore. Let's go get the soul. The two soul. Okay. I think we're gonna suck him in there. Anything else in here that I can take? Maybe, 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 who knows? What about the gifts? Civil suitors have never heard, can't buy me love. Oh, free stuff? A free office full of stuff? 
Motion balls? Knickknacks coming. Nah. Let's go. So we have the soul thing. I feel like it's going to be a little bit more elaborate than just point at the soul. Where are we headed, Sam? Let's go to Stuttgart. We'll find out. What episode? This is episode three. Episode four is coming up next. All right. Whee! It's time for the climax. Sorry, sir. You'll have to uh, leave any hazardous items outside. Uh, Garlic clove cigarettes. Not allowed. Holy water. Are soul machines allowed in here? Thank you. Alright, so let's just go in there and see what they say about this. Did you ever figure out how that thing works, Sam? There must be a button or a switch. Is it this easy? The hell? What gives? I guess it is just this easy, huh? Alright, that's it. Did it. Okay. <laughs> I guess there's no switch. I wouldn't say that. Uh oh. Did anybody get tall and chubby all of a sudden? Hey, give my stuff back. Ah, so there's where you keep your gun. Ah, Sam and Max. You keep returning when you know you cannot defeat me. That's Max and Sam. Steak. No matter. I will take your souls once again, but this time your bodies will be obliterated. What? Obliterated. You know, cut off your head, set them on fire, salt the earth. Oh, nothing doing. You're gonna regret you ever tangled with it's me just and so Max. weird. I mean, Sam. As your American... The audio's fire. coming out the wrong way. No. Oh. Alright, stake. Stake him right in the heart. Alright, uh, see you later. Murder him. <laughs> right in the heart. Do it. No. Oh, please. Too slow. Uh, I need another one. Wait, I need a drink. Give him alcohol. I bet those candy ass vampire hunters just didn't know how to do it right. He's just too Did he fast. catch the bullet? Yeah, we get a drink. Here, take that. I can't condone drinking, especially this stuff. Should we go put alcohol on TV and make him drink it? <laughs> Should we just make it like alcohol? What do you got in here? No wonder zombies always slouch. <laughs> go make it. Wait, let's do a TV commercial quick. What is that? Here we have a vampire in his natural habitat. Does the gun ever work? I don't think it does. Um. Wait, you! Hi, Grusom. Help us! I am. Hi, Grusom. I am. Help us! No, he's not gonna help us, is he? I mean, can we like electrocute? That out. I can't condone drink. What are you supposed to do with that? All right, what anything else in here? All right, cage. You think a guy with his own? Should I just die? What happens if I just die? The soul mater pulled our souls right back. And I still feel oh. overdressed. <laughs> I just, I don't know, I didn't know if I could. <laughs> what about some of these things? 
I barely got a handle on Max's body. I can't I like barely, do anything with the barely, like the monster body I parts. Got a handle on. No, I can't even click them. What else do I have here? I've got the typewriter. Last time I went at him barehanded, he just about killed me. Minus the just about. Can we leave the room? Try, but like. I'm pretty sure this is useless. Try, wait till he's like. Come on. Uh, this is probably this is not gonna work. No, just does the cutscene. So we gotta slow him down, or we have to be faster than him. But I feel like there's something that has to be done first. Well, something with slow. we have to like you crush him in that thing. Bell. We have to crush him in here somehow. I just don't know how. Jesse James is fast hand. Yeah, I can't. I can't um, take it from him. Hi, gruesome. I am. I can't like touch any of this stuff. I barely got a handle on Max's body, much less the monsters. Maybe I should drink the holy water. Here, what about this? Nope. Mm no. I don't think anybody can drink I this. I can't condone drinking, especially this stuff. Yeah, nobody can drink this. The monster can't drink it. Max, Sam can't drink it. Nobody wants to drink it. What about the coffin behind you? Can I do something with the coffin? I wish he'd just go back to bed. I don't think the, the monster won't, like, follow me either. Hey, monster, think fast. Wait, can we actually do this? What is he... Why'd you do that? So let's let's die again. It's Jurgen's soul sucking machine. Uh. Okay. Let's die for a third time. We both just go in. Well, this is a step up at least. It's too crowded in here. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so we're. You think a guy with his Now we shoot him. I don't have any I don't have a gun. Give me a big one. Alright. It's time to stab. But wouldn't this guy be slower? Frankenstein is really slow. You got the point. You suck, Jurgen. Hey, my line was better. <laughs> but I cannot be defeated. Crush. I am the Prince of Darkness. Yeah, the dude had like blood just fucking spray out of the center of that thing. Take this, me. We'll need it for. Arr! Get a mouth full of ammo. Oh, sad. <laughs> Sammy, you're back. What about Max? It's in time, too. What's up, Flint? You know, I've been tailing that Bosco mug, right? Well, the trail's gone colder than a Dear John letter written on no-tell motel stationery. Bosco's just loud and easily startled. We'll help you dig him up. That's the rub, see? Bosco's vanished off the face of the earth. Cliffhanger. What will it be? We'll have to find out in a minute or two. That was Night of the Raving Dead by Sam and Max. Well, actually by Dan Connors and, and Kevin Bruner, but, you know, and all these other people that worked on it. Next episode.
That was all right. I don't know. I don't know if I'd put that one in my top three. It was okay. It was good. I would put it somewhere in the middle. It's not top three. How dare you? The next one is really good. Well, that's good. Looking forward to it. Why is it so silent? I'm just noticing this now. It's very quiet. To a point where I'm, I'm it's kind of freaking me out. <laughs> ah, we're gonna have to do it all again. We'll just do the whole thing again. I'll just restart it. <laughs> all right, episode four, let's change. This to be episode four. 204 is, what is 204? Chariots of the Dogs is this episode, 204. Can we do a pee break? Yeah, we'll do a little break here. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next episode in less than a few minutes. Oh, and what, um, did I hear correctly that they're deleting all these forever? I think all the Telltale games are actually getting wiped out completely. Yeah. You, you can't buy these anymore, I don't think. So if you like these games and you don't own physical copies of them, I would go get them. I would download them and just have them because... Um, this, I don't know if this, what's going to happen to them. I think you can get them in some random places, but it's a little bit of a pain in the ass, right? You'll still be able to download after they're pulled. You just can't buy them. Okay. But still though, just in case if you, if you wanted them on Steam, they are, I believe all of them are disappearing. All right, let's uh, take a quick little pee break. We'll start episode four when I get back, and we'll do episode four. I will be right back. See you in just a minute.
Hey, look at that. That was pretty quick, wasn't it? That was a nice little speed piss. Not really. It wasn't? I thought that was fast. <laughs> I thought that was really fast. But look at the game's already here. That was pretty fast. It usually takes me like five, ten minutes to set this up. I'm ready to go. Bingo. Done. Here we are. Ready to play. You ready? Okay. You back? Episode four. One. Two. Three. Breaking into Bosco's. Okay, we're in, boys. Bosco! Free anti-mind control helmets for the first 50 lunatics to come out of hiding! I've been telling you, little pals, he's just plain vanished. Where'd he go? We'd better look around the joint for clues. Find plan, Bosco. Sammo. Guess that's why they call you guys in for the brainy stuff. And leave the senseless violence to the likes of me. I deeply resent that comment, Mr. Paper. Yeah, Flint. We're gonna have to join together and use every detective skill we know to find Bosco. The white line? I know. Because when you open these games, you don't get to go to the menu. It oh, kind of just starts. No -go. Any more ideas? Hmm, so, let me think. once I get to the menu, I can change it. Like, right now. Which should allow us to do this. Mm, there we goes. Does that look? That looks all right to me. Make it bigger. Just make a huge white line. What happened to my? Did I lose? What happened to my? Hold on. Where the fuck is it? Black screen? No, it's not. Um, why did that disappear? Am I gonna play season three on stream? Yeah, I mean, let's get to the end of season two and see. I would assume because we're doing just one, two, I would probably just do three. There are a few things that are way ahead of Season 3, though. There's a couple of games that I really want to play for a while. So, Season 3 won't be, like, this weekend or something. It'll be, like, a week or two from now. Okay, there we go. That was odd. Let's do it in a year. Alright, so we need to look around, see if we can find... Evidence of Bosco's disappearance. It's just gone. Trash. No Bosco's in here. Nothing in the trash. What about, uh, we never go behind the I counter. I've always wondered what Bosco keeps hidden back here. I've always wondered if he's wearing pants back there. Might and Magic? Yeah, we're doing Might and Magic tomorrow. Heroes of Might and Magic 3 is going to be tomorrow. And if we are enjoying it and it's still fun, I'll probably do it the next day as well. Wow. It's everything we needed to solve last year's hypnotism conspiracy. Whew. I'd kill for a time machine right about now. There's a landmine in the I'd corner? kill for just about anything. Okay, keypad. This keypad must control the laser grid blocking Bosco's bathroom. Oh, use it to spell boobies. I love that. Bosco, lasers, and pushing random buttons are three things that don't go well together, little buddy. It says the code, the code is, is in, in my, my head. head. We better find it soon then. It must be getting lonely. The code is in my head. Is this, is this a shotgun? No, it's just two pipes. Can I pick up the tapes or anything? No. Can we Bosco? finally have a weenie? No, nope, different weenie. All right, well, there's a keypad. We need a code. Nothing else here. Wow, it's everything we needed to solve. Whew. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here.
As informative as Max Impeachment Weekly is, I doubt it'll tell us where Bosco is. Let's check over here. Uh, photo equipment. No clues here. Sure, Bosco. Everybody else is watching you. Can we look through his periscope? We already checked the roof. Just a Pigeon AA meeting. Nothing worth mentioning. Right. Are we allowed to go in here? We can't get in until we get past this laser grid. Oh, we're actually to gonna get, get to see past in here. the laser okay. grid. First, you have to forgive the laser grid. Freezer, freezer. Is he in the freezer? What time is the stream gonna be for Heroes of Might Magic? The regular time between 3 and 4 p.m. Pacific. Uh, did I miss something over here? It's a head. It's Bosco's My First Moai Head toy. Well, it's in the head. How do I get it in, nope. in this head? Moai head. Can I, like, break it? Can I, like, heat it up or something? Not happening. Whee! Can I freeze it? No. Can I read it? No siree. Nobody can read it? Nah. Microwave? X-ray? All right. Let's have a look at hey, your X-ray, Mr. Moai Head. We'll see what's causing that persistent tinnitus. Prognosis, Sam? Either this toy has a tumor the size of an overfed cat, or it's too dark to read it. The X-ray of the Moai dark to Head read is it. all we need. All right, so X-ray. Can I put this under on something? There's sure, photos Bosco. here. Everybody else is watching you. So can I leave here? Is there a lamp or something? Is there like a heat lamp or something? Light? But the X-ray is plenty big enough. No. It's just too dark to make out. Light. We need some light. Photo equipment. No clues here. Light. Are you gonna have like a light in here? No way. Nothing doing. Hmm. Can we just read it out in the sun? Bosco didn't take any pictures of himself. His camera no doubt thanks him. Ah, it's not like you to give up on a case, Sammo. You're right, Flint. Don't know what came over me. Well, now we cannot just go outside. We need a source of light. Well, you have an X-ray viewer hmm. up here, apparently. It looks like... Say it? It looks like Bosco's as clever as you are at cutting-edge intellectual humor. <laughs> you gotta admit, that is pretty funny. All right, so the password the is... Took of Bosco's Moai head. A piece of paper... 5318008. Yeah. You it's, get it, Sammo. I'm not saying that Let's check way. in the bathroom for more clues. Bathroom reveal. Let's see what it is. I'm actually pretty curious. It's been off limits for like two and a half whole seasons. Let's see if there's anything in the bathroom to tell us where Bosco's top secret bunker is. Or maybe the Costumes. bathroom is his top secret bunker. This is exactly where I'd want to spend an apocalypse. shirts. I sense that something terrible happened here. Ho ho, you don't know the half of it. Bosco's been ordering nothing but baking soda and paper mache. You can do a lot with baking soda. You can clean, deodorize. It's good stuff. The Bosco Tech Drain Liberator 6000. I'm not going anywhere near that thing. Demonetized. Not after seeing what it did to that sludgy <laughs> delivery guy. The sound alone still haunts my nightmares. If you explore it, they will come. Whee! If you explode, explode it, it not they explore will come. it. 
And if it's brown, flush it down. <laughs> Hot Is he in here? Wine. Everything Fosco would need to survive for months. Oh, nice. From the looks of it, these wine bottles haven't been touched in decades. I'm pretty sure I can hold it until the end of the case. Pretty sure. All right. Urinal. Urinals. Such a crude and barbaric means of bladder relief. Says I agree. the guy who uses the fire hydrant. I agree. We actually both agree on that. All right, so we get disguise kit. Bosco's high-tech, one hundred percent convincing disguise kit. So which kit was water he using filter. Last year, then? <laughs> a jumbo-sized bag of cotton balls. D don't open it, Sam. I can never eat just one. I use a fire hydrant. Bosco keeps plenty of baking soda no. on hand to keep the bathroom fresh. No. So we got some baking soda. We. It's an industrial-sized industrial barrel of baking size. soda. Well, this volcano. Rampaging Roy Neary with a meat and two sides. Recognize that from Easter Island, Max? It's a model volcano. I'd say it's downright exemplary. Okay. There's no Paper. way we're touching that towel. Not after all the people who've been using it. But Bosco and I are the only ones who ever come back here. Exactly. Who's, yeah, who's used this bathroom? All right, well, I mean, the scientist in me wants to do this. All right, now we just need... Um, we need vinegar. Tons of model volcanoes just like the one on Easter Island. It's like Bosco was obsessed with this shape. Like I'm obsessed with the shape of Bosco's unnaturally bulbous forearms? A little like that, but slightly less creepy. <laughs> Do you have any vinegar in here? Baking soda plus vinegar equals eruption. Yeah, well, where do I get it? Baking soda plus vinegar equals eruption. Sounds hot, but they didn't leave a phone number. Can I use, like, the toilet wine? No. I would clean up in here, but I don't want to disturb any evidence. Hmm, a nice aged bottle of Nippy well, there it Valley. Is. Woof! Nippy Valley Woof. For putty time or any time. That was a pretty good Some like. idiot left woof. the cork out, Max. It turned to vinegar. Let's see, make an explosion. Make it, make it reach the ceiling. Put your eye into it. It's like I'm always telling you, Sam. We need a much bigger explosion. This time, you might be right, Max. Uh. Okay. So. Okay. It's an industrial. I just dump it? I don't know how to open the barrel. Hmm. Can I dump it in the other one? No. -uh. It's an industrial sized barrel of baking soda. Well, we gotta get the barrel open. What was that for, Sam? Aha! That barrel was looking at me funny. Dump it in there. The gun actually worked! The gun does work. Sometimes. And the school board said our cases had no educational merit. Do it again! Do it again! What's so that, what that noise? Aliens. Alien episode? They've come for us, Max. It's T-H-E-M. Good! About time we found out who's responsible for this travesty. <laughs> Whoever was upstairs is straight up dead. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get it, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. You ready? Don't miss once. Three times. Change the inning. <laughs> That's got flashbacks of the Pepper game. The one that was unwinnable. Hey, guys. 
<laughs> what the fuck? Look, I can explain. Did you get a haircut, Bosco? There's something different. Finally see a doctor about that, uh, personal problem? You guys done? Yeah, that's all we got. Good. Now shut up and help me! What seems to be the problem, Bessie? That, that elevator over there! It's horrible! I went inside looking for T-H-E-M, but when I got out, I saw my mother! <laughs> it gets worse. I ran out of there fast as I could, and when I came out, I was like this! You gotta fix it, guys! Yeah, I wanna fix it. This is very this is unsettling. Imagine if he stood up on the hind legs and was mooing and walking really fast. Okay. Uh, what are you doing here? What are you doing on an alien spaceship? I got tired of being scared of T-H-E-M. I finally said, bring them on. I built this device that let me predict where they were going to show up next. Then I let them come on and take me. So, did you get udders, or are you a boy cow? That's none of our business, Max. What happened next, Bosco? I used the device on myself. You know. Oh, I hate this. I don't like this. That, it's it's like all a blur. Freaking me out. Something to do with like the, just that perfectly like normal human face, and then like this. Where's this THEM detector device you were talking about? I don't know. I must have lost it in that elevator after I got turned into this, 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 this In the thing. back neck. Yeah, the back neck is fucked. It's right here. It's, ugh. What is this place, Bosco? You guys still don't get it? This is it. The center of the entire operation of THEM. Kind of sparse for the headquarters of a sinister cabal bent on world domination. You don't need much room <laughs> when you can go game anywhere redneck. you want through time and space. <laughs> no, that's not game neck. That's like rooster. That's like a chicken neck. That's like bird neck. What's with all the volcanoes back in your store? Guys, guys, try to keep up. Haven't you figured anything out yet? The volcano is what summons the spaceship, fools. Sam, is that my imagination, or neck. are we being scolded by the guy who's half cow? <laughs> well, where are they? The place seems pretty empty. Where are T-H-E-Y hanging out? I don't know, but you can bet they're around here somewhere. Just waiting to probe us and turn us all into freakish animal-human hybrids. Bosco, Sam is standing right here. Okay, so where, where is it again? this THEM detector device you were talking about? I don't know. I must have lost it in that elevator after elevator. I got turned into this, 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 this thing. All right, let's go to the elevator. Don't go anywhere, Bosco. Oh, take a look around now, first. Now, where am I going to go looking like this? Help me get back to normal, uh, guys. Probably. Normal? <laughs> we'll get you back the way you were before, but uh, we're not promising more than that. I don't want to talk over the audience. Okay, elevator. Whee! Let's just say, hold on. There's a captain's chair. Hey, Max. What do you think this thing is? Calibrating. Complete. I now have mastered your primitive but no less valid language. Please choose from the following topics of conversation. <laughs> System identification. Owner identification. Obvious query, elevator usage. Well, identification. Who are you? I am this craft's artificial intelligence. I supervise the operations of this craft and the activities of its crew. Okay. Who owns you? Where's the crew? They are currently occupied with the craft's primary mission. They will arrive shortly to detain you for your own safety. Okay, time limit. What happened to Bosco? The intruder made unsanctioned use of the time shuttle. How, How do we, we use that elevator? Simply the elevator. choose a destination. <laughs> Whoops. Additional destinations can be opened using convenient pre-printed time cards. Okay. Pre wait, pre How do we use that elevator? Simply choose a destination. Additional destinations can be opened using convenient pre-printed time cards. Okay. There's more. System settings. 
What are my options? My personality can be configured to respond in the style most appropriate to the user. Please choose from the following options. Politically correct, suggestive, abusive, passive, aggressive. Passive aggressive. Selection acknowledged. I'll just alter my entire personality matrix to make you more comfortable. <laughs> All right, print You'd like to get a time, a time card? card, please. I cannot print a time card until the captain chooses a destination. Well, then can we terminate? So long. Fine. Leave. It's not like I was still talking. That's pretty creepy. All right, what do we got here? Elevator. Bosco's time card. Oh, does this just take us back down to Bosco's? Okay. So we have to find other time cards. Bosco's again? How do we end up back here? Judging from the lack of safety railings and ready availability of guns and ammo, I'd say we've gone back in time. Seems to be some time in the early sweet mother of mole sauce. You fools gonna buy something, or do you want to make a baby? Well, uh... Uh-oh. It's Mama Bosco. Carbon hey, Dater. Remember that old Carbon Dater we got from Sybil last year? Yeah, we gave it to Bosco so he could keep scanning his weenies. Looks like he's made some uh, modifications to it. All right, guns, baby needs, baby making machine. Looks like a weird bread making machine. Don't be silly. That's my baby maker. You take a spit sample from the mother and one from the father, mix them together oh, in yeah. that machine. A spit and then sample. And out comes a happy little bundle huh? of perfection. Finally, somebody explains how that works. That's not the generally agreed upon method, Max. So are we gonna are we gonna spit in this? This sample has been completely contaminated by milk. It'll have to be replaced. This sample has been completely contaminated by milk. Okay. It'll have to be replaced. Hmm. This sample says Mama Bosco. Don't touch that. So I made that to sample when my spit was most fertile. <laughs> We have to go again. Hmm, what's this? <laughs> it's my chemical sampling. Oh. Get somebody to spit on it, and it gives you a sample test tube for the baby maker. Mind if we borrow it? Go ahead. Can we spit in I this? I already got all I need. All right, Max, spit in this. I think I'm better off not knowing what Max is made of. Oh, fine. What a waste. What a senseless waste. No, oh, that's comedy. That's true. Timeless comedy. Crying over spilt milk. Baby food and bum wipes. If you use less of one, you wouldn't need as many of the other. I thought I said you weren't going to be playing porn games. They're... They're... They're beautiful. Whee! Guns. Garbage can. The one constant across all human cultures of all times is a massive amount of waste. <laughs> All right, I want to have a conversation with Mama Bosco. You must be Mrs. Bosco. That's Ms. Bosco. I don't want any part of your oppressive patriarchy. Fair enough, ma'am. Miss, you. Who are you? Sam and Max, freelance police. Finally, the police. Maybe you can help me catch that. The fool. police. What do you need the police for? Oh, who? Uh, did you say make a baby? What was that you said about making a baby? I'm made uncomfortable by this line of questioning, Sam. That's just because you're scared of a world where career-minded women don't need to be tied to a man to have a family. This ain't the past anymore. It's the 1960s. They can talk about putting a person on the moon, and I can invent a baby-making machine. Okay, who do you want to catch? Which fool did you want us to catch, exactly? That, that man who just came in here yelling about conspiracies and busting up the place. Bosco what? always did know how to make a memorable first impression. Can you tell us Wait, more about the man who trashed your shop? He took one look at me and screamed. That should narrow the list of suspects down mm. to any man with eyes. Then he stumbled back and ran right into my baby maker. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Oh, 
What the fuck? <laughs> We're here to help your son. I don't have a son. You think it's not enough I'm a businesswoman, an inventor? A woman's only useful if she's got a son. It's not that. We're friends with him. Well, acquaintances. We know him. We've spoken to him more than once. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm not defined by my children. But when I do have one, she's gonna be the most perfect little angel. We'll watch out for store records. We can't take the case, but we'll keep an eye out for your vandal, Miss Bosco. I swear if I ever find him, I'm gonna make sure he gets no pleasure in this life. Ah, oh, I haven't heard a tale of motherly love like that since the Manchurian candidate. So how does that baby how does maker this baby work? Making machine work. You just take a DNA sample from the mother and the other person and combine them in that machine. So let it bake a couple hours and you've got a beautiful baby girl. Oh, are boy. we going to yes. are we going to I've um, already got my own samples in there. I'm gonna test it out tonight after closing. Are we gonna go get uh her how do you get the DNA samples? Isn't that obvious? DNA and put it in there. Saliva, and... fools. Well, naturally. Oh, of course. Is that what is happening? What do you mean, no? What are you talking about? What? It was the milk. It said there was a milk container. The milk in there. And it was fucked up by milk. And then I... That Bo Bosco? Infinite loop. I don't know. I don't know. I thought... I For some reason, I just... I thought I had to go, like, make, like, another Bosco. You are. <laughs> Where'd you get the father's sample? Oh, him. Well, I was just in Washington, D.C. for a special occasion. And when I was touring the White House, I met a nice man in a dark suit. He was polite and didn't say much. Seemed like his spit was as good as anybody else's. So I picked him. Who? Okay. See you later, Ms. Bosco. <laughs> We're gonna pick up some swinging 60s chicks and start a groovy hullabaloo. Men. Cut it out, Max. You don't even like girls. <laughs> oh, right, right. You got a uh, problem with women? Super Bowl. Yeah, just never interested. With all the general malice I have to get done in a day, girls are just. I was gonna go get Bosco's saliva. And... I have never been as turned on as I am right now. Uh, what? You just never found the right woman, and I never found the right man. Forget the baby maker. Catastrophic temporal anomaly detected. <sighs> Run away with me, Max. My white stallion. Curse my irresistible animal magnetism. <laughs> you should reconsider. My office is strict violence. It's not you, it's me. I'm not prepared. <laughs> uh... <laughs> You should reconsider. Ms. Bosco, I, don't I really know. think you should reconsider. They I can already see us. Living next door to that nice detective. Well, it would be nice having someone to do my laundry. You don't even wear clothes. And yet, I always end up with so many blood-stained shirts. Tis a mystery. What about the children? children? I don't know. What about that? I won't need kids once I have the love of my Max. He'll be my new little pet project. <laughs> I'm not prepared I, to commit. I'm a bad seed. I can't be faithful to just one woman. <laughs> oh, I'm enough for at least a dozen women. You dog, you. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, lady, you just don't get it. I'm just not into you. Keep Eject. on protesting. Eject. It just makes me know you're the one. All right, we're gonna have somebody blow a snot rocket into this thing and put it in here. Wait, what's in here? Whee! Whee! We're better to crunch numbers than in the job. I'm sorry, everyone's fucking really upset about that one. My paws are spotless. 
Oh, the germs look so young. <laughs> count. I can't do anything. We're better to crunch numbers than in the jar. No timeout needed. Wine. Hmm. A nice aged bottle of Nippy Valley yep. brand vinegar. Yep. Yep. Aww, yep. 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 Some idiot left the cork in, Sam. It's still wine. Wine. Let's just let Boop. that breathe for a few decades, Max. Oh, we did it. We're the ones that opened up the bottle to make sure that we could use the wine bottle. It's a bottle of proto vinegar that should be to very useful about pour years from into now. the container of the baking soda to blow the hole in the ceiling for us to go up and then go in back in time and be here. It's a perfect loop. Right, can I leave? All right, well, we need a... I have the carbon data. I need a sample. I have the carbon data. I have the cork. Let's just see if I can do anything back here. What do you think you're doing? You know, the usual. Traveling through time and stuff. Override. You've caused a catastrophic temporal anomaly. You're going back to the ship so you can think about what you've done. What are you talking about? I opened up the cork. I opened, I opened the wine up. Oh, wait. Look, He's starting not to did. exist. Sam, what's a catastrophic temporal paradox? That! What the hell did you guys do? Max, when you made Mama Bosco decide not to have a baby, that meant Bosco was never born. But if Bosco was never born, then we never would have gone back to meet Mama Bosco in the first place. Neat. Are you fools just gonna stand there explaining everything? <laughs> or are you gonna fix me? Sheesh. Give a guy a cool cow body, and all of a sudden he's the owner of the time stream. That was gonna be really cool. When I mean, like George Washington like time streams to everybody, we can actually see stuff from the past. Just as webcam and get in there. All right, so. Sampler, am I gonna do the thing? I can't think of any part of Bosco that I'd want to carry around with me. That's not how time travel works. Yeah, I mean, there's, if there's time travel, you need, you need to go back and kill your grandfather, and that means that you never existed yourself. Hmm. There appears to be an 18% loss so of efficiency. So you couldn't go back, you wouldn't exist. It'd take me four days to fix. You have 30 seconds. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Move, fool. <laughs> I can't even get over that. Louis Armstrong voice? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, what the fuck? Alright, so... Uh, stop doing that! You're interrupting me! Can I just go in here? Whee! Ray Most Romano. Could spring out of there any moment. Ray, Ray... No, it is more like Ray Romano. There's no way to open it. Uh, I don't... I, There's no way to open it. That... That's more like Ray Romano. Whee! What was I doing? I was going... Well, it... Okay, no, I was doing it. I was doing Ray Romano, you're right. Alright, so we have to... Looks like some kind of weird alien radio. I, need a, I got a cork. The carbon dater. Bosco already scanned himself with this thing. Can I sit in the captain's chair? Appears to be made of the finest leather from only the finest in mutilated cattle. Scanning. Don't joke about that. Scanning. Scanning. Let's scan each other. It printed a time card with Stinky's logo on it. Whoa! Is that this thing prints time cards? Hmm. It printed out a card with the Intergalactic Freelance Police logo. What? Sounds intriguingly futuristic. Are you shitting me right now? Can I scan Move. the computer? Nah. All right. Well, let's go to Stinky's. Move, boo. 
stinkies. Uh, and freelance police, one. There are one, two, three more to get. We're going to go to stinkies. I gotta, I gotta scan everybody and get more time cards. Grandpa. What do you two want? It's the one true stinky. Are we glad to see you? Why? Still, it's a new person to it's talk Abraham to. Abraham Lincoln's voice. Look, Sam, it's us as impressionable preteens. Exceedingly well done. No, we can't go. I'm gonna. We're gonna go talk to ourselves, and it's gonna cause a problem. You have to avoid your past selves. What is this mess? Old Stinky was the only one who could make a restaurant feel like home. Well, let's just go ruin time. Hey, champ, what are you working on? I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. But we're strangers who have candy and cool guns you can play with. Well, that should be okay. I'm working <laughs> on my new arcade game, Bluster Blaster. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What are you doing with Bluster Blaster? So, so I built we them made? Tech. Now I'm just working the on computers? the AI. Now I remember! You used to be a total nerd, Sam! Funny, though. All this time we've spent talking to the cops, and you never once mentioned you're the guy who built Bluster Blaster. It just never seemed relevant, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Shouldn't you kids be outside playing or... Dating? <laughs> Dating? <laughs> Outside? It's 8 o'clock at night. When I was your age, I would have set fire to at least four different categories of things by this hour. Nuh-uh. You would have been playing that video game all day, just like he is. Don't you sass me, boy! You're lucky that you grew up I to love be the only little one who knows Sam's how to use voice. the time machine, kid. Little Sa Baby Sam's voice is just regular Sam, but a little bit like this. You know what I mean? It's like Otto. Aren't you worried you're turning into something of a, well, uh... Dweeb? Doofus? Dorkwad? Who cares? I don't need you guys or anybody else. Max never calls me names. That's right, Poindexter. Headshot! Oh, come on. You gotta have, like, a little baby version. All right, what else do you like? There's gotta be something more constructive to do than work on this game all night. Well, there is that prom at the school tonight. This See? year's theme is Summer of Awakening Desire. Oh, lame. 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 Well said. A smooth kid like you must have dozens of girls wanting to go to the prom with you. Oh, don't lie to the boy, Sam. Nah, all the lame. girls are into Max because he's mean to them. And also, he doesn't complain when they dress him up in their doll clothes. Ah, the precious memories. Let's stick to one neurosis at a time, Max. Okay. Look how cool I am. Wouldn't you rather grow up to be as cool as I am? With a boss car and a detective job and a huge gun? Hmm. Would I have to be as fat as you too? <laughs> Whoa. 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 You're not gonna you kill. Got lucky, You're punk. not gonna. What the fuck? You know. <laughs> That's you, man. That's you. You can't do that. Don't you want to get out and meet more sexy young people your age? Yeah. Who's uh, got time what? for that? My video game is so close. Aren't they like? Six? Oh, Bluster what Blaster. The hell? You know me too well. What's wrong with the video game? It's fine, I guess. But with only a 1 megahertz processor and this 8-bit I.O. adapter, the A.I. doesn't get enough cycles. Can the dork lingo, Chubbs. <laughs> Just give me the recap. It'd be easy enough to download a new A.I., but I haven't found one new, that's any all right, good. I need a new computer. Okay. Need, I'm going to go to the current present don't you want to get out and meet get more better sexy young people your age processor. yeah who's got time for no that? okay i didn't want to ask that one again i didn't want to ask that one again <laughs> didn't want to ask that one make good choices son <laughs> didn't you guys say i could play with your guns we lied kid remember this it's a good life I, lesson. I didn't think i clicked the, whatever can i borrow that screwdriver well as long as you promise to bring it back i hate to think what would happen if i had to stop working on computers 
Uh, uh -oh. yeah. Uh, sure thing, kid. Uh-oh. We've changed the timeline. Now I grow up to be, uh, Sam. Alright, what about little Max? Hey, little guy. What are you scamps up to? I'm only playing Bluster Blaster, the newest and best video game ever made! Duh! Nice try! You guys are nerds. <laughs> what? Shouldn't you kids be doing something constructive? Or at least less nerdy? Today I get to do anything I want! You do anything you want every day, Max. You're the best! Wow, you really love that game. Video game. Are you kidding? This game is the only thing that really understands me. You rock hard! See what I mean? Games are dumb. People rule. Wouldn't it be healthier to get your validation from other people? People are dumb, and they just don't get me. You're the greatest! See, it's like the game knows what I'm thinking. Games will stunt your growth. Playing that game so much is unhealthy, little guy. You're awesome! Unhealthy to hear the truth? I don't think so. All right. Hey, what's going I on today? I remember something very important about this day. What was it? There was my party. Duh. Max's don't forget party. that prom and after prom kissing retreat tonight, Max. <laughs> Great job! You're getting better! That prom sounds like a fun and informative time for a young person. Why aren't you there? <laughs> like just... Couldn't you get a date? I can't even... Loser! You're the loser, loser! No, you are! Jenny Tallarico asked me to go, but I turned her down. She just doesn't get me like Bluster Blaster Bluster does. Blaster! Great move! You almost dodged it! <laughs> Wasn't Jenny Tallarico the girl who had a crush on you for years, Max? I don't know. I never noticed. They call her Jenny Tungarico because she'll kiss anybody and she uses her whole mouth. Grody. Ugh, grody. We're still here doing this. There's lots of neat stuff about girls. You'll realize once you take that first step to adulthood. Eh, why bother? I've got everything I need right here. You're the best. Go outside. Go meet girls. Why would kids go outside and play? Go outside and play. Why would I go outside when my best friend's in here? Gee, Max. Oh, yeah. Sam's here, too. You're radical. All right. That's enough. Just say no, little buddy. Word up. Can I talk to Bluster Blaster? It's our old pal, Bluster Blaster. Wait your turn. No way. I was going to break the screen. Okay. M m memorable, memorable toast? Memorable toast. Is that toast, Lincoln? Whee! No, I was trying to break the screen. I was trying to hit, like, the screen. I was just trying to break the screen. Everybody needs to relax. Hi, Stinky. Are you the parents of those two parasites? Well, not exactly. Although we do still have a time machine, so I wouldn't completely rule out the possibility. That's gross, Max. I'm just trying I'm to just break saying. the screen. Just trying to break the screen. I'm just trying to break the screen. <laughs> hey, we're from the future. We bring a warning from the future. In about 25 years, you're going to be murdered. Murdered my swollen pancreas. I once wrestled four rabid grizzlies while standing on the back of a rutting alligator what while tattoos? being pelted with karari tipped darts and fighting off a case of irritable bowel syndrome. I'd like to meet the man who could murder old Stinky. Hi, I'm Max. <laughs> really? You're gonna Honest, die? Stinky, we're detectives and we've seen all the evidence. You're gonna get offed. When? How? And who's going to do it? Well, we don't know exactly. Detectives is really more of a catch-all term for guys with guns. Some woman claiming to be your granddaughter has taken over We're your breaking restaurant. Things. Granddaughter my cleft palate. I never had any children. Really? A cantankerous, misanthropic, hairy old cuss like you would be great with kids. Hmm. Perhaps. Someday. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to rush you, Stinky, but if you're planning kids, you're going to have to get on that pretty quick. We're health inspectors. We're from the Public Health Board. Homo 
almost none of the vermin in this establishment are wearing federally approved hairnets. Government types. <laughs> Weak and pathetic, the lot of ye. You can't even begin to comprehend what I'm doing here. My dishes will challenge the weak and weed out the inferiors like you jelly-jawed lip flappers. Only the strongest will survive. It will be glorious! <laughs> that was a terrifyingly so awful laughing lip sync. Uh, that was scarier than anything else. How are the 80s treating you, Stinky? What are you two still doing here? No animals allowed in my diner. It's okay. We're service animals. Uh, can we be seated? Could we be seated already? No shirt, no shoes, no service. We're being discriminated against, Sam. We want to order something. Too bad. We'll take a pan-fried red panda with. What? Get the Can't spit. Can't you see? I'm Get so the spit. close to perfecting my gooey molasses tar cake. I can't be arsed to cook for you hooligans when I got so much cooking to do. Hmm. What's a gooey molasses tar cake? It's based on my ancient family recipe. But my proud knuckle-dragging forefathers never thought to use my secret ingredient. The blood of innocence! Nutmeg. Spit. You're both wrong. You and it? you're both stupid. It's the one thing no one has ever thought to use before. He's gonna, he's gonna spit in it, he's gonna pee in it. I'll test your tar cake for you, Stinky. Sam can, and will, eat anything. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? To just waltz into a restaurant and order something to eat. You're just trying to find out my secret ingredient. Well, you won't, because it's the one thing no one has ever thought That's to gonna use. That's gonna be like a beard hair or something. Thanks for the chat, Stinky. Okay. I'll just go away and die. But most of all, thanks for just being you. Looks like girl Stinky was telling the truth for once. The gooey molasses tar cake really is an old family recipe. Mm, well, let's put this on you. Grandpa Stinky. What do we get? Weird. It doesn't work on him for some incomprehensible mm. reason we don't care enough about to pursue further. Good. Mm. Keep your... Fancy goo goes and who's who watch it away from me. Hmm. Interesting. It couldn't hurt to take just a sample. We should have those results for you in about a week, Mr. Cake. Now, turn your head and cough. Cake sample. Whee! Can they be scanned? I've already scanned myself with this no. thing. All right, oh, now let's go put the cake into the other thing and... All right, let's go. Smell you later, homeboy. Totally. It's gonna, we're gonna have a cake baby. <laughs> uh, let's go to Bosco's. I'm telling you, he spits in his cakes. Speaking of uh, scanning, do you have a card? What was that? Yep. It printed a time card with a presidential seal and some strange numbers. Here we go. No, I'm pretty sure Bosco's father wasn't a tar cake. What? This sample has been completely contaminated by milk. It'll have to be replaced. What? Don't touch that. I made that sample when my spit was most fertile. This sample is... I can't... I, so what do I do with the tar cake sample? Not happening. No, I'm free. It's Mama Bot. The mother sample is locked. I'm telling you, I'm gonna have to get Bosco to, like, spit in a jar. Oh, let's put this in here. Looks 
Sam. It's my summer office. I don't think so, Max. Take a look around. George Washington. Welcome to the Oval Office visitors. Next tour begins in 30 minutes. This is a long time before the horrific sequence of events that led to your presidency. I'm not leader of the free world here? This will but not But I have stand. the tar cake sample. I need another sampler. Okay. This far in the past, I assumed the Earth was still flat. <laughs> I'm guessing they couldn't fit a television on there. All right. Okay. So what's going on now? I wonder who's in this picture. It probably came with the frame. Came with the frame. Annals of Americana. Is the war room? Rat hole? If I remember my history correctly, today's the day of the pivotal rat peace accords. We'd better not disturb them. Foreign policy for ninjas. Hi, I'm George Washington. Shove your nuts in my mouth and I'll crack them. Please don't make fun of nuts. <laughs> Hi, I'm George Washington. Shove your nuts in my mouth and I'll crack them. Please don't make fun of nuts. <laughs> they, they really, like, dialed up. They're, like... Crazy shit in this episode, huh? Hi there, random secret service agent. I can answer any of your questions. Please don't touch anything. I'm Agent Superball. Superball? It's a code name, sir. I'm a bouncer. Secret service humor. In the future, we know a guy who looks just like you, with the same name. I've never seen hmm. you before. And there couldn't be another Agent Superball, sir. The code names are unique. <laughs> oh, Superball. I get it. Did you see Mama Bosco? Did you see a strange woman in here a while ago? Assertive career woman, asking everyone to spit. That's the one! Yes, sir. I admired her independent spirit and sass. And you spit. Where's the president? He's in the war room. Important national crisis. And when I said national crisis, I meant to say he's just watching television. We are not at the brink of war with Cuba. All right, Sam. Our mission is clear. Nuke the commie bastard! I think we've seen enough of the war room for one lifetime, Max. Yeah, you're right, Sam. Having to hurt people from a distance takes all the fun out of it anyway. Okay. Um, I... What do you think of the president? What do He's you think the, the president? greatest man who ever lived, sir. Oh, these poor bastards of the 60s having to grow up in a world without David Arquette. God. How long have you been working for the White House? <laughs> Just a few months. I've already been assigned my first door. That's all you First do? First door. Guard this door? Not at all, sir. I also provide tours, run the patent office, and narrate public service announcements. That's a lot of work for one man. I'm still new. In 40 years, I'll be promoted to receptionist. <laughs> God. What's Heard the gossip? Gossip about the president? Extra toes or nipples, can't talk to the press without slices of ham stuffed down his pants. Stuff like that. The president is beyond reproach, sir. I won't hear any more of it. Okay. We need something We need your official. help with something official. What will it be, sir? We want a narration. We want a patent. We want a narration. We want to hear you narrate a public service announcement. All right. Are your cigarettes killing you? As unbelievable as it might seem, cigarettes made outside the U.S. actually contain chemicals that are addictive and possibly even harmful. For your own safety and that of your children, smoke only homeland-grown tobacco, the kind doctors recommend for your good health. Now you know for a better America. Okay, um, we want a patent. We want exclusive rights to produce our latest invention. We wish to crush competing inventors to see them driven before us and hear the lamentations of their patent lawyers. Very well. What'll it be? What? Self-rocking baby crib cat litter formula. Gooey molasses tar cake. We'd like to patent our tar cake recipe, Super Bowl. It's a special recipe we made up ourselves, and anybody who says different is a damn liar. I see. And what ingredient makes that a unique invention? Uh... I'm gonna say... Slap him with a DMCA takedown. <laughs> it's probably like this one, or it's probably this one. Or this one, I don't know. It's probably the love one. That's like the easy one, right? It's made with love. I can't issue you a patent, oh, sir. That it. ingredient is not in that sample. Oh, come on. How could you possibly know that? 
I'm a government official, sir. I know these things. I'll need to know the unique ingredient to issue you a patent. All right, well, come on. We need your... What will it be, sir? We want exclusive... Very well. Or target. Like pat... I see. And the ingredient is wombat guano. Quiescently frozen wombat guano. Sorry, sir. That ingredient is not in that sample. I'll need to know mm. the unique ingredient. Well, I don't think I, I don't think I can do this, so might as well just scan them. <laughs> it printed a time card with our logo on it. You're brute forcing patents. Okay, well, I can't do that. Wait, what was the other one? There's another option here. We need your help. With... What will it be? A tour. We'd like a tour of the office. Very well, sir. That's a desk. There's a couch. Another couch is there. A calendar. Some pictures. The door you see behind me is 100% northwestern white pine with an interior flat jam in. That's plenty, thanks. Okay. We want to hear another public service announcement. Do you know how to recognize a communist? Look for the telltale signs. All tell -tale. communists are double jointed in their necks and elbows to aid them as they steal American secrets. Communists also secrete a brownish viscous residue from their palms, which can be found on their homes, children, and pets. Now you know for a better America. Jesus. Just Sorry, keep sir. guarding that door. Gladly, sir. <laughs> I just, I just went, oh, Jesus Christ. We came here from the far off future. Aren't you amazed and surprised? Isn't that shocking? I've seen a lot of things, sir. It takes a lot to shock me. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, we can shock you. I bet we could surprise you. Can't be done, sir. I'm imperturbable. <laughs> we... Uh, we're from the future. We come from the beginning of the 21st century. In the future, television is delivered through thick cables instead of being sent through the air. Does that not blow your ever-loving mind? Not really, sir. I'm not easily startled. What was that water? Glass of water. Give me that water. We're your Can we get that water? Sons. And we want to live in your house and raise my children of questionable parentage. He's going to spit in and our faces. Both axe murderers. And I'm voting for Barry Goldwater. Nothing? It's like I said, sir. I'm not startled easily. We killed your dog. I'm surprised, sir. Really? Yes. Surprised that you try that one again. It never works. Hmm. All right, we give up. The How man's get that a cup? rock, Sam. Nice try, sirs. I almost felt my pulse rate increase there. Hmm. Keep up the good work. Thank he's, you, sir. We have to do something shocking, and he's going to spit that into our face. Cork? No. No. This is not going to be shocking, I don't think. Better not. Better not. No, we got a new time card. I think we have all the time. No, there's one more we're missing. One final missing time card after this one. So let's hold on a minute here. We need to go. We haven't gone here. Where have we been? have we gone here? I don't think we've gone here yet. Just give him the jock jock shock jock it. Look, Sam, the more future? visitors. I don't know how to use a light bulb with that. There, there, Sam. I love old Sam. Old Sam is the best character, I already know. Alright, hold on here. There's a volcano. Looks like we kept Bosco's model volcano after all these years. Blowing things up for science will They're never go boomers. out of style. What's in here? Is he still in here? Whoa. Oh, jeez. That's a lot. I hate pack rats. It says stinky stick tight adhesive based on an old family recipe. Number one throughout the entire galaxy with secret ingredient vitamin 13. Vitamin 13. It can't be all that big a secret if it's on the poster. Maybe vitamin secrets are different in the future. 13. 
Bingo. We got it. Hello, future me. I can't shoot, Max. Apparently, all those years of adventuring have taken their toll. I can't use these things together. Scan them? No, we already scanned. Hey, future Max. Oh, hey, guys. Look, Sam. More visitors for your special day. Comically backwards past versions of ourselves. Nah, I want to keep these shoestrings. That's nice, Sam. <laughs> So this is the future. The future is a baffling potpourri of peculiar sights and odors. Yes, our advanced world must be frightening and confusing to you. I'll try to speak slowly so that your 21st century brains can understand. Uh, how did we do, do you this? remember how we cured Bosco of his parentage problems? Bosco, Bosco. Oh, he's the guy who invented Skynet, isn't he? No, I was hoping I'd be the one who did that. I don't remember much about that case. Uh, something about spit, wasn't it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So much in the office has changed. Oh, the wonders I could show the two of you if I wasn't afraid of violating the time stream. Yeah, the time stream's right, asking for Streaming it. right now? Well, okay. Nice, man. In the future, we can make phone calls to other people even when we're not at home. My God! And our cars now have additional brake lights above the rear seats. Everybody hates that so much. It gives me energy. Okay, uh, any interesting future you cases? You must have been having a ton of exciting future adventures in space. No, oh, we don't take that many cases anymore. We try to stay mostly around this street and the neighboring shops. Still? I'm glad to see the old freelance police are still in business. Are we in yes, business? Yes, dear stupid past Sam. But of course, now we're a wholly owned subsidiary of Stinky Corp. So Stinky Corp took over the whole world. What's Stinky Corp? <laughs> Get a load of this, Sam. These yokels have never heard of Stinky Corp. I don't feel like playing darts right now. Yes. Well, anyway, Stinky Corp is the mega corporation that owns everything in the future. Stinky mm -hmm. made enough money from her diner to take over the world? I'm gonna take no, that patent. No, no, cretinous Max. From her super adhesive. Mm -hmm. What's this about Stinky super adhesive? It revolutionized the whole galaxy. Now it's used for everything from scrapbooking to alien spacecraft. She's claimed in interviews that it was based on an old family formula. But Sam and I think we figured out the real secret. It's made from mole men. Mole men? Vitamin 13. What about robots? Do we have robot slaves in the future? With lasers? Oh, you uncultivated savages. Robots are used for controlling our spaceships these days. Surely you've heard of the main Tron 28,000 line. Well, of course. Right, Sam? Everybody's heard of that. I can't shoot, Max. I just want to hang out with you. Can we just hang out together? And we can just look at... We can just look out the window and stuff. If you're not taking cases, what do you guys do? I've become an expert in volcanology. And Sam is... <laughs> well, Sam is in his own world now. Great transmogrifying vapor wolves of Rite Hill 17. <laughs> Booster rocket through the Van Allen belt. I'm in my office. <laughs> right, get rid of this one. What's this about stinky super adhesive? It revolutionized the whole galaxy. Now it's used for ice yeah. crap. She's cleared yeah. out the real stuff. Yep. It's made Mole men. Okay. What's wrong with the other me? Oh, he's fine. Mostly. The years add up, though. It's lint from my pocket. This should be useful later. Be seeing you. All right. So long! We gotta go... That's how we say goodbye in the future. We gotta go talk to the mole. With this bad boy, we'll never need another file cabinet. Can't do anything with it. I have a screwdriver, a cork, a sampler. I have this tar sample. Okay, so I still have a sampler. 
I need to get him to spit into my High face. Tech rats. What future dystopia is this? And then scrape it off and put it in there. Not much use for this anymore. But first, we need to. Uh, we need to go. Fine, we gotta find the mold. Right, did I do all the. How goes the case, future me? I can't reach it. Keep up the good work. I can't reach it. I think I'll leave him to his memories. What do you mean I can't reach it? The spaceship's artificial intelligence unit is stuck on the elevator. I probably take this off at some point, right? All right, let's go here. We haven't gone here yet. some tachyons in a gravy boat at the Grand Duchess's bat mitzvah. What disgusting hellhole have we ended up in this time? Looks strangely familiar, like Super Bowl. I'm not here, sirs. You can safely ignore me. Done. Is he following us around? Boxing Betty remote. Max, have you been sending Boxy Betty hey. to... What? Hey, buddy, throw us that remote control, would you? The hell is going on? You're gonna need this. Thanks, buddy. Be you later. <laughs> Wait. It... There's a couple of hooligans ruckus making down there. They just threw me an egg. And all right. Are we looping into each other? Are we? Am I gonna throw that egg up there in like 20 minutes? Probably. What are you doing here in our office? Investigating the president's disappearance, sir. So, you're back with the Secret Service, then? Mmm, sure. Okay, well... Max was getting missing. interesting. We've been on a case. We got beamed on board a spaceship! That's ridiculous, sir. Must have been a weather balloon. That was no balloon! It was a spaceship! Bosco saw it, too! Gas leak. Mass hypnosis. Two abductions on the same street in the same week? And you're going to just try and cover it up? I can neither confirm nor deny a cover-up, sir. God. Can you help us with our case? What seems to be the problem? Bosco's been abducted. Easily explained, sir. And he's trapped on a time-traveling spaceship. There's no such thing as time travel, sir. Look into my eyes, please. <laughs> what were we talking about? You'd said that Mr. Bosco is having a perfectly rational vacation in Pago Pago. Yes. Pago Pago. Hey, look, Max. It's Agent Superball. You were saying something, sir. Uh, uh, bah. Very good, sir. We met a guy in Washington who's a dead ringer for you. That would be me, sir. That was 40 years ago. You couldn't still look that young so is he without going a time forward? machine or something. He's going Clean forward. Living, sir. There's no such thing as time machines. What the hell? Don't you feel better now that you're no longer working for bad guys like Jorgen? Uh, He's timeless. Yes. I enjoy working for the Secret Service. Fighting the good fight. Protecting the president. That reminds me, Sam. Can we wrap this case up pretty soon? I've got a healthcare system and five foreign governments to topple. <laughs> and I'm way behind schedule. Okay, so... How's the wife and kids? things up with Mrs. Superball? That's a negative, sir. We spoke briefly. It ended badly. She says she can't talk to me when I'm emotional like this. How'd you find out we were missing? There was a rat, sir. Claimed he was de facto owner of this office since your disappearance. He was quickly taken away for questioning. Wow, it always takes us ages to get rid of Jimmy Two Teeth. We well, must be slipping, Max. All this time, I never thought to use rendition. All right, so we need to, um... He Don't stayed worry, positive, Super Bowl. Every time life closes one door, it opens another. That thought disgusts and terrifies me, sir. So what do you... you why is Super Bowl? door? We can't seem to avoid it. All right, so you've been scanned. Is this... What if it's a different Super Bowl? Weird. It says I've already... Yeah. That's the same Super Bowl we met over it's 40 the years. same person. I'm aging gracefully, sir. Yes, it is. Just was making sure I didn't want to make what if they were lying and didn't what if there's more than one. Alright. 
We have an egg. I need to go find the mole. Stinkies? Where's that mole? Where, Sybil, where's Sybil's? Who have I not scanned? Can I say the secret ingredient? I wonder if that, if I can say, vitamin 13. We need your help with something. Of what will it be? Patent. We want exclusive rights to Very well. produce. Tar cake. We'd like to patent our tar cake recipes. I see. And Secret ingredient is vitamin 13. Vitamin 13. Very well. That seems to check out. Okay, so now we own the patent. That patent grants you exclusive rights to make, market, and improve on your invention. This must be just what Thomas Edison felt like. Minus the stealing and time travel, of course. Oh, Sam, you're so naive. So now we have the patent for... We have the patent for the cake. So now we go back to where the cake is. And we do, do is, is he gonna have, we have a different conversation about the cake? Let's go back here and see, let's go to the office. Are we gonna be on that poster? We're not even here anymore. You're still here, but all points bulletin. We need a new bullet. Oh, this is the wrong, this is the wrong one. Wrong one. Wrong one. Hold on, wait. Good place for a bath, right in front of the window. Remember Easter Island? Yeah, me either. The floor of Brady has twice the style the fauna one ever did. Turn on the TV. There's We're nothing not... good on. Is it news? Can we see the data? <laughs> what? Bunang. <laughs> I like that one better. Bunang. <laughs> that was my laugh. What's going on? What the fuck was that? Bunang. 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 What am I doing? <laughs> I'm like fucking myself up here. <laughs> and that kind of was my laugh, like. <laughs> God damn it. Whatever. Alright, so I have the patent. I need to go to the future. Not stinkies. Elmo? I kind of sound like Elmo. Alright, so hey, look. We... It says, stinky stick-tight adhesive, based on an old family what? recipe, with secret ingredient vitamin 13. What? Sue him! We get the patent. No siree. Hundred years in the future, I'm gonna patent that. Well, sorry, Stinky. Sorry, Stinky. But Wait. we're gonna have to, uh... Claim that cake. We have to insist that you cease and desist all future production of gooey molasses tar cakes, Mr. Stinky. We're this not is, angry at you very for unfair. stealing from us. Just very, very disappointed. Poppycock. Oh, that recipe's been in my family for centuries. Now we'll go for the, the U.S. Back. Patent Office says otherwise, Gramps. The U.S. 
patent office can f my s pus filled. Actually, I don't believe that falls under their jurisdiction. Fine, I'll throw it out. Time stream altered. Uh oh. All right, so we have the uh, the AI now. So is that it? Sorry about that, Patton. Hope you're still not holding a grudge about that tar cake business. I hold on to grudges like a man pushed overboard holds on to a ship's rail, clinging to it with bleeding fingers as the one thing saving him from a fatal plunge into the briny abyss. Oh, we missed you, Stinky. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, that's cool. So the AI can't stick on anymore because it's using the adhesive that they know they no longer make. So now what happens in the future? I'm just curious to see if this is any different. Uh oh. The bulletin board's all wet and ruined. We must get careless in the future. Who cares? All right. Whee! Any new dialogue here? What happened to Stinky? Have you heard from Stinky lately? Of course, dim-witted Sam. She owns the mega corporation that owns everything in the future. How'd she manage that? She invented a spray that repels reanimated zombie hands. <laughs> it turned out to be surprisingly lucrative. Still, still did all right, apparently. So long. What was that big elaborate goodbye? Whee! Hey, hold on, wait a minute. Will, will that, will, can I give that to him? This thing is just like a computer, right? Will this actually do what I think it's gonna do? Portable AI. Are you gonna do this? Will this work? Wow, I've never seen anything that advanced. It must have at least 640 kilobytes of RAM. Yeah. Whatever, kid. <laughs> this is exactly what I needed for my video game. I'll just download the AI. Yeah, you do that. Then go outside and play or something. Fine. Shoot all the bad guys. I'll just have to make more, but no problem. Bitchin! You made the game even friendlier! Oh, he's the passive personality aggressive. matrix is rejecting the new programming. I'll change it back. Nice try! You almost hit it! That's better! Okay. What is an egg? I want to throw the egg up. No, we gotta go... Oh, we gotta go here. Where's, um... Let's go home. The personality of the thing has to be really nice. You gotta have a really, really good personality. Really happy, friendly one. Uh, system settings. What are my options? My personality can be configured to respond in the style most appropriate to the user. Please choose from the following options. Well, actually, no, they play it because it's tuned for nice. But wouldn't I want it to be, um... Oh, yeah, I want it to be, like, really, really... Uh... Abusive. Good choice, Abusive. moron. Did you come up with that yourself, or did your idiot friend help out? <laughs> Hold on. Let me see the other one. What ones. are my options? My personality. Please... This abusive suggestive. Suggestive. Oh, that is exactly how I like it. That's f <laughs> what the fuck. Uh, this is like this is like a. What are my options? My personality. No, I'm not abusive. using that one. Abusive. We're doing abusive. So long. Get lost. Whee! Let's try it. Is 
suggestive or a riot. No, I'm not doing suggestive. Take another look at this talking computer dingus, kid. Thanks, mister. I wanna fly! Shut up! So now he's you mean. We make, game, him, we make him awful. Nuh-uh. I made it better. Go back to your name, Grandma! This, like, totally blows now. Let's go to that dance and make the moves on some chicks. But I was going to Penn Station to pick up some power converters. Beat it, nerds! Make sure you check out the snack table, little me. If yeah, I we, remember correctly, we... the pigs in blankets were decadent. Time stream altered. Check us. <laughs> so, Max, feel any different? I feel like it's been too long since the Maxinator <laughs> taught a lady what sweet, sweet love is all about. That guy is happy Gilmore so me. So pick up some primo early 80s You tale, suck, bro. Yes, jackass. It's our old pal, Bluster Blaster. All right, can we do anything else with you? I really don't want to screw that. It's our old pal, Bluster. Okay, so now they left. Can There's you just the one call? song. As Stinky would say, if you don't like it, go deaf. <laughs> All right, what do we got in our inventory? Let's take a look. We've got the egg, the cake, sample which we don't really need that anymore the ai we've used we need to get we need to get spit on what's a cork for can you scan inorganic things i've already no no i want to scan this No way. Yeah, I've already scanned both of us. I've already scanned. The guy in the suit has to spit on me. Super Bowl has to spit on us. And I have to capture it. How do we get him to do that? Mmm, something shocking. We're still missing a card. It's the official calendar of the United States. The best part of being president is changing the date for the entire country. I don't want to change the date right now. I'm temporarily confused enough as it is. Whee! I don't think I have anything. Let's see. Do I have any I other options? We could surprise. Can't be done, sir. No, I don't have anything here. All right, we give up. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. Let me go back to get spit on, put in the thing. I didn't look at what boss code. Well, hello, Miss B. Did it get freaky sexy in here or is it just you? What'd you do to my Max? The better question is, what is oh, your Max Oh, because he went, he went to go like hang out with you? girls, right? All night long. Don't look at me, Miss Bosco. He's been like this ever since we were kids. <laughs> Why don't we ditch the pooch so you can give me a special tour of the store? I've been wanting to see what you've got round back. <laughs> I thought you were different, Max. That does it. I'm done with all of you men. Temporal anomaly corrected. Jackass. All right, so that. Is there anything in here? We need to get the spit from the guy to put in here to make the baby. Did I miss something? Let me check the bathroom. Did I miss something in here? Wine? Can I take the wine? It's a bottle of proto vinegar. That 
No, it has to be there. Nothing else can. I don't think we can do anything else in here. All right, so let's go through them again. Anything else? Nations rise and nations fall, but those hot weenies will outlast us all. Hmm. Well, not here. Let's just see. I'm going to go through them again. See if I missed anything. We'll take a gander. That was a weird rumor. That was like a rumor that was run out of gas on the road. Alright, you need to spit on me. Spit on me. How's the cover-up going? Very well, sir. Is what I'd say if there was a cover-up, which there isn't. All right. Be seeing you, Super Bowl. I'm surprised this game survived being thrown clear of the Playland and Casino explosion. Not nearly as surprised as the guy it landed on. I wasn't really expecting to play this. I just, it just happened. I thought I didn't think it was still working. Still got 20. I didn't think it was gonna even pop up. I just started shooting randomly. Eagle statue. I'm uh -huh. guessing they couldn't. A true weasel scout would keep his merit badges on him at all times. Be prepared. Be very prepared. No, there's nothing in here. Whoever chose this lamp Wait, was taking on. liberties with the concept of good taste. I didn't even. There's another little section down here. Oh, that looks like a perfect please take me item, doesn't it? Oh, well. No, what are you doing? I'm just gonna go through them all, and I'm gonna look around. I obviously have something I still don't have. Come again. Reviews. F plus. I'm not sure if that's failing well or failing poorly. Memorable toast, the blaster. Devil memorabilia letter display. Check this out. It's from 1963, and it's signed by the president. My dearest Maxine, meet me tonight at Stinkies. Stinkies. Wear that dress I like, the one where I can see your holy... I didn't think they knew that word back then. The president's wife wasn't named Maxine. What is this, the Temperance League? Lighten up! Looks like this case has a screw loose. Oh. Well. Max, I've got something for that. Stinky for me. Oh my god, look, Stinky! Yeah, what, what? Somebody's trying to break into your display case! Real Classic smooth, cartoon. Buddy. Classic cartoon, got you. What about this one? Satisfied customer. Definitely remember bit. All right, so we've got like. All right, yeah, here we go. Time to get it. Let's do it. I'm ready. Let's put a cap in this case. Check it out. Ready? Oh, I'm ready. Are you ready? to have this person undulate liquid out of their mouth directly into my face. Sip. 
My dearest Maxine, meet me tonight. <laughs> Tender caresses down your... <laughs> and a donkey. Love, the prez. That's very shocking, sir. Where were they going to meet? Inside Stinky's Diner. Get it! Stinky's! I can't believe the president would eat at Stinky's. I've lost all respect for the man. I'll take that, and now we can complete it. Super Bowl! Excellent. Let's go put it in the machine, let's make the baby. And let's see, uh... No, 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 I didn't mean to click, didn't mean to click, it's okay. Gamer. Unbelievable. I can't even uh, comprehend. Now somebody could click on the wrong thing. Get him. Okay, here we go. See? <laughs> See? Uh, that was great. I was un oh, what an unbelievable fucking reference. To what we were talking about like fucking two hours ago. Unbelievable. You get like a that's you get like the stamp of comedy approval. Time stream altered. Check ass. Alright, turn it on. It's Mama Bosco's baby making machine. The mother sample is locked, but the father sample is open. Alright, so let's go. It's a sample of Agent Super Bowl spit. It's Mama Bosco's baby the mother sample. So it, wait, we just have to go in the future now? Can we just leave? Is that all I need to do? Is he gonna be fine? <laughs> Wait. Bosco! You're back to normal! Hello, fool. Mr. President Fool. Hmm. I suspect we got the wrong dad, Max. <laughs> so, Bosco, are you feeling like yourself? Of course, sir. Never better. Oh, God. Okay, tell us about you. Tell Can't you give us chat. any more details on your father? It's straightforward enough, fool. I was a test tube baby, first in the country. No idea who'd make a spit donation to your mom? No more cracks about my mama, Mr. President, or I'll have to ask you to step outside. <laughs> Don't worry, Bosco. We'll get you back to normal. Thank you, fool. I suggest you hurry. Ugh. Even when he's riding us, he's too polite. It's unnerving. <laughs> How are we going to get off this spaceship? <laughs> Hadn't given it much thought, sir. Don't you it's care about C-H-E-M coming back to kill you? Not really, sir. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> I don't like Bosco like this, Max. We've got to get him back to his paranoid self. <laughs> That's pretty fucking fun. Don't worry, Bosco. We'll get you back to normal. Thank you, fool. I suggest you hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Even when he's riding us, he's too polite. <laughs> it's unnerving. Uh, <laughs> all right, I gotta, see you around, Bosco. I gotta get out of this. Will this work? Bosco already scanned himself with this thing. <laughs> there, uh, do we have no more uh, dialogue? I must have mentioned the other spit donor at least once. Said she met him at the White House. Said he was a nice man. Not particularly interesting. We'll see you around, Bosco. So what, what, how do we fix this? What do we do with the egg? I mean, can we, Oval Office? So we can't get in here. We Anything need your else help. we can do? What will it be? Official tour? No. Just keep going. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. No 
Nope. I don't know what I was thinking there. The father of our country. I wonder who's in this picture. It probably came with the frame. I still have a... Okay, I have a cork that I still have. Can I scan the painting? Wow, that wouldn't do anything. Nothing doing. No, that's not going to do anything. According to that letter, this isn't the only thing the president-elect. Should be plenty of DNA-rich spit left on this envelope. The president's a very thorough liquor. I never, I would have fucking missed that forever. I would have walked back and forth a hundred times. Coyotes? Yeah. Alright, let's try this again. I need to fill a test tube with something before I can put it in here. Huh? Oh. Okay. Time stream altered. Time stream Check altered out. again. Is it. Do we do it? Done? Looks like we did a pretty good job patching up that cigarette burn on the fabric of reality. Yeah, that's right, ladies. Come on up and give Daddy Max Time Fixer some sugar. You're a lovably lecherous tool, Max. There's Sam and Max. Now you've seen just how dangerous it is to mess with T-H-E-M. Dangerous? All that stuff we just fixed was your fault. <laughs> Shut up! All right, let's go home. How do we get out of here? Ah! They know we're here! Relax, Bosco. Oh, do we get the them reveal? Yeah, they're probably the grotesque but misunderstood kind of aliens who just come to Earth because they hate cows and fields of weed. Well, you two go first. I don't, we've never seen Bosco from like waist down before. Crossing 98% complete. Prepare to deliver on my mark. <gasps> it's it's T H E M. Oh, bienvenidos, amigos. We've never seen you from the waist down. What you know? are you guys doing here? We can explain everything quickly and simply. No, that is not our way. <coughs> what the fuck is happening? Don't we have frogs? Aren't they frog mariachis? They're frogs, right? Suck. 
Are they gonna they're gonna kill Bosco? Is he oh, dead? Oh the cow man has had a heart attack. Bosco's dead. Oh well. Begin the soul crouching. So, as I was saying, we had to sit and stare at nothing for one thousand years straight. Help me, Sam and Max! Okay. Um. 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 The suck button. It says suck. By the looks of this place, somebody's been pushing the hell out of it. Time controls. Looks like some weird clock. It can take hundreds of years to cross a soul, senor. So we make the time vortex to speed things along. Uh, why are we not being like? Look here, Pedro. Reprimanded Pedro. or something. Pedro, boy, you people from the past are backwards. You think just because I'm mariachi with a big sombrero and mustache, I'm some two-dimensional cultural stereotype? You're right. I've been insensitive. We're Sam and Max, freelance police. What's your name? <laughs> I'm just kidding. My name really is Pedro. You've got to free Bosco, you maniacs. Nothing personal, but... Yeah, that rumor! Uh, rumor just went by. That was a lot of rumor. We were to pick up two souls in Germany, but we only got the one. The cowman will fill our quota. Where are the cages? Well, if you're delivering trapped souls, where are the cages? Cages? We don't got no cages. We don't have to show you any stinking cages. We keep the souls on that platform, see? Yeah, but where do they go after that? You guys are pure evil. Oh, that's not nice. We're not evil. And after we deliver the cowman's soul, we'll have paid for the spaceship. And then but you can quit. Paying? Oh, no, senor. There's still so much for us to do with our time machine. So many deep questions left to answer. Like, what about the far, far future? How will I die? I can find out. I can think of a few ways. And what is it like at the beginning of time, before history was written? Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Chicken. Egg. egg. It's the egg. I have it in my inventory. See, I must keep on until I find out for sure. Egg. Here, I got the egg. See you later, guys. It's right here. Hey, check this out. What is that? It's from uh, the beginning of. Uh... Keep cool, Sam. Oh, I got it. This. It's the egg. It's from the beginning of the universe. You're a terrible liar, Senor Perro. All right, I admit it. Now, do you understand why I wouldn't make you vice president? Dead on the ground. Poor Bosco. The horror of time traveling mariachis was too much for his can, how do we, to how, bear. Can we use this machine still? No, sir. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. It worked! The birth dater doesn't work on these guys no. for some reason. Hey, a portable birthday checker. Pretty clever. How come it doesn't work on you? The mariachi can never have a birthday for himself. It is our curse. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, what's over here? Bridge button. Attempt to enter soul-crushing area. Please acknowledge. Override, Captain Pedro. Arriba, burro, chipotle. Voice print match. Bridge override accepted. I had a feeling those mariachis stop wouldn't just stand this? by and let us take Bosco's soul back. How do we stop him from doing this? Can I scan the soul? Scan these? Nope. You. Nuh -uh. You in the Not back. Happening. You right no there. Uh, what's this photo? It may look like a zebra, but my Mexican friends assure me it's a donkey in zebra clothing. Okay. 
Do I want to spend money for items? AI, the cake, the cork? What's this? Printer? It's some weird alien device that. Oops, so fine. Why not again? Just leave it. Seems like everything on this ship just falls apart these days. Hmm, it looks like some kind of futuristic ink low ribbon printer. It's an ink ribbon for the printer. Please don't touch don't that. Don't I have one of those? I just have to change it again. I had an ink ribbon before. All right, screwdriver, gun, cork. Nah. S stuff it in there. Shoot it. Break it. Come on. AI egg. Cake. Nothing doing. Screwdriver. I really don't want to screw that. Hey, don't. Don't touch that. Don't touch that. Don't touch that. It's the Mariachi's colorful piñata. Steel piñatas? Steel! The people of the future are kind of missing the point. Steel piñata? What the hell? Um... Alright, I'm just gonna leave. Can, do I, can I just leave? Putting course on screen. Hefe's log. We are on course for our most difficult mission yet. Triplets! Keep the time shuttle open for emergencies while I figure out how we tackle this. Wait, what? Most dangerous boss day. Whatever. Issuing time card for embarrassing idol. Oh shit, the final time card. Go, 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 quick, run, run, sprint. It has the embarrassing idol logo and more of those strange numbers. Nah, mutiny. What? The. Whee! They're killing Bosco! They're killing Bosco. I had to at least see. Let's go. <laughs> He's already dead. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I want. Oh, it's Hajjak Ato. Oh, man, that song is even worse than I remembered. I can't believe I voted for you. Keep it down, Max. We don't want to mess up time any more than we already have. You really nailed that high note. Whoa. And you're less sloppy than my brother is. You've got my vote. Hey! All of the remaining judges well, have agreed. We have, to... we have a winner. No. Congratulations, Sam. Here's your recording contract. Bin Bottom Records. It's like a dream come true. Specs, I'll get you for this if it's the last thing I do. Right after I get back from Mount Rushmore. Rushmore? I'd better go after him. I just remembered. I have to feed my goldfish. Are we still taping? Uh, be sure to join us. That's our cue, little buddy. Sick him. Uh, don't forget. You don't forget Sam to feed your goldfish. And Max, listen to our words. I have a time. Hey, look, have a day. Sam. Every day. I have the time. You do it routine. You don't just do it whenever. Who are you clowns? We're you guys from your distant future. Heed our dire warnings. I always thought I'd be taller. What are you guys doing here? Um. Congratulations on your recent embarrassing idol victory. Now hand over that contract. No chance. We need it. But that's supposed to be my contract. I won it fair <laughs> and square. And I helped him cheat. <laughs> Forget it, clones. That contract is ours. Now take a hike. Beware Santa Claus. And Mr. Spatula. And Hugh Bliss. That's no, you just ruined the game. Tried to kill us. This could take a while. Nonsense. Yeah, all those guys are our friends. You just did the thing. You just told me all the answers. Got any questions about your immediate future? Hmm. Nope, can't think of any. What number am I thinking of right now? 28. That's all? There's nothing you're curious about? We'd rather see it for ourselves. Keeps the mystery in our relationship. <laughs> okay, well. We just came to say hello. 
somebody's got trouble letting go of the past. So I'll be glad when I grow out of that attitude problem. All right. Well, hello. Okay, that's done. <laughs> Let's get back to our time machine, Max. Yeah, I've seen more than enough of this place for one lifetime. Time machine? Oh, cool. Wait a minute. Where to, little buddy? Just hit random buttons. Uh. You just let him go in? Well. So, that's bad, right? Yep. What? Oh boy! In the future, we've got our own spaceship! And our own industrious and no doubt completely legally hired crew. Incoming delivery. Entrega entrante. You jerks! You made How us go we... through the last year and a half all over again. <laughs> Stand aside, <laughs> decadent future versions of ourselves. Yeah, we've got a very important case to solve here. We had to do it all again. So wait, what the hell are we all doing here? I want to ask, ask you something. something. <laughs> hey, pal, I'll ask the questions here. But this oh, is freaking right, me out. Ahead. What is he waiting for? Be patient, Max. It takes a while to think up the right thing to say. Max and I have to get to the moon. How do we get there? You have to get to the moon? You drive to the moon. Yeah, you just drive. Why don't you just drive there? You can't just drive to the moon, bonehead. Sheesh, Sam. Our future selves have no respect for plausibility. You need a toaster with wings. All right. Where do we get one of those? <laughs> Uh, you got... <laughs> You need a toaster with wings. You need to go ask Stinky in the early 80s. Uh, no, you need to... Just room your way there. No, you need to go to Super Bowl? No. Super Bowl, yes. Ask Agent Super Bowl in the future. Well, there's two hours we're never getting back. Just between you and me, pal, I don't think those future versions of us know what they're doing. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I've got a question. Ask away. How can okay, we get to the moon? Okay, how do we get to the moon? You, uh... Take a really big trampoline? You need a really big trampoline. All right. Where do we get one of those? Oh, there was a wait. Was it was there a down arrow? Ask Mama Bosco in the city. Why do we keep listening to future us? Hey, hey buddy, come here, hey buddy. I've got a question. How can we? Get How do you get to the moon? Okay. I, holy shit, there's a lot. All right, the heart. You need the heart of a champion. You need a twenty-pound can of beans. You need a time-traveling phone booth. We need, how do you get to the moon? How did we get to the moon? You need a time traveling phone booth. All right. Where do yeah, we get? Didn't one of we those? just drive? Ask Agent Super Bowl in the future. What is this place? All right, memory wipe. This Good. is not our beautiful house. How, how did we get here? Yeah, because he does like the men in black thing where he... Doom! Do I know you? How do we like fix this? Brother. Weren't you going to ask me something? How to get to the moon, for instance. Oh, right. How do we get there? You just drive. <laughs> You drive. <laughs> you need a screwdriver. <laughs> you need a screwdriver. All right. <laughs> Where do we get one of those? You got to go to Stinkies in the 80s for that. Well, actually, no, take mine. We've got one. We'll trade you for a recording contract. Hey, Sam. Don't we have a recording contract? 
Yeah, but we need it for. Um, uh, huh, I can't remember. Stonkies. It must be important. Stankies. Still be Did I say stonkies? You kept it so you could no, bring I didn't. I said stinkies. Right? I guess so. Along with that carton of missile pops you promised. Don't push it, Max. All right. Here you go. Well done, Sam and Max. That was the last of your quests. You have scored 234 out of a possible 500 points. Weren't you going to trade us something? Uh, yeah. Here's that screwdriver you guys wanted. Goodbye. So we'll we have never forget contract. all you've done here today. Have fun on the rest of your adventures. I'm even more confused than usual. So then, now, Whee! look what I got. I've got something here. Do you see what's in my hand? Here you go, Captain. Your ticket to musical stardom. My very own recording contract. Now I can ditch this dead weight and become the international superstar. A mariachi superstar. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Oh, no, senor. Mariachi music is old news. I'm going to sing songs about trains. What? What about the other? Wait, can we? Appears to be made of the finest leather from only the finest in mutilated cattle. All right, well, what about the other, um... What's your job around here, buddy? Shh! Quiet, senor. Did someone say... Oh, no. False alarm. Worst day of my life? Let me guess. You spend all your time listening for people to say birthday, okay? Did someone say birthday? Yeah, Sam just said birthday. Please, senors, my job is very important. Okay. This work is beneath you. It's tedious and error prone. Frankly, we think you should leave. Nonsense. I have got six of the birthdays today alone. Six. The look of happiness and utter confusion. That's all the birthdays. Makes That's all the birthdays that exist. Wild. We demand you return our pal Bosco's soul. I can't do that, senor. The cowman's soul will help us pay for our mission. Why do you hate the birthday so much? Hey, Max, say Earth Day. Hey, Max, what happens on April 22nd? Hmm, I think that's Earth Day. Okay. <laughs> Showtime, people. Attention. Wait, did you make the joke on me, huh? Pretty snacky. Uh, hey, tell me about Western Australia. Max, what do Australians celebrate on June 11th every year? Hmm, by any chance, would that be Perth Day? Did someone say... Got me again. Hey, let's Max. Want to go watch Pride and Prejudice and all the Bridget Jones Diary movies back to back? You know it, girlfriend. It'll be our Colin Firth Day. Did someone say, Oh, your guys. How many times are we going to do this? All right, so. Sayonara. Okay. The so we need dog the... said goodbye. So we need to, where's the speaker the device? The use it to listen across time and space for special occasions. So we have to bring this guy away to a birthday. It's the elevator's emergency recall button. How do we, how do we get another, I need a birthday. Somebody's birthday? Uh, whose birthday is it? He doesn't need to be screwed. Can I, who is I need to find a birthday, but it doesn't Hmm, it is doesn't it your seem birthday to work on these guys. I need a birthday. Shit. Is it on the... Hold on. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Where is it? Wait, 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 wait. I think... Finally getting the hang of this time travel stuff. 
Let us change the course of time without fear or confusion. Is somebody's birthday Let's on here? Let's change the national day. Today, sticky notes. Today. The official date has no, been no, no, changed. No, wait. Is it an so anniversary? It written, so it shall be. Nobody's birthday is on here? The God damn it. Is today your hey, birthday? Ball, is today your birthday by any chance? No, sir. Not particularly. How do we find out his birthday? Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. Are we about to brute force the birthday? No. What the about new right here? The official date is September 12th. That's sweet. The president left a reminder for his anniversary. By J. Hat. Good advice for anyone's anniversary. Is it your birthday today? I mean, like, cake and ice cream and be honest, right? Hey, Super Bowl, is today your birthday by any chance? No, sir. Not particularly. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. No, um... Do you have, like, a card or something? Where are we? Here? We're already there. 17? The official date has been changed. Happy birthday. Hey, Super Bowl, is today your birthday by any chance? No, sir. Not particularly. What? We need... What will... Just... Gladly. Keep up the good work. Thank you. This is 1963-09-17. That's not your birthday? According to that letter, What the fuck? Oh, god damn it. The official. Happy birthday. Hey, Super Bowl, what day is it today? It's the 6th of September, sir. It's my birthday. I said, it's my birthday. So, how can we like to travel? Sorry I'm late, amigos. Did someone say, gotta stay? Alright, what do we do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I don't know what to do. Ah! Uh, kill him? Push him out the window. Wait up, guys. I'll be there in just a minute. Oh, no. Gracias for the song, senor. This has been the best birthday ever. Oh, he's gone. Okay. <laughs> we just can never go back there ever again. That doesn't need to be the made radioactive. Use it to listen across time and. Oh, there's only like, there's one more. Even in the future, they get reruns. So how do I get this guy to leave? Can we do anything else with you guys? Hey, future me, I've got a question. Go ahead. Uh, what are we doing here again? We all agreed you were going to stand out of our way and play the quiet game for a while. We'll take the case. There's one last thing in here. I can't use wait. a harpsichord with that. Can I talk to him? Wait, where's the, where's the other Max? You, come here. It's last year's version of Max. The egg, yeah. I can't shoot future me. But I don't think I can... 
No, I can't like scan the egg. I mean, I was handing him the egg. Scan, I, yeah, what, what do you mean scan the egg? I can't scan the egg. I tried to shoot you. Is that what happened? <laughs> I can't shoot him. <laughs> I thought that was me, because I was taking out the... I thought it was like a bug in the game. <laughs> I don't know, for, I clicked on this, I thought I... <laughs> he was trying to kill me. Alright. I can't shoot future me. <laughs> Somebody's controlling him right now. Okay. We've got... You've got deep questions. You don't seem like a bad guy, Pedro. Quit this evil job. I told you, senor. I can't quit. At least until I found all the answers. Like, how do I die? And which came first? The chicken or the, the egg? Chicken or the egg? Uh... What do I have to do with this egg? Do, do, hold on. Past chat is going crazy. I want to see that chat room right now. How much they're laughing. Hey, can I... Can, can I show you this egg? You remember the egg? No. No, you don't know what the egg is. How did I get? Hold on. No way. I'm never going back there Can't again. Can't go back there. This is the office. Let me look at just the these things here again. What a red fridge here. <laughs> this says suck. By the looks of this place. Why? What a callback. It controls the time vortex around the soul crushing area or something. <laughs> ah! Fuck, I'm stuck. Wait, 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 wait. Egg? Egg in the machine? Egg in this in the printer? Nah. I don't know. Egg in the printer? It keeps showing me the pinata. We'd like to get a time card, please. Issuing time card for embarrassing idle. I already have one of these. Uh, we really don't need another embarrassing idle time card. Toner low. PC load time card. What? We'd like to get a time card, please. Issuing time card for embarrassment. Uh, we really don't need enough. Toner low. I need PC low. I need that ink. So long. Get. Uh, I gotta get that ink. I need a car. I need to make a. Mm. I need a um cake tar can I put it, put the, can I put the tar in there Hmm the Printer has low ink Hey don't touch that I just changed it No you didn't it's it's low. You you're wrong. Not happening. Oh, hold on. Okay. Try it. 
Is it gonna work? Senor Perro, this is very sensitive equipment. Get out of here. Get out of the way. Can I talk to anything else in here? Egg! What are you guys I'll doing? throw the egg in the Bermuda we Triangle. Right after the volcano erupted. Obviously, it was a signal flare for the carvers to come get us. See, we're not so good with the direction. Throw the egg. Come on. Nope. No way. Nothing doing. Shit. Hey, pal. Must be nice finally getting out of that dirt after a thousand years. <laughs> He's been buried all that time? That's so sad. It's shrinking. Funny seeing you guys here again. If there's nothing funny about it, it's what we were carved to do. Hey, lighten up on Sam and Mac. Oh, you're one to talk, Mr. One Offensive Stereotype after the next. Now you're just being mean. They're shrinking him. Uh, he's got like a there's like a zebra here. It may here. look like a zebra, but my Mexican. Uh, the bridge that doesn't do anything. Attempt to enter soul crushing area. Please acknowledge. Override in San Pedro. Voice print match. Voice print bridge match. Override. Do I need the? What about that bug that can talk? Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I gotta get this it's down. Mariachi's colorful. How do I get it down? I can't shoot it it's steel. How do I get it down? No way. And I can't shoot it. Nope, there's no. I can't shoot anything, can't like drop the string. Focusing the camera on that thing so many times. Appears to be made of the finest leather from only the finest and mutilated cattle. Mm. Still haven't figured out what to do with the cork. Let me see, let's go back here. I haven't been here in a while. Anything? See, like, that's, I thought they were like frogs or something. So, it was foreshadowing all along. See, that's what I was talking about. Um, it's the model volcano that started this whole mess. It was very thoughtful of future us to bring it back as a souvenir. What's that do? Nah. It's for the good of the future, Max. What's that do? Time stream altered. What did that do? Check out. What's this do? What does that do? What did I just do? It's the model volcano. What did I do? Wait a minute. What did I do? What happened? It's Bosco's model volcano, safely sealed up. It's sealed up. <laughs> it's just sealed up. What? Looks like our trusty bulletin board is still in good shape. What? Somebody died? Local mariachi Pedro died this week due to complications from inhaling ink ribbon fumes. What a waste. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. That's how I get him out of the room. Not much use for this anymore. I say you're going to get... Ink poisoning. So long. Alright, let's go warn him. He's gonna run. Uh, 
It's just, we got it. Game over. It's one of his questions? Yeah, I never. I've, I didn't know I have to had to bring him like his it's own obituary. It was like a little thing on the bulletin board. Yeah, so what was the purpose of the ink ribbon last episode? Good news, senor. We found the gruesome details of your horrible demise. Oi, what a stupid way to die. Uh, I can think of stupider ways. <laughs> and I could help. Kind of makes you want to quit your job, huh? Oh, no. There no. are so many big No, the egg thing again. Fucking Jesus. But screw that stupid printer. Oh, no. He doesn't care about the printer. Good. Nobody's going to need this worthless ink ribbon. Okay, there's the oh. ink. Hey, you can't just throw litter into the time vortex. Yeah, Sam. Somewhere a time-traveling Native American is crying. Where did it land? At the rate we're going, carry the trace. Last month at the castle in Germany. Oh. Okay. Nothing doing. Well, there you go. I was just no. talking about how useless that item was, wasn't I? Well, okay. Timing, I guess. <laughs> so now... We'd like to get a time no... card, please. Can I get a time card for embarrassing idol? It's blank. So long. Get lost. Blank time card. Wait. What does this do? Can I put it as anything? Uh. What is it? What the hell? Just look at it, Max. Eh, uh, what am I looking at exactly? Everything. Our entire universe. Before the creation of matter and energy and quantum <laughs> particles or something. I'll touch it's it. It's at this spot that everything you know, or will ever know, will be Mr. Featherly. Oh, hey guys. What? That's the singularity from which the entire universe is going to spring in a mind-bendingly tremendous what? cataclysm. Oh, the chicken is the chicken is here. The chicken came first. We need proof. Mr. Featherly, Sam and Max? Are you really the oldest living creature in existence? Or are you the last of a race of terrifying elder gods bent on restoring chaos to our upstart universe? Neither. I assure you I arrived here quite by accident. How do you like it here Why did around it take the me singularity? So long? I thought dinner theater was... in Ocala, Florida was mm -hmm. dull, I was busy paying attention to like the singularity. To nothing. Being here at the start of it all can't be all bad. Well, I will give it one thing. The acoustics are outstanding. How'd you get here? I was filming the climactic volcanic eruption scene in Midtown Cowboys, the motion picture. Suddenly, I found myself abducted onto some type of alien spacecraft. After a frightfully amateurish song and dance number, I was deposited unceremoniously into the beginning of the universe. Oh, that old story. The Midtown Cowboys wait, movie. Wait, wait, wait. There's a Midtown Cowboys movie? Uh, yes, well, I'm sure we were going to call you, but we decided to go in a different direction. Oh, we have got to get a new agent, Sam. Right, Why don't go. you come with us, Mr. Featherly? I'm sorry. I can't let you do that, Sam and Max. That chicken is the source of all life in the universe. Can we at least take a photo? Removing him would cause a catastrophic temporal paradox. 
catastrophic temporal paradox. <laughs> Mr. Featherly's not the only chicken around here. Hmm. Apparently I am. And there's the rub. Oh, that's so cool. That's a wicked awesome reference. That's to Star Fox. Can't let you do that, Star Fox. That's so awesome. Come back to existence with us, Mr. F. It appears I cannot leave without violating the laws of the universe. You'll have to find a stand-in. See you around, Mr. Featherly. Probably not, Sam, since he'll be long dead before we're even born. That's from 2001 A Space Odyssey! Use, Philo. Strangle him! Strangle him! You've been doing a good job, Mr. Featherly, but we decided to cast someone younger. Very well. As long as I can leave this accursed... Uh, wait! What are you doing? Put me down at once! Suck it up, Featherly. It only takes a day or two to get used to Sam's caustic B.O. Curse you, Max and Sam! Time stream altered. Jackass. Okay, so the egg is just there. So now let me prove that this egg is real. Wait, don't I throw the egg? Let me prove that the chicken is the first thing. How is this going to prove it, though? So the egg did come first, but the egg is the first thing. So why would I bring the chicken there? It's the time elevator. Put me down at once! Not yet, man. Wait, where are you going? <laughs> he's, he's just with us? He's just with us right now. Okay, well. Can we do this? Hey, look. Dear God, man! Do you ever wash that coat? ¿Qué onda con el pollo? He's from before time began. Yeah, turns out the chicken came first. Hmm, it makes no sense. If that's the chicken, what's there and now? Well, we left an egg. Likely story. I love <laughs> to see that egg. But, 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 I'm just kidding. Boy, you past people are so gullible. Wait, 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 no! Don't put me back in there! <laughs> Any more questions about the nature of our existence? No, the chicken was the big one. Vaya con Dios, right, bye. Maxi Sam. See you later. Now the spaceship is ours to command. Ensign Sam, set course for ancient Rome. Our mission, to hunt Caligula. Stop goofing off, Max. We've got to extend that bridge and return Bosco's soul. What's happening? I don't want to go! Oh no, he's through. Whoops. Great. Now we'll have to figure out how to get all up in there. Check this out, Max. A thousand years spent shivering in Antrush. We're stopping time? You stopped time! Neat! Now make it go backwards. Ration. Ow! <sighs> That's the best I can do, pal. Oh, yeah? You sure about that? Slow it down with the molasses. A thousand years spent shivering in Antrush. All right, now. Don't do anything while time is frozen. Time is now frozen. Can I turn? I can turn this on. Let's turn this on. Attempt to enter soul crushing area. Please acknowledge. But if we time was frozen, just make with the bridge already. All right, all right. How would this be happening? Bridge. This wouldn't be able to move. Hola, Sam y Max. You don't know us, but we are time traveling mariachis with a warning from the future. Whatever you do, do not extend that bridge. Bridge extended. Uh-oh. Foreign body in time vortex. <laughs> Self-destruct sequence engaged. 
That was better than you. That was really late. Let's get out of here. They dumped him over there. We could cover some more birthdays. Okay, Pedro, you take the bog in the diner. Pedro, you take the statue-loving lady on Easter Island. I'll take the monster. Oh, yeah. Good luck, Maxi-san. So, now we have to get up. Uh... Oh, that's the ship. Setting course for the beginning of the universe. Total destruction imminent. Please evacuate immediately. Evacuate. So, Sam, is I, now I gotta a good save the time game. to start pulling my hair out and wetting myself in panic? Knock yourself out, pal. Better hurry, though. No! It's a rat movie. <laughs> okay. We gotta get out. Hmm. The soul vacuum's only strong enough to suck Bosco's corpse up halfway. They can make a time-traveling spaceship, but they can't invent an interdimensional like portal that doesn't lose through? suction. Okay, you're gonna only go halfway. Can I speed up time or something? So I say, no, I'm not going to start an earthquake, and he's all... Whatever, and I'm all, what does that mean? Well, that's the kind of fun that doesn't last. Okay, so this is not strong. Oof. What do I have? I got... Purple AI. Can I do the tar again? Uh, will, this, will this help at all? Oops. So what? Suck, I can do, do suck. Anything while time is frozen. Okay. So get him up there and then freeze and then suck again. It won't do anything. Well, I kind of have to wait. What if I just walk over here? No. Okay. Here we go. So suck him up. Freeze. Suck him up. So I say, no, I'm not going to start an earthquake Just, and that freezes freeze everything. All. So then I can't do it again. It's this already sucking. Like, can I go over there? No, it's going to unfreeze. I don't think I can get over there. Wait, 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 what just happened? Wait, 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 hold on a second. I can get over there. Let me see what happens. So I s Yeah, okay. Approaching beginning of the universe. Destruction imminent. Go, little buddy. It's now or never. Where do you think this portal Get up there. goes? Anywhere that's not on a spaceship set to self-destruct and hurtling towards the beginning of the universe. All right, Sam. If this doesn't work, I'll see you in hell! What about Bosco? Okay, I was gonna say, you can't just leave Bosco out there, that's bullshit. Chariots of the Dogs. I think it's, um, 
Somebody said there's an after credits thing. We'll wait. We've got a huge cliffhanger. Yeah, they have to, we have to what, what about the egg? You got the bad ending. <laughs> it's real quiet in here. It's fucking quiet in here, man. Uh -oh. So, um, I, uh, what did you guys do this weekend? Did you do anything? Uh, I guess. Moan really loud. E no. Why would I ever do that? I watched this guy stream. His name is German985. <laughs> Why would I read that? I don't know. Why the hell would I? There's no reason on earth. That was fun, though. That was a. I like uh, time travel shit. It's interesting. It's fun how people do time travel stuff and they try to make it work. Alright, let's see. <laughs> you hit the singularity. Uh-oh, that's not good. Get off your phone! <laughs> I was just checking the- I was just checking the time. Wait. What happened? Did the game crashed? No, the game- yeah, it crashed when I hit the- Huh? No. Get off your phone. It's the end of the movie. The credits are rolling. People like at the very end of the movie, the credits roll. People start getting up. They pick, they take their phones up. They haven't looked at it in like three, four hours. Did I actually miss something? Like the game just, the game actually crashed. No, I didn't miss anything. You leave before the credit scene? No, I don't. I just like, you, you, people start stretching, they start moving around. Don't be that guy. The movie's over. The credits roll and people are getting up from their seats and making sure they have all their stuff. Sorry, I'm, ru I, I, I'm, I'm ruining you reading the guy's names? Not the people getting up, standing up, going, oh, that, whoa, dude, that was fucking awesome. Did you, I love that part when he, yeah, when, when he flew, no, that was awesome, yeah, me too. When you, are you hungry? No, but me taking my phone up and looking at it for a second is bad. At the end of the movie when the credits are rolling on the screen. What has gotten into you? What's gotten into you all? I bet I'm, uh, jokes aside, did I actually really... Did I actually miss something at the end because the game crashed, or is that supposed to happen? Okay, so I, where, where's our loading screen here? What happened to all my saves? Put me down at... Wait, where are you going? 
You missed the quick time event. <laughs> no, I didn't. But yes, the, but there is something. Am I getting? I'm just being lied to. All right. Well then, why are you doing this? I, I'd, everyone said that I missed something because the game crashed. I I just asking if there's anything after the credits because the 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 client literally closed. The client closed. It like broke. That was the joke. Yeah, I don't know, but like Twitch chat's like, you idiot, you missed it, you're crazy, you're stupid. Oh, I have to check. Go crazy, go stupid. <laughs> All right, that's gonna be it for tonight. That's a solid place to stop, I think. That's a major cliffhanger for the next time. And those of you that are saying, well, there's only one episode left, just do it now. Well, I've kind of had this, uh, this way to do it. And if you think about it, it's actually a pretty good idea because I don't ever play just one episode like of Sam and Max. Leaving one episode means that I'm going to start the other season. If I were to do it now, I maybe I could just be like, Oh, that's it. Uh, Sam and Max season three. I'll do it like a few weeks. You know what I mean? Doesn't that kind of make it so we do the third season? Because I wouldn't do just do like one episode. I don't know, you know? He's bribing us. Now, six hours is, is a good stream, because then we'll do the bits and everything gets us to like, you know, seven hours, just about. I'll be live tomorrow, don't worry. Because another episode will take us to like a nine hour stream, and I'm, I don't have the energy for like nine plus straight hours. Not today. Because each episode takes us about two and a half to three hours. Because, you know, I, we talk about stuff, we'll stop, we'll go off on, you know, talking about things, doing things. I don't think I have it in me for like a ten hour stream right now. But I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to play... Uh, Heroes of Might and Magic 3 is the plan. So that should be really fun. I'm really looking forward to that. I think this, you know, I'll, I'm going to give you a prediction here. I think the Heroes of Might and Magic 3 streams tomorrow are going to be... I. I think a lot of material available in here. I think some of your favorite characters of the year might show up here. I'm just throwing that out there. It's possible. There are so many weird characters and weird creatures in these games. You're gonna get, you're gonna get attached to one of them. But mo no, I'm not gonna do any multiplayer. Single player. Can you can you even do multiplayer in the original Might and Magic three? Don't you have to play that like over like a land? I don't think so. But it should be a lot of fun. We're just on a black screen right now. We shouldn't be. Uh, another really really good important thing here. Um, the internet didn't drop out at all. Really, I dropped six hundred frames in six hours. That's really really good. Hopefully we can pray to the internet gods that this is going to work. 
And um, another thing I wanted to ask. So, Heroes of Might, Ma Might Magic 3 had a remake. And apparently it's kind of not good. Let me see. Is it on Steam? Or is it on uh, Good Old Games? Yeah, it's on Steam. Here's a My Magic 3 HD edition. Am, am I crazy to say that I shouldn't get this? Because this version is bad. And like, fucked up. Just get the one from GOG. The GOG one is, is actually better. Okay. Yeah, I'll just get it from GOG. Doesn't have any of the expansions or anything either. What resolution does it run in, I wonder? Because it is a very old game. But I'll, probably, I'll just get it from GOG. I'm really look. I haven't played this in a long time, and I love this game. So, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. Should be a lot of fun. But Sam and Max, I will complete season two, and we'll move on to season three. I don't see why we wouldn't just do them. At least just do all three seasons. I don't know if I'm gonna do the other ones. I know people are like, oh, there's all oh, this one. There's like, hit the road. There's Sam and Max. Go to hell! There's Sam and Max. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do them all. I at least want to get through like the three seasons of the original Sam and Max, and then take it from there. I also don't want to like overdo it, where Sam and Max is like every single week. You know, I feel like people would start to get exhausted of Sam and Max's. Half the streams are Sam and Max at that point. I feel like people would just be like, oh, can you do anything else? So, I don't want to like exhaust it and have people not want to see it. So, we'll see. But anyways, uh, we're going to do the bits and the subs and everything. So, thanks for watching everybody. See you tomorrow. Uh, with Sam Max, that time travel episode was great. Hit a lot of notes for me. It was like really funny too. Like the the first like hour of that game was like fucking really funny. So I think that was that was a good one. It was very good. But six hours ago. We had uh, two dolls. In oh, by the way, starting at the regular time tomorrow. I just had um, some stuff I had to get done today. So I wasn't really, I couldn't start it like between three and four. I had to go at like 4.15, 4.20 or something. But tomorrow, it'll start normal. Probably like, you know, in that three to four, like 3.30ish kind of range. I won't be starting late tomorrow. There's no reason why I would be. So normal time tomorrow. But thank you, Invader Z, for the $2.55. Just wanted to thank you because you always cheer me up when I'm down, even if I only am able to watch pre-recorded stuff. Thank you, Jermo. Really, wait. Didn't I, I did this? Why is it showing up from today? That was from a few days ago. That's weird. Well, thank you. Thank you for that. From a few days ago, too. Mr. Comcast, thanks for the three bucks. I wrote you an end of stream song. No instrumentals, though. Sorry, here it is. So it's the end of the stream. I hope you had fun. Laughs and goofs, we sure had a ton. But now it's time for the bits we will read. I need you all to behave. Your silence I will need. So snuggle up in bed and turn off your nightlight. There's no Kim in my closet. I checked, it's all right. For those of you leaving, I think you are lame. Watch tomorrow's stream because we're playing a porn game. <laughs> That's pretty good. Pretty good. I like it. I like it. 
Thank you for the three dollars. Thank you, some guy, for the five dollars. So much for my sleep rhythm, Jeremy Pluto. Uh, anyways, here's a meme video. Sometimes you just have to take a you risk. Anything about a door. What are you doing? Sometimes, princess. Sometimes you just have to take a risk. <gasps> I don't understand why this is here. It... Why does the green goblin come out here? You want to put it on screen? All right, well, let's break this one down. Wait, this is Disney footage. Now I'll go to jail for like the rest of my life. Mm-mm. Man, what's going on with the screen? Why is this... <laughs> this is like 4,000 by like 880. Why is it doing this? What is this resolution? Feed your guild members and stream legends. I'll give you, I'll feed you, don't worry. We'll do it at the very end. Actually, no, I'll do it now. I'll do it. No, that's Nightbot was telling me that. N Nightbot, stop. I, could, you want to some, I've reacted to that before too. Somebody said, please feed you. I was like, oh, I will, I will. I gotta remember to do that. I, that was also Nightbot. I thought that was somebody in chat saying that. You do the command. <laughs> that's fucking funny. <laughs> uh, but thank you, Dork Cube, for the 250. Yo, Germa, I just got my first paycheck from my new job, so now I can give more bits guilt free. Anyways, I went back and watched the E3 streams today, and it gave me the warm fuzzies watching it again. Hope you'll do it again this year. Yeah. I'm still contemplating whether or not I might go to E3 this year. I'm not sure. It depends on a few factors. But, we'll see. It depends on a couple of things. Thank you, Dorky, for the 250, and uh, congrats on that new job. I always love the streams where we can just do whatever. They're, like, so much fun to me. Thank you for the 250. Uh, thank you, Saucy Bird, for the 250. Appreciate your streams a lot. Can you do a Larry David impression? Okay. What, what, what are you doing? No, hold on. What are you doing? Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Thank you for the 250. That's old man Adam Sandler. <laughs> I actually could do a Larry David, but I'm like I'm a little winded for some reason. That sounded like Seinfeld, where they both very worked very closely together. A lot of Seinfeld's humor actually is Larry David. I'm not sure how many of you guys know that. You learn something every day. Go watch Curb Your Enthusiasm. It's the best show. It's it's like the top two best shows on television that are comedies. Everyone knows that? There's at least five people here that didn't. What's number one? It's impossible. I can't tell you. It's like top three, top two. I wouldn't be able to give you a number one. Always Sunny in Philadelphia, that's up there, yep. That's, a, that's in the top two. Um, that's Kirby Enthusiasm and Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Those are the best two TV shows I ever made. That were like comedies, yeah. That, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. 
South Park? Oh, shit. Yeah, that, mm, uh-uh. That's up there. That is. But no, I wouldn't say top two. I think South Park, maybe South Park five, ten years ago. I really, really liked. I was, was super into it. I haven't really watched um, much of the newer seasons. But I would have to argue that the first... Like, the, the yeah, that somebody just said the first ten years, yeah. VR Josh, yeah, first ten seasons of South Park were, yeah, they were really great, they were awesome. Are we talking about cartoons? Um... No, I think just in general. The new seasons were great, I just I haven't seen them. I've seen a few episodes from the... I've like scattered them around. Of the last three seasons or four seasons, I've probably seen maybe six or seven episodes. Yeah, these are like just favorite shows that are like comedies. I would say my favorite TV show ever made was Game of Thrones. I don't think I would say that anymore. Um, I'm not sure I would say that's the best show I've ever seen anymore. Breaking Bad is like up there for like just shows that are great that need to be watched. Game what? What's everyone freaking out? Better Call Saul. It is that, that I, I gotta see the newer seasons that I watched seasons one and seasons two of Better Call Saul. And I thought it was fantastic. I just didn't get the up. I just haven't had like the time. I, I kind of season three came out and I just didn't watch it. I want to though. It's kind of on the list of never ending TV shows. Did you enjoy Russell Peters or Dave Chappelle? Oh, I love Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle is fucking hysterical. His old TV show on Comedy Central is is just he's a just brilliant comedian. I do have to check out Chernobyl. That's true. I've heard it's insane. I've heard it's like the best show ever. I have to watch it. There's a lot of just good TV, huh? Talk about Chernobyl, the new HBO show. You're my favorite TV show. Wow. Thank you. That's so like, no, oh, thank, that's, thank you. Damn, that like, I feel like great. What the heck? I feel fucking fantastic right now. Thank you though, no, for real. That's, that's very touching. I'm blushing. <laughs> but hey, thank you to uh, Gnarly for the $5. Here's five bucks, give me the straw. No, this thing would probably go for like a couple thousand. If I did it on camera, if I, off camera I said, hey, here's a straw that I put in my mouth, I don't think it would go for very much. On camera, if I like stuck it in there and like bit it and pulled it out, you'd have a document. And if I signed it, like if I did something to it so you knew it was the right one, you'd have a documented Twitch clip of me doing that and having the thing written on it, so you'd be able to prove it. It would be asset backed. You know, like it would be an, an asset backed clip. What time do you usually start streaming? Uh, I don't have like a day schedule. I just usually both three or four times a week. Starting between three and four p.m. Pacific. 
It just happens about four times a week. Today I was a little bit later, but I've been, the last like two weeks, I've, I've been starting at like before 3.30. The last six or seven streams. At least the last two weeks I've started before like 3.30. It starts between 3 and 4 p.m. During that one hour window there. And the reason why that is a thing is having the one hour window makes it so if the stream happens after 4, it's like actually fucking late. I was actually really actually late today. But having that window means that I can't, because it, you guys have known this, you know, I've been streaming for like almost four, what, four or five fucking years now? Having a time, a hard time that's like 4 p.m., that means like 4.15 every time. So, like having that window of an hour is like, you can get in there. You can set it up, you can get your, your errands done, you can get your stuff for the day done and ready, and then, because essentially what happens is, you know, I'm here for six to eight hours, right? And this, uh, when I, oh, I'm gonna take a pee, it's like two minutes, you know? So the, you, you kind of have to get all your shit done like for the day before you start because you, you, I'm, I'm here. It's been six and a half hours just about, and I went pee once, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's, you, kind of have to get all your shit that like front loaded because sometimes if, if you stream for like eight you know seven eight nine hours which I think the average stream time of the stream is somewhere in like between like I think it's like six and a half to like seven and a half usually it's like a seven plus ish hour average for streams on this channel So that's just, that's like seven hours of, I can't like go do, you know, I can't like, hey, I'll see you later. I'm going to, I'm going to go like do this. I'm going to get like my tires rotated. I'll be back. You get to shit front loaded for the morning bathroom visits. <laughs> well, that's nothing like going to the bathroom. Here's like a streamer insider thing when I'm like to make this more clear. If I'm here for eight hours straight, what well, I, I don't like go to the bathroom. I can barely eat. So you have to like front load everything and have everything done before you start streaming because you know, you know, I'll go take like a piss and grab a water, but I, I'm, I'm not going to put like the be right backup screen up for like, 15 to 20, 30 minutes. You know? Because, well, why not? Because people leave. If you, if you hit that BRB button and you're gone for more than 5 minutes, 10 minutes, people just will be like, yeah, whatever, see you later. You know, it's like kind of one of those things you have to juggle between, like, do you want to have, like, a good straight stream or do you want to break it up, or some people do two streams a day, right? They stream for like three or four hours in the morning and then like three or four hours at night. I, I, I think that uh, I'm pretty sure like average stream time is not that long for most streams, isn't it? Don't, I'm thinking of most people that I know that stream like four to five hours is typical, usually. Like three, four, five hours max for a lot of streamers. Most are like three to four. Yeah, that sounds fun, yeah. But remember, I, I mean, I also only stream like three to four times a week. I'm not stream. I don't stream every day. So if I stream for six, seven, eight hours at a stream and I do it four times a week, kind of makes up for the fact that I don't do like a three to four hour stream five, six days a week. You know? 
All things to consider, right? But, uh, what, what the hell were we even talking about? Are we talking about front load and shit? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've just... Because we, we're talking about errands and... Sometimes if, like, something comes up that I have to get done and I need to do... Like, that it comes up in the day. It's like, oh, fuck, well... Kind of have to do it. What was my longest stream? The Simpsons? Uh... I don't know. 14 hours? I think it's the longest. 13, 14 hours. Seaman was like 12. Lifeline was 12. How long was Clock Tower? 10? Nine. I think Simpsons Hit and Run was eleven. <laughs> the PS2 voice game. I don't know how people. I know it's not a thing that people do that regularly, but streaming, even streaming more than more than eight to ten hours, and one stream, it's just you get so I get so like tired. Like, talking, you know, 10, 12 hours, you like, I feel like I'm gonna, my throat's gonna explode. I can't imagine, like, doing 10 plus hour streams. On, on a regular basis. Like, 12, eh, it was 15 hours yesterday. I would turn to dust. Streaming that long worries me. Yeah. I've, I've always been of the opinion, I mean, I remember, I come from YouTube. I, I like... I, I don't like to do, like, super long, 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 long form content. And I don't think I'm even capable of doing it. I... I have these, like, weird extreme moments of, like, super high energy, super low energy. So, if I do, like, a super high energy, you know, three, four hours, that gets just like, I'm... Alright. That was really fun. <laughs> but I never want to get to that point where I'm, like, pressing more than I should or want to. You know, just for the sake of having, like, a six to ten hour stream. I, I, I can't do it. And I don't, I don't want to do that either. Because then it starts to become... It starts to become something that I'm making myself do because I feel like I have to. When I think the best streams that we do here in this community, the best streams that I put on the channel are ones that I just, I'm just doing what I want to do. You know, looking at the clock and it's like, oh, it's been like seven and a half hours. I really should probably keep going. I should keep going. And you get tired and it's just not as fun and you're not as... I've had that mentality for a while. This <laughs> dude drugs. <laughs> because I remember, I want to try to give you guys the best that I know that I can try to do. I, I think I owe that to you to like try to give you the best stream I can do because I want to have the most fun and do the most. I don't want streams to turn into, like, phoned in, they have to be this certain length, and they have to be this certain day, and they have to be... Well, it's gotta be, like, ten hours, you have to. Because then it be it becomes that thing that is like, Oh, I, ha I have to stream this long! And it kind of puts a wrench into the everything that I like to do. Because the nature of, like, streaming and YouTube and... Is, you know, I, if, are you guys having fun? Or do you guys think the things are interesting or entertaining and... I, you, I can't, like, force myself to do that. I can't make myself, like, be entertaining. I just, I, I can't make these streams fun. I, I have to have fun. You know what I'm saying? 
Now, you guys know this. We we talk about this every you know few weeks. We kind of bring up something about it. You can't push your stuff for streaming. It's no longer fun. Yeah, I know. Then that, that's. I don't want to do that. Even if it's like to the detriment of. Like, oh no, my like. But what about like the money and the and the clout and the and the career and. No, I have to like doing this. I can't just like force myself to do it. I don't like. I have to enjoy it. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to do it. Oh, the clout. I need that clout. No, I don't. I could care less. Just be a tuber. Oh, wow. What a mood as fuck. No, you guys get it. I just, I feel like sometimes I like to talk about it because... I want you to like the streams. I want you to think this is a fun place. And I hope you, I, you guys say it is. Me forcing myself to do something is, is not going to be fun for anybody. For the sake of just being on camera longer or doing something in particular, uh, I, it's not going to work that way. But yeah, don't be forced. Yeah, I, I, I think I take the necessary steps to make that a thing that I don't do. Stop being wholesome and start being funny. <laughs> Uh, I like the variety of the games. Well, that's just because I can't, I can't do the same thing. Over and over again, I can't. Team Fortress 2 was the last thing that I really was super into. That I could do every day for years. Nothing else has come along that has done that since. And, I mean, maybe it is because I'm getting a little older. You know, I turn, I'm 34 this year. Maybe I'm getting a little bit older and my tastes are changing and... It's possible. You know what I'm saying? Streamers that hate what they're doing. Yeah, I don't want that to happen. Because then that's a detriment to your viewing experience. If I don't like what I'm doing, and I'm not having a good time when I'm doing it, and I'm just doing it because I think I have to, it's... That becomes that sort of weird dynamic where it's essentially like a routine. Just going through a routine, and I don't want that to happen here. You really 34? Yeah, I turned 34, and, uh... Date to be determined. <laughs> Grandpa. <laughs> no, I don't feel forced. I don't. I just want to give you my side of the coin here. But why some of these things are done a certain way. I do not feel f forced at all. Do not worry about that. Just giving the reasoning behind why there's some things on this channel that are the way that they are and how they kind of just have to stay that way. But uh, we're almost through the bits here. We have a little bit longer to go. We've got uh, Smelly Boy, thanks for the 250. There's nothing funnier than watching you get gaslit by chat into thinking toothbrushes are recycled. Now, I knew that was bullshit for the first thing that somebody said. <laughs> the real embarrassing thing is like the water thing. I I have no response to any of that shit. I knew I knew I shouldn't have said like a brand name. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna go have a big tall glass of that water. 
He's a piss drinker. <laughs> Thank you, though, smelly boy. Thank you, Jerma lied about Taco Bell for the 250. Jerma, don't drink water. All water comes from the ocean and fish pee and poop in the ocean. Not to mention all plastic and chemicals. Doctors say you should exclusively drink, drink delicious Mountain Dew Baja Blast from that restaurant you got the manager fired from. You know which one, Jerma Chomp. Great stream, Jerma. Love all your content. Thank you for the uh, tidbit there. I love how your name is Jerma lied about Taco Bell. Yet you reference the lie of me getting somebody fired from Taco Bell. Seems a little odd. <laughs> was it a lie or was it... I don't know. I, I got two, uh, two different sides there. Thank you, Frodian Weapon, for the 250. Nothing to say, just Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to you as well, Frodian Weapon. Thank you. Thank you, Big Ren, for the $3. Jeremy, your streams have been consistently my favorite things to watch and brighten my day. I lost my best friend last year to suicide, and the bright atmosphere you bring to every stream has always helped me smile. Thanks so much for helping me laugh and seeing the humor in things. Shout out to chat, too. Much love to everyone, Jeremy Hart. I drew a screenshot of you from the first stream in Vegas. Hope it's all right. Uh, first and foremost, I'm really, really sorry to hear that. That's terrible. That rips my heart in half to hear that. But I really am ha I'm happy that you mentioned chat here. Because, you know, people say, oh, like, it, I love your streams, I love your streams, that they, they thank you for the streams. There's so many people here that are fucking awesome people that are really funny, that are really interesting, that make these streams what they are, I think. So. Let me uh, see the art, too. <laughs> this is great. Comedy geniuses attract. <laughs> yeah, it's, we're, all just, we're all just a bunch of geniuses. Come on. You watch this stream because you're a genius. <laughs> uh, well, I'm gonna let's put this artwork on here so you can see. Uh, did I see? This is from the landing of the balloon. <laughs> Look at that sun. Look at that sun in the background. That's awesome. Thank you so much for this. And I'm... I'm glad that there's a community here, and the stream here is, is something that can brighten your day. Especially considering um, something so terrible like that. I'm really sorry to hear that. But thank you so much for the three dolls. Thank you for the artwork. This is very, very good. Thank you. I'll give you a link for those of you that want a link. Uh, thank you to Mac Dazzles for the $10. Hey, German just recently got back into watching Twitch streams a few months ago, and I'm glad to see you're still streaming. I used to watch your stuff back in 2016. You've been the highlight of my week and keep me company while I work, so I drew some pictures of you. I remember when you had that weird wrestling sound as your sub noise, if that serves my memory correct. Thanks for all the fun times. You're the most unique streamer. <laughs> These are great. It's a little album here. Well, welcome back. 
Thank you for the ten dollars. Is this Imgur album here? Destroy. Yeah, that was a while ago. That was like at least like two or three years ago. Yeah. That sub sound was like twenty five seconds long. Can you imagine if I had like a 30 second sub sound? Still. They wouldn't even be a live stream. <laughs> it would be that like a hundred times. <laughs> Weird flex. No, that's not supposed to be a flex. That's supposed to be like a, I don't want the streams to be bad. I want to show this one. I like this one here. This is the one of them from the uh, album. It was Bask in its Glory. Two different sides of uh, of Jeremy here tonight, back to back. I got so many different. I got so many different looks. I've got. I can do old characters, senile characters, men. I can do. Uh, my voice can get really low. Some of you get that one. Some of you get it. I don't have to even explain that. Some of you get it. <laughs> but, uh, thank you. These are, these are great. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the streams. That was Mac Dazzles. Yeah, I appreciate the artwork, too. We only have a couple more to go, so I'm going to throw on the credits. Thanks, everybody, for subscribing to this channel. You're all fucking awesome. Let me feed the stream legends crowd. I'll see you tomorrow for Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Could be a good one. Uh, let's get the credits on the screen. Thank you, everybody, for real. Thank you, thank you, thank you so goddamn much. Where are ads? I don't want ads on my streams. Unless you get one randomly in a pre-roll that I have no control over. Here come the credits. Thank you for supporting the stream. And now let's feed everybody. Stream Legends. See you tomorrow. At the irregularly scheduled time, not late. I think it was today. Much love to everybody. Have a great rest of your night. Have a fantastic evening. Get some good sleep. We also had uh, another one or two bits that came in here. We had uh, 250 come in for Error Paradox. Thanks for the 250. Hey, I got a job too. Here's to you and chat. Reminder, I'm coming to Vegas around October for my birthday. And the best present ever would be to meet you and have JexCon in the MGM Grand. Just a reminder, no need to act on it. Love your streams and how wholesome and sweet you are. JexCon. <laughs> I wondered like how many people would actually be interested in something like that. Jeremy lied about JexCon. <laughs> I didn't lie about JexCon. I was saying... <laughs> Am I never allowed just to, like, come up with an idea on stream? You know what I mean? Like, it's not, is it a lie or is it like a, Hey, do you think this would be fun? I want to, like, do something like this. It might be fun. That's not a lie. That's, like, coming up with a... It's, like, something fun. I can't wait for the German lied about JexCon. Jerma lied about, like, level up lounge. Jerma lied about, there's gonna be like four more of them. We add, like, there's gonna be more people that are in this chat 
in like another couple of years that have those names. There's gonna be it's gonna be full of German lied about X. There's gonna be half of you guys. <laughs> Yeah, maybe stop lying. <laughs> uh, gonna, if you don't play Ace Attorney, I already talked about I talked about Ace Attorney. German lies at the bottom of the ocean. Holy shit! Are you trying to fucking? <laughs> Oh my god! Thank you for the 250 though, Error Paradox. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, I'm getting out of here. You guys are starting to get fucking dark. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're gonna try Might and Magic. Should be fun. Take care, everybody. Have a great rest of your night. See you real soon. Good night, guys.